on the road. Morning. Morning. Hi, everybody. What's the deal? Yeah. What's the deal? Oh, I like that. Look at that. What? Nice even uh, increase of the faders with a piece of paper. Oh, thank you, sir. On four of faders at a time. I learned this in broadcasting school. Was that it? Cost me like twenty thousand dollars to. Did they really teach you that? No. Some... Oh, <laughs> I'm so dumb. But they, they didn't teach me much of anything, uh, obviously. Oh, thank God he admitted it finally. <laughs> Shut up. Oh my god, that's funny. Enough with the plane. Seriously, enough with the plane. Enough of it. Until they find enough it, shut up. with the fucking plane. About and it's plane. only CNN. Yeah. Because they got a little jump in ratings about two weeks ago. And they're desperate for any So, so they will not get off the plane story. No. Enough. They love it. Just move on. They love it. Move on for a little while. Oh, yeah. I don't need to know about silt. Is there silt down there? Is it, is it called silt? silt yes. Sure. There's a, there's a few feet of silt, so it could that, it could be buried in the silt. Oh, look out. That's the latest? Yeah, they got some more beeps. That's what I heard this morning. More, oh, more. beeps. If you get a beep, Narrowing how down. hard is it in this day and age? You go, that's, all right, there's yeah. a beep right there. Let's GPS that shit. I guess when it's coming from 15,000 feet of water. Is it moving around it in the silt? Silt. In the silt. They get a little beep, and then I guess the ship goes out of range if they keep going in one. So they got to keep crisscrossing. How about they don't go out of triangulate. range? Triangulate. How about you you right. sit right Drop the anchor. fuck there? I mean, you <laughs> see that weird boat. Yeah. I'm sure that boat could stay in one place for a while. Sure. That giant front end boat. Wacky looking with, ship. With a tiny back end. <laughs> yeah. It looks like a helicopter or something. Pretty zany looking craft. Oh, CNN, just move, the, move, the, move, move on, move please. On, please, nothing to see here. Stop standing on the big fucking map. Move along. But they did realize they can't step on countries anymore. Yeah. Because I'm sure someone complains, someone. Said, you're stepping on our country. <laughs> so now they just uh, stand in the middle of the Indian Ocean. Yeah. The fake Indian Ocean, of course. What about uh, the guy in the simulator? There's really nothing he can do anymore either. I, I only know about the silt. Because I, I watched for just a oh. few minutes yesterday, and they were on the plane thing again. And I'm like, oh, I was like oh, come on. But I saw them talking about silt. Yeah. And then I, I moved on. So I don't know if they're doing the simulator still. I have no idea. Mm. No no clue. So. Yeah. But they're they're sort of talking about the stabbing in uh, Pittsburgh. Yeah, sort of. What you do is you take that kid, right? Uh-huh. In front of everybody. In front of everyone that's uh, completely shocked and frustrated and sad. And right. you stab him to death in front of everybody. Oh. So then the next psycho fucking lunatic will think twice. They go, um, hmm. We need to get mental health care in here to yeah. try to figure out why. The dialogue sure is different when it's a knife and not a gun. Yeah. When it's a knife, it's all about the kid. It's right. like, what do we do? How did we know? Sure. How do we find out uh, who the next kid is that might do this? Mm. What drove him to do this? But when it's a shooting, it's all about, we need to get guns away from everybody. Everyone. Everyone. Wow. Yeah. So. There's a there's a kid like this kid in every school in America. Yeah, the weirdo. So stop saying, well, the signs were all there. I can't understand why this happened. Because every school has that kid where, think, where the signs yeah. are all there. Think back. Was there a kid in school that you went to school with that you looked at and went, oh, he's going to snap at some point? Yeah. Yes, but, exactly. But we didn't think guns back then. No, but you thought he was going to snap. But you, you um, yeah, just saying that. Yeah. You, You'd think of the kid from your school yeah, yeah, that could yeah. have very easily done this, yep. and for whatever reason he didn't. He made it. Yeah. He made it through without he, doing he it. He pulled through, right? They said he was very bullied. He was one of those kids that probably got beat up a lot. He looks like an asshole. Yeah, <laughs> he was constantly bullied. They're saying. But what about the? There's no bullying going on anymore. That's been oh, that's wow. been in schools for a while now. It's not allowed. You can't bully. He combined mentally ill. Crazy people with being bullied, right. and someone is going to get fucked up. Yeah, my point is that bullying is worse than ever. 
So those bullying campaigns are not working no. whatsoever. See that great clip whatsoever. That. Now it's a lot easier because they just go on each other's Facebook yeah. pages and stuff and, and bully. They bully. Yeah, you yeah, had yeah. to do it in front of someone's face, which was a bit of a risk. Yeah, <laughs> you had to make sure you could take that person if you were going to bully them. You see the clip of that kid on the bus, that fat kid on the bus with a black chick punching him in the face and head. I just saw... punch and punch, and then he fucking had, had it. Yeah, he, he puts her in a chokehold and just starts. Almost killing her. <laughs> He's choking the shit out of her. Right. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. Where is that video? <laughs> Dumb chubby kid. Uh, I don't know. Uh, 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 Sam Roberts? Sam Roberts? Good morning, Sam Roberts. Fine fat kid bullied on bus or something. Yeah. Or bully revenge or something like that. I saw it tweeted last night. Quit looking at Hulk Hogan videos. Uh, I think work. he's... Uh, yeah, right? What? what? <laughs> fat kid. When bullies get owned? Volume one. Nice. He's I like love a good bully bus. owner. Bully revenge. Uh, Is it bully revenge? Might be bully revenge. Might be bully revenge. Might be bully revenge. No, that's not it, right? No. I would go a little higher for bully revenge. No. Bully Sick revenge. Video in? No, oh, that wasn't my it. My God, Sam Roberts. Is that bully revenge? It's not a bus. No, it's got to be on a bus. All right. Bully revenge bus. Oh, you already have that in the search. School. 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 Bus. Bully revenge. Uh, fat <laughs> kid bus boss boss is that is that the kid in the red boss is he on a bus no no that's bus. all right that that one's called fat kid fights fat an emo kid. kid at bus stop oh shit come on you assholes you're on fucking you're watching uh, the show here and, and you're not even helping someone's got to know what it's called uh well way to bring it up Ant. i know right i I school bus bully gets taste of her own medicine. I think that was uh, I, I remember that headline. That's the title. If that's it. Taste then. meta medis, medicine. medicine. Watch, Watch school bus. School. Okay, here we go. All right, here it is. All right, here I we go. Thank you. Why? Go get it. Thank you. Why? Why? Why is the some world what, star? What did the fat kid do? Seriously, he's just. Well, a he's fat been here kid. since five thirty. Oh. No, and he's uh, what? The, what <laughs> and he's white. What did the fat kid do that he had to do this on the school bus? It's the poor dumb white kid that his parents don't know to get him out of that fucking town so he doesn't have to go to school with a bunch of fucking maniacs. <sighs> it's on World Star Hip Hop. Of course. Let's World play Star. this. World Star. All right. Please stop. I want to go home. I can't see it. Please turn Please stop. And the kid pulling his Please hair. Ow. And 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 the, the fat kid saying, "Please stop! I want to go home." Yeah, the little fat kid. Just let me off the bus right here. Our house is gotta go home. We don't let you off the bus anywhere. Call nine one one now. Oh, kicking him in the head. Kicking him in the head. It's just this. This unsupervised so now savagery the, that goes on. Now the fat kid has to fight back. Let go of my sister. Yeah. Her hair. How, yeah, how about you tell your sister to stop? Nah, because there's no fucking rhyme or reason. Who's no. holding this camera should be killed? I know. Now he gets gets her in a chokehold. Here it is. Now he's lifting her off the fucking ground by the neck. You hear her choking. He's got a lock, too. Oh, yep. boy. Now she's choking bad. Good for the fat kid. Yeah, good for the fat kid is right. I don't know his name, or I would call him by his name. That's you just said it. And then he says, you okay? She's fine. She's standing there. Yeah. But he, he turns around and turns it around on her. Good for him. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. Good for her. Good for her. God. Him. Whatever. Let <laughs> shit go on. Uh, him. Her. Fat kid. Whatever. Poor fat kids. Boy. They sure don't have it easy in school. Yeah. Parents ought to do something. Uh, My kid's bullied. How about you fucking you guys, make it so your kid's not fat? You guys bully the fat kid every day. Of course. He's not fat, though. That's, in the, school. that's why it's a good joke. Oh, yeah. It's his responsibility, not the parents. He's not, totally. even, he's not even close to fat. That's uh, why mm, That's why it's uh, fun. Mm, I don't know if it's not close is right. <laughs> <laughs> it could be some closeness. Yeah. <laughs>
A woman flips out in a diner after being kicked out for having a loud, profane cell phone conversation. What's oh, this yeah? one about? Is it reasonable? Well, this was, a, I guess the woman had been talking loud on her cell phone for a while. Yeah. Ah. And the manager m made the error of asking this enchantress to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Where was this? I don't know. I believe it was in uh, ch it was in um, Hell's Kitchen. It was on uh, 23rd. Yeah. Oh, wow, really? Oh, it's on... Um, yeah, what was her name? Hold on, they listed, her, they listed her name, too. Hell's <laughs> Kitchen. What's her name? It's pretty close to here. It's not in this article. Oh, it's not in that article. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I want to say it was Lamita something. I don't Lamita? I believe so. Uh, Did they have the cell phone different. conversation? Uh, Latima Brown. Oh, Latima. Latima Brown was being a little loud on her phone, was she? Yeah, I guess not wow, behaving in public. And, uh, amazing. I would have a tough time hiring anyone named Latima. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Latima. Yeah, unless you had La Helmus and La Jerseys. <laughs> Latima. Get it? Uh, yeah, I know, I got it. Wow. Latima. <laughs> Yo, I'm Latima. All, I'm all for Is that. It. I'm all for an unusual name, but. An odd yeah. name. Wow. Okay. So Latima was being boisterous. Maybe it's Latima. Latima? Latima? Yeah, maybe the, she has another sister, La Harvia. Her parents were big Carol fans. <laughs> oh, God. It took a turn for the worse. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't say La Steve Lawrence. Yeah. Right. Oh, I, just don't, I, don't, I just don't understand why you would name your kid after acid reflux medicine. <laughs> Latima. Latima <laughs> might take two right. days to work. I don't understand. Or, or it sounds like mouthwashes or Prescription something. Prescription strength Latima. <laughs> right. <laughs> we'll get rid of that bad breath. So she's being uh, loud on the phone. And then what happens? I guess somebody tries to yeah. uh, tell her maybe... Yeah, because keep it down because it's a it's a business. So she said, "Oh, I'm sorry," and started talking more quietly. Right? No, oh. I, I was surprised. Oh, I thought that was where the story went. No, I was shocked. Huh. No, she, she walked in and she just sat down at a booth and just talked for thirty minutes. She didn't order anything. Or... Is that what Latima was doing? That's what Latima. Was so doing. she walked in into this diner, it's like five in the morning, sits at a booth and starts loudly talking on the fucking phone and cussing. Pig, what are you? Big woman, <laughs> and and cursing of course, and uh, being loud. So so the manager says, uh, "Excuse me, yeah. could you not do that?" Yeah. I don't know. And she left <laughs> the premises peacefully, right? After thirty minutes, that's a long. You know, he shushed her or something. But after thirty, that's a long time to be on the phone. Well, she asked. He asked her to go. Exactly. Right? And so she did the logical thing of spitting in his face. Oh, there you go. What a pig. There you go. They'll do that. I've seen it in certain venues. Who's they? Well, they spit. Who's they, yeah? Uh... Animals. Oh. Animals oh. do that. <clears throat> That's what animals do. That's what a llama does. Are, <laughs> they're hilarious videos. You ever see people that walk up to a llama and the friend's going, look out, look out, <laughs> right in the fucking face. And then you go, ah, it's funny because it's a stupid animal that doesn't know what it's doing. <laughs> I never said that, but I understand the sentiment. <laughs> I never laughed about a llama doing that. He said those Llamas words. are hilarious. They really are. <laughs> Big dumb. How neck. many L's do you need in that word? Right. Stop it. Llama. <laughs> <laughs> it annoys me. Uh, oh, so there's video. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is there audio? Not really. Damn it! They ought to put no audio. audio. Surveillance cameras. This is gonna be useless. Mm, not to we us. We do radio. Oh, is that her? Oh, there's yeah, Latima. There oh she is. boy. Misbehaving. Yes. Who's the she fat lady oh. throwing things, smacking at the manager? I bet she's saying, "Don't touch me! You don't touch throwing me!" Throwing ketchup bottles at the mirrors. They right. think they're golden. You're not supposed to touch them. Well, I love when the cops are trying to rouse them. Is that, is that, is that her friend? I don't yeah, know. Trying to get her out of there. Friend, yeah. Okay, her friends get her out of there. Oh, now the team is just pushing things over. Who's the pig? Holy shit! You fucking slob pig. Oh, it's just fucking infuriating. That's where, like, as a, as a business uh, owner, why can't you just grab her by the hair and throw her through the just window? throw her through the window. <laughs> I'd love to see but that. Anybody behaving that way in yes. public deserves to be thrown through a thrown window. Thrown through the fucking window. Anybody. He's fighting with this pig, trying to get her out of his establishment. And she's going down the, the counter, flipping... Uh, the the various things on the counter over into the work area. Right. Holy shit! Who acts like that? So now what happens to Latima? Nothing. I'm sure she just walks through life. Well, they talks know her about name. what an asshole he was. 
Don't touch me. That's my favorite when the cops just like step out of the vehicle. No, you don't do what I do. Step out of the vehicle. Don't touch me. And then it just turns into resisting Whoa. and it gets uh, the taser out. I love yeah, it. Yeah, what was the famous tasering? Where she was really cocky. Oh, she's on the phone. I, yeah, and within a split second, wow. He's pointing a gun at me. <laughs> and then instant compliance. Can we find that real fast? I, that's an amazing video. Once you hear that, and <laughs> you just see yeah. her fucking, <laughs> instant compliance. You know you're in trouble. Yes, sir. My oh, hands boy. are behind my back, sir, <laughs> oh, awaiting boy. your handcuffing of me. <laughs> yes, sir. My shit has left my body and is in my trousers. <laughs> I ordered, sir. <laughs> Oh, it's hilarious. Someone has to find that link for us, too, please. <laughs> Let me say hi to Jane, uh, Staten Island. Jake. Hey, uh, my wife is a school teacher in the New York City School District. Yep. And if you see a sign with a cigarette with a slash through it, what, what words do they usually say underneath it? Um, smoking permitted. <laughs> <laughs> no, there, there are kids in our school named Nosmacane. No smoking. But it's called Nasma King. That's the kid's Come on. name. There's no I'm way. Not believing that. No, no joke. And if you take the word American and put it backwards, they got kids that are named Nasarima. Uh, it, it just, it, it, it's a nightmare when she comes home and she sees all those, all those work sheets. And huh. I'm like, I don't know where the hell they get these words from. Where do they get these names from? I think it's detrimental to a, a kid's future to give them a, an odd name. Racist I people might stereotype. Was, <laughs> the worst was Padme. What's that? Pajama. The worst was Padme. Wow. Padme. Come on. This is not this a kid is one named Padme. This is one of these orange, jello, lemon, jello, right? Like come on. Things. This is what we used I mean, to joke I'm, about. Right. I am. I am not joking. Lavoratine. Didn't we go with that joke once? Lavaris. Lavaris or Lavar Bactine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, Bactine. Accutane. <laughs> I know Thanks, the, guys, out. I know yeah, some right. of the names get weird, but I don't know. Yeah, the pajama one, I don't know. Come on, Pajame. Pajame. It's very cute. Prove name. me. Prove to me. There's a Pajame out there. Pajame. Yeah, right. Prove Pajame. It. I don't. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. No. Yeah. I guess there's a, a big blowout in a McDonald's in um, Brooklyn every day too. What that do you mean? On oh, 10, yeah. 10 wins. I heard that story. There. Uh, I, I guess uh, a school lets out. And these unsupervised, what they were calling unruly teens. Oh, did they really use those words? Yes, <laughs> which which we have joked about over the years as being a code word. Unruly teens. Uh, they come into this McDonald's and just start having fights and uh, yelling at customers and the workers, slashing the uh, seats um, and uh, being uh, generally assholes. Mm. And not a mention of of why this is happening because they're like well, they don't know why it's happening yeah, yeah you do there's unsupervised people that act like fucking animals and uh, completely get away with it it's amazing it's in brooklyn out of control yeah so why did, 375 motherfucker so why don't they step in and take care of the situation over there um I don't know, because it's just, oh, it's just unruly teens. It's going to be a nightmare to work at that McDonald's. Why you fucking running? Wait a minute. Read Shout out to a girl. The trouble, uh, uh, out of control. Wait, why don't you start with the first line, which is terrific. No happy meals for these little terrors. <laughs> no happy. For these little, what <laughs> little childlike terrors. language. Right? It's like, oh, it's just kids having fun. Wait, they're middle schoolers? Yeah. yeah, for these uh, little terrors. What are, they what's are middle school about? Uh, well, uh, seventeen <laughs> to twenty-one in certain areas. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. He goes to school after shaving. Uh, what is middle school for? I want to say seventh like, supposed to be seventh eighth. Yeah, yeah. something sixth, like that. Eighth, yeah. Sixth through eighth, somewhere around. No, I think sixth is still elementary. Sixth is still school. elementary. All right, elementary, elementary my dear. Not Washington. in all places. Oh, oh, oh. They yeah. get weird with how they. They change that around. Yeah, hordes. Hordes of wild teens torment an Empire Boulevard McDonald's on a daily basis. Workers at the fast food restaurant said, It's out of control, said employee Tempest Whitman. Or Whiteman. That's Whiteman. Uh, yeah. Hours before rambunctious public school 375 students flooded the Mac War Zone oh, <laughs> Wednesday, um, oblivious uh, to an afternoon lunch rush. Mm. The trouble began around 2.30 p.m. As students arrived at the Prospect Lefferts Gardens Burger Joint 
in twos and threes until a few dozen students took over a back room. Why you fucking running, nigga? Shouted a girl in a purple shirt. <laughs> Crashing into an employee before tumbling into a window and punching a kid in the back who had just filled his hands with pink packets of sweet and low. <laughs> Jesus. It's just it's exhausting. It's just crazy. Ah. Uh, all right, sweet and low. Uh, friends perched on top of tables, threatening each other with fist fights, which never actually happened on that Wednesday. I'm surprised they didn't say fisticuffs yes, with fisticuffs. the language they're using in this. Meanwhile, a softball-sized wad of paper and foil whizzes from one end of the room to the other as customers hunker down and uh, head out. Um, and another group of boys cut lines of sweet and low. Cut lines of sweet and low with their Metro cards, pretending it's cocaine. <laughs> yeah, we've all done that. Yeah, of course. That's the, kind of hack. The tiny boy sweeps a pile into his hand and tiptoes around the crowd. He waits until he's two feet behind a girl in a black jacket and then blasts her in the back of the head with a cloud of fake sugar. More yelling. <laughs> all this is pretty mild. Uh, could you uh, scroll? Uh, pretty mild compared... To the more frightening episodes, which uh, happen daily, employees and customers said. One of the students brought a knife in two months ago and slashed the seat covers on a dozen or so stools. Customers report a recent beating in the children's playpen. <laughs> <laughs> the girl was getting jumped, said Tal Taliqua Thompson, 17, who isn't part of the group. She came out crying. Workers avoid confrontations, if possible, and uh, keep the number... Uh, for the 71st Precinct handy, they said. When uh, when you say stop cussing, they curse at you and say, I'm going to throw something at your face. <laughs> <laughs> A few incidents have occurred in this area. School officials concede, but the students are typically uh, disciplined, are they? The problem has the attention of the city council, Matthew Eugene, Democrat of Flatbush, I mean, who probably blames other entities, who chairs the council's youth service committee and called the behavior senseless. Yeah. We have too many young people throughout the city who engage in the wrong activities as a result of not having access, access to resources and positive influence designed to instill respect for themselves and others. That's pretty much it. Now, you know. It, Why it, does this uh, hire a cop to stand there? You know. How much does that cost you? Who wants to hire fucking cops at McDonald's? You don't want to, but I mean, how much would it cost? Looks yeah. like a nice McDonald's, too. McDonald's. I don't even know what they do down there at McDonald's. They're not <laughs> drinking milkshakes, I assure you. <laughs> uh, people are, are want in on these names. Do they? Uh, Matt, Nova Scotia. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? Hey. So I got a fucked up name for you guys. Yeah. So uh, one of the girls I know, she's a nurse, and probably about 20 years ago, she uh, was on maternity ward. She went in to see this family, and she was like, "Oh, it's a beautiful baby. What's her name?" They said Femel. Oh yeah. She goes, "Oh, that's different. How'd you how'd you guys come up with that name?" She's the family's like, "We didn't." That's the name they gave her when they brought her in. Oh, because come on. Because it was female and male on the... <laughs> on the... Yeah, it was female and the last name. And I'm a, I'm a police officer, so about two years ago, I had the honor of running in with this female. So it's, I found out it was a true story. Mm. They named her female. And she still goes by female. And it's fe spelled female. That's great. Uh, All right. All right. <clears throat> it happens. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Let's go to Madison in Westchester. Madison. Good morning. Hey. Oh. So I am a school teacher, and uh, about 15 years ago, I used to work in early intervention. And we would always have, oh you know, these great names, Asia, Africa. However, my best names were two little girls. And when I got the list, I saw their names were Cephylus and Clamida. Syphilis and chlamydia. Syphilis and chlamydia. This is not true. Where are these coming from? I, Look at the phones, though. Syphilis. I swear to God. And 
as I'm looking at this, I'm like, okay, you know, is this really how you spell syphilis and chlamydia? Right. Um, wow. They did get the spelling right, but they just could be asking in a different place. Yeah. All right. So, enjoy. We love you guys. Thank you. We love you, Madison. Let's say hi to Jay in Jersey. Jay. Good morning, boys. Hey. Hey. I'm a, a medic in the city. Um, my my best ghetto name that I've ever had was about 15 years ago. The kid's name was Shea Stadium Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I asked the dad, I said, why? He goes, apparently dad was uh, on the grounds crew at Shea Stadium. Oh. He goes, well, I wanted to name the baby where it was conceived. Oh, jeez. Because he knocked mom up in the bullpen. Oh, all right. That's wonderful. Right, I have to drive safely here. All right, thank you. Let's go to Pete in Jersey. Pete. And then we got a cop that wants to talk about this uh, McDonald's. Cop you, Indy. Uh, but first, Pete, go ahead. Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning. How are you? All right, buddy. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a physician in a hospital, and these are firsthand. I've seen them myself. So a woman names her baby Jesus Loves Me, spelled backwards, so that his first name is E M. You know, S E C O L at Q S E J. Oh, wow! Wonderful. How do you how do you pronounce uh, uh, pronounce that? I, I don't, don't even know. I saw it on it. M Saval. M Saval, uh, maybe M Saval. Su Oh my. And then another woman had twins. Right. Twins. She named them Duan and another one. Another one. No D U J U A N and A N A D U J U A N. Another one. I, just, I think, it, I think it just makes it hard to get a job. Another I know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's good for a story, I'll tell you that. You'll enjoy that. Absol absolutely. I think this crazy okay. name thing is real because look at these phones. Jim in North Carolina, and it's all over the country. Jim. Yes, I'm a pediatrician in North Carolina. I have a patient in my practice whose name is pronounced Shafid, spelled S-H-I-T-H-E-A-D. <laughs> His name's spelled shithead, but they, they pronounce it what? No, no, they pronounce it Shafid. <laughs> swear to God, he's in my practice. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you, sir. Ah, that's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> someone called it on the uh, Pal Talk. They, they already said that. He goes, watch, this one's going to come up. Should be. Yeah, there's a bunch of... There's ones that I just think are jokes. Yeah. Are you joking, Jim? Come on. Oh, no, I'm swearing But it's like urban legend where it's like, no, I knew the guy. Right, right, right. Yeah, he right, should right, hit the right, floor. Right, mm -hmm. right, right, right. But we, were, we would have only got a couple phone calls if this was bullshit, though. Yeah. I don't know. All right, no. thank you, sir. Let's go to Mike in Brooklyn, NYPD, checking in. What's up, Mike? What's up, gentlemen? How are you today? All right. Pretty good. What happened to the great names like Shanene and Shaquika and Lexus? Uh, Those were the good names when I grew well, up. Well, not anymore. Got to get a little more creative now. Right. Yep. So I wanted to talk about Flatbush in that area. It is ridiculous. They, you, um, you talked about they need access to respectability and all that. Well, guess what? That's called parents. Yeah. Right? Isn't that called parents? So there are no parents in this area. There's kids living with their grandmamas or their grandpas. They don't even know who their parents are. Yeah. So, how we, so why don't we spend more money on them to try and introduce them to parents? Why don't we spend our money to put them into these places where they'll go and we'll Set them up in a, in a sports gym, and next thing you know, they're having uh, uh, blade fights in the locker room as they try to get changed to do free clinics. We try everything. Yeah, you can't just throw money at this problem. That's what it is. Everyone wants funding for programs. Yeah. You can't throw money at a problem that is, is a lot deeper than just, you know, they're bored. There's no structure. There's no parenting. There's no discipline. They get away with anything. Could you imagine looking at your teacher back when you were in middle school and saying, go fuck yourself? Oh, God. What would happen to you if that got back to your parents, if that uh, principal called your, your parents and said, I, your son used the F word at a teacher? You what? would be fucking crucified. You're dead. I, 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 I broke... I broke a girl's arm when I was a kid in elementary school. We were—I didn't mean it, but the, the, the principal choked me out. Pounds of pressure per second, per second. He got choked out. He choked out. He choked me out. He said, "Dude, you can't do this." I go, "You're choking me, man! You can't choke me." He goes, "You don't break a girl's arm." I go, "All right, valid point, valid point." And I learned my lesson. There's a valid Dude, point, right? These fucking punks don't know what—they're just a bunch of punks, and I blame. 
the, you know, I can't say it, the Moulinans. What can I say? Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. One other thing. NYPD. All right. Thank you, sir. Right near the neighborhood, right near the neighborhood, there's these little people that live, that go to that McDonald's. They're small, and they get picked on all the time. Yeah. So I would, I would Why would they the keep going there? Day, and the little guy was holding up oh. a plasma TV, and I asked him, I said, hey, buddy, you need help taking the plasma out? He goes, fuck you, it's my iPad. Have a good day, boys. Oh, Punch it out. Joking. All right, thank He's you. He's joking. Mike Gay, NYPD, oh, check it out. Jesus. The little people go there. See, see, it's my iPad. I understand. Plasma TV. Funny thing is, I remember that joke when I was a kid. Nobody yeah. got it. No, I <laughs> There's also another video, speaking of teachers, mm -hmm. uh, where, where there's a teacher fighting a kid. Oh, yeah, I saw that one, too. And uh, people are saying, way to go teach. This guy was a wrestling coach. Right. And um, I guess there was a kid selling weed in his classroom, right there in the classroom. Really? Yeah. So the guy uh, walked up to him to tell him to knock it off, or he was going to tell him tell him to go to the office, whatever disciplinarian thing he was trying to do. And the uh, kid uh, popped him in the face. So the teacher then grabbed him and wrestled him to the ground, and now he's on administrative leave. Like, as a teacher, I guess you're just supposed to stand there and, and get it. pummeled. As a teacher, as a bus driver, administrator, whatever it is, you're not supposed to do anything to even protect yourself against what amounts to criminals uh, that are assaulting you. I can't imagine this in school. Like, like if, if a guy said shit at the teacher, it was shit. like, would have been not even cursing. If you would have said, oh, yeah, make me or something like oh, that, God, yeah. it would have just been like, we're, All right, get out of the room, and and you are now in a, a cavalcade of of discipline. And we were threatened with that permanent record shit. Go on your permanent record. It used to scare us. That's right. This is nothing. This is called pre-prison. That's what fucking. Can you push play is. on this, Sammy? You don't ever pick up on my money. Don't ever hang up on my fucking mother. I did. I did. Well, you better give me my phone back. I don't think this is it. Now. Move out of my way. Let me get it myself. This is another teacher and a student. <laughs> yeah, because the student's calling her mom during class. Yeah. Move out of my way. Move out of my way. Marlene, don't put your hands on me. Don't put your hands on That don't touch me thing. Give me my fucking shit. Could you imagine? No. Give me my stuff right now. There's no sense of consequence. No, Cheswick no asked for his cigarettes better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. Yeah. <laughs> there's there's not one ounce of of what's right or wrong going on here. Like this fucking bitch. Yes, you did. Get your hands off of me. I'm backing up. Don't put your hands on me. I'm not putting my hands on you. Can you move? No. Give me my stuff. Can you give me my stuff right now? I'm getting real pissed off right now. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you get the fuck out of my way? You're not a fucking Holy shit. Teacher, is that the teacher? She, yeah. She's brawling with the teacher. There's a fist fight. And no one helps. No. no. I, 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 I wouldn't hear you. I'll there. All right. One, one girl is helping. This is... The students are all just helping. No. Pull, like, pull them apart. Fuck it. Get the cops. Arrest that piece of shit. Yeah, the teacher. Through. Yeah, the teacher. Worcester, 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 Worcester. Someone yelling World Star? Uh, they might as well. Anthony was. Oh. I was. There's no, 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 no. <laughs> there's just no sense of anything <sighs> right there. there. There's there's no consequence. It just happens, and then she'll fucking talk to her friends and be like, "Yeah, I show her." Hoopers! Hoopers! Here it is, yeah. There it is. Yeah, this is the one. Santa Monica uh, wrestling uh, coach um, has a fight with a student that was dealing Science drugs. teacher at Santa Monica High School. Yeah, he's a wrestling coach. Right, he's on administrative leave after wrestling a student to the ground. There was always for that dealing one. drugs. The, the kid's dealing drugs in his classroom. In the classroom. So the, the teacher wrestles him to the ground, and now he's...
He's on suspension. Because he punched them, Administrative too. leave. There's always that one teacher that could kick the shit out of it. Like, for us, it was Mr. Takis. Mr. Takis. He was a social studies teacher. Is he a problem? He was a really quiet guy, but I think he was ex-military, and he would yeah. just jog through the neighborhood. And Mr. Takis was a fucking big he would take care of a karate problem. expert yeah really? and everybody knew don't fuck with that guy because yeah. he'll kick a hole through you yeah he just had that he had muscles everyone knew that he was we grew he was, up in a time not many people had muscles because there weren't a lot of gyms right. around you really coach had to go Cirillo. out of your way to get muscles coach cirillo and big fat gil lillian <laughs> yeah. were two guys that would fucking <laughs> oh boy perfectly coiffed hair just steadily jogging. jogging yeah and then there were stories of him kicking heavy bags off the uh, things that they were hanging on, like oh, really? he was practicing. Yeah, right. <laughs> nice guy, That's but great. a major but problem. He, he has a problem. Yeah, so you kind of knew just. So yeah, here, let's see this teacher fight. Oh, where's the sound? Oh, there, oh, there. Hey, hold up. Yeah, this is a fight. Yeah. What do they expect? They, uh, uh, we didn't see the beginning of it. He's going for the single takedown. He is. Right, he's just trying to grab it. He's got to watch ground. out for that big right arm. I'm sorry, I'm just doing him, Rogan. Where's Rogan oh, yeah. when you need him? <laughs> Jesus, who he's shot this? Taking him down. He's just trying to take him down. Yeah, this boy, what yeah. a terrible wrestling coach. He can't take down one little skinny yeah, popular. There, he's got him. He's got him there. UFC stuff. An older teacher, too, he's huh? Tying up his legs. Yeah. yeah, he's this, got this, him on the ground. This teacher is not doing a good job. And the guy's no. holding his head. He's trying to mount, but he can't get into his guard. No. I'm just throwing out words. <laughs> <laughs> but this uh, teacher now got administrative leave because... Uh, well, did they show at the beginning? Like, did the teacher just throw the punch? or? No, everybody in the, in the uh, classroom said that the, oh, okay. the kid punched him in the face first. Okay. First thing he did was he walked up to the kid, said, you're dealing drugs. You know, not in this class. Right. Go to the office or whatever the fuck he was saying. And then the kid popped him. How do you think that's going to work out as a student drug dealer? I'll punch this guy in the face. And yeah. then, what do you think is going to happen? There's no think. That's the, the, the word. Why is There's he on no administrative thinking. leave? Because uh, it's unacceptable. To take the kid down after do you punch in the face? I guess. I'm guessing because they didn't see the punch. They probably said to make sure that's the, what it was. Hey, babe. Well, the teacher wasn't punching him back. He was doing the... Yeah, he was trying to wrestle him to the ground there. Figuring that would be the Tie least. Him up. There is just it's the least fun. thing I could do and and control the situation, right? Oh. Uh, let's say hi to David in Connecticut. David. Good morning, boys. Good morning. Um, I have a consultant out working for me whose name is Princey Dickshit. D-I-K-S-H-I-T. Come on. There's no way these names are real. Are you guys all in on this together today? No, with the uh, that community, the Indian community, there's a lot of dick shits, a lot of princes. Um, they're all over the place, so it's pretty common. About actually. the shit part. So one of your consultants is uh, named Princey Dick Shit. Yeah, what kind of a company? Yep. What do you? What do you? What kind of a company is it? <laughs> right, hires exactly. them fucking baby wipes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, all technical guys, like okay. computer programmers and stuff like uh, that. Who wants to know. ask computer questions to a man named Dick Shit? Yeah. What, is that his name? Yep, that is that. Well, that would be his name, Mr. Dick Shit. D i k s h i d. Is he foreign? Oh. Yes. Okay, yes. that might be it if he's from somewhere else. Yeah. Thank you, sir. One more about McDonald's. This guy used to work at McDonald's. Maybe not this particular one that's McDonald's. in the news today. But Alex in Tennessee. Hey, boys. Hey, Alex. Yeah, yeah well, some, I had one scenario. I had just started How old was she? Was oh, <laughs> that was a <her> name. <laughs> scenario. <laughs> Yo, scenario. Uh, no, it, might, it may well have been. I don't know. But I, I had just started working there. I was 18 years old. And so they asked me to go and deal with this woman as being loud and obnoxious and tell her to politely leave the premises. Now, I don't know what I'm dealing with because I've been in the back and I've just been sorting different condiments and whatnot. Right. So, so I go out there. Your condiments. And this woman must weigh like about 350 pounds mm -hmm. or 1.5 E-Rocks. Oh. And so... Okay. That's point five, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, point. Oh. Too call. So I now I'm now I'm about five nine and weigh about one hundred fifty. So what I sign are you? Going to be a bit. What? What sign are you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What shoes do you wear? Oh. Guys decided to do a podcast. Yeah. On our yeah, show. Yeah. yeah. 
I'll get to the point. Okay. So I go and I say, okay, could you please leave? And she's like, oh, I don't have to leave. And then I'm like, um, ma'am, I'm afraid oh. you have to do. And then I'm like, could you please? And I motion with my right hand and aunt, guess what she said? Don't touch me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Don't you touch me? And There's I'm this... like thinking, oh, fuck. There's this mentality where you cannot get in anyone's space like that. It doesn't even, you don't even have to touch anybody. It's just, don't yeah. touch me. All right, thank you, I, thank I, you. So I, I can't <laughs> take you anymore. I, I can't like take a, your call well, anymore. He has, a, he has her. a fish like story. Yes, oh, okay. God. Okay. God. Yes. What's wrong with you, Ed? Yes, you talk about the barometric <laughs> pressure <laughs> of that day. <laughs> yeah. Barometric pressure. You are <laughs> a bore. He hasn't finished his story. Oh. Oh. No, I was just saying I'm punching out. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Thank, thank you, Al. God. One fucking phone call too many. I just want one really good call. Like, what happened was there's a customer... I gave him some ketchups and he asked for another one. So I picked up a greasy spatula and slapped his face. <laughs> <laughs> now that would be good. That's eating, that's like eating one mm. bad blueberry. Like, yeah. fuck. Now all the blueberries are bad. We had some yeah. good calls in there, but now one bad one ruins it. I watched, uh, I, I started watching Roots last night. Oh, that tweet the original right Roots. Mm. I was watching that, and um, it's like six parts. Right, and it was a mini series on television back in 1977, um, and uh, so it's, it goes a little faster because you don't have all those commercials. But um, holy fuckaroni, what they got away with back in 1977 as far as language went? Wow, really? And all your favorites. I mean, I'm sitting there watching. Uh, first, you got the father, the father from the Waltons. He goes with Lou Grant on a ship to Africa, and they pick up. Uh, LaForge, who's also the the Reading Rainbow guy, right? And uh, for, but then OJ is trying to get Reading Rainbow guy to hook up with his daughter. OJ was in that. OJ, I don't remember that. So well, then I don't they, remember OJ in that. Yeah. They come back mm -hmm. and uh, they sell uh, uh, the the guy that's selling LaForge from Star Trek: The Next Generation, right? Is Sosa from fucking Scarface? Ah, is Sosa Sosa? So he sells him. He sells LaForge to Ben Cartwright from the from from <laughs> from Bonanza. Really? Whose brother is fucking his wife and his brother is Mr. Brady from God the Brady Bunch. Damn. The irony of them all. And and then the guy from Rat Patrol, Vic Morrow, is a real prick. He starts whipping him, but then the sergeant from Officer and the Gentleman befriends him. <laughs> Wait, Lou Gossett, right? <laughs> and they're all dropping in bombs. Do you remember? It's fantastic. You remember when they're on the way over and the guy says to Ed Asner, do you want a belly warmer? You, you want, want a belly, belly warmer? warmer? He oh, sends a in a black chick as a belly warmer. That's the best description of Roots ever. <laughs> it was fantastic. That could go viral, sir. <laughs> that one could go viral. Oh, you I forgot, loved it. You forgot when the girl with the glass eye got her beverage spat in. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie. It was, so, uh, it was so much fun. I got up to part three. So uh, I'll watch the rest. There's six parts. It's it, for the time. It's you could tell it's dated, and you could tell it was a TV movie. The music is sometimes very. Well, it, it almost seems like an episode of The Love Boat sometimes, which you know, ironic. <laughs> Not much love going yeah. on on that trip. They're trying uh, to keep uh, keep it nice for everyone. Keep it nice. You can do and, that with music and very televisiony. But, I, but the the odd thing is, it was Quincy Jones that did the music, right. and it doesn't sound at all kind of Quincy Jones-ish. But um, it was very well done. A lot of, uh, and I also said, if you were black in the '70s and were not in Roots, you just hang your acting career up because they found Everyone. every black actor <laughs> and put him in there. Because then the the third part starts up, and LaForge turns into the father from Good Times. Whoa! And he then becomes, and then uh, uh, they chop his foot off and uh, and hobble him. Mm -hmm. And uh, then he gets married and, and uh, uh, has a kid who I think is Kizzy. Were you jerking off Kizzy. this whole time? No, it was, it was just, uh, it, it was very well done. Yeah. It was very well done. Um, you could tell how LeVar Burton, especially at the time, because uh, he was everywhere back then. Yeah. He did a very good job. It was very good, and it was brutal. I mean, that whipping scene uh, that everyone knows, the uh, what's your name, Kunta Kinte, no, your name's Toby, and Vic Morrow is, boy, can he was play he, was he the a guy? great yeah. prick. Yeah, your name's Toby. Now tell me your name, Kunta Kinte. And then he just, he tips his head to another black guy like, okay, give him a few more. He's whipping him. What's your name? And then he finally goes, Toby. <laughs> Broke him. Oh. I think the 
the black guys on set looked at Vic Morrow like, you mother it's like you're, you're not acting. It's like, you're either the <laughs> greatest actor in the world, <laughs> or you're the, or war, you're the biggest racist shit. ever. The most unbelievable part of the whole thing, though, was watching uh, Mr. Brady uh, seduce a woman uh, in an open field yeah. as he's taking her top off and making a, that yuck face. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. He didn't know what to do. He's just putting putting things over her breasts. <laughs> he, he just, you know what he did? He curled his hand up by her groin and tried to put his mouth on her something. <laughs> it was nothing and he put there. on her hands and knees and said, I need a bucket of lawn. <laughs> he tried to grease it. <laughs> That was uh, Chuck yeah. Connors was in that. Yeah, Chuck Connors is in the, some of the later parts of it. Uh, Who played Curious? Uh, uh, Curious. Oh my God, Chicken George. No, I'm not thinking of him. Chicken George. No. Uh, ben Vereen was in it. Ben um, uh, Yeah, uh, uh, C Cicely Tyson. Right. Remember Cicely Tyson? She was uh, Levar Burton's mother back in Africa. But uh, Luke Gossett was really good in it too. Yeah. He was really good. Oh, this is an African Guinea man. <laughs> African Guinea man. Yeah, it was really, uh, really well done. The Next Generation had a couple of names in it, but nothing like the the first one yeah. had all the big stuff. The Next Generation had guys huge. like not Ernie Hudson, but who's the oh, other guy? Jesus, what? Who's the they other guy? Had, but what Buffalo Butt from Good Times, and they really went second tier. <laughs> no, there's that one guy he played like uh, you've seen him in a million things. I think he was in Harlem Night. He was in a bunch of. Uh, Mm. Was Ernie Hudson in uh, Ernie Hudson was probably that? Yeah, Ernie Hudson was a. There's another guy who who, who played the. Uh, Tumor. Tumor. All oh, right, that guy. Yeah, I know, I, know, I know his face. Don't know his name. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. No clue. Sorry. Yeah, pretty good, though. That uh, showing the, the, the ship a ride over from, from Africa. Right. Uh, was That was a pretty good segment, too, because really brutal. The vomiting. They showed just yeah. puking on each other in the hole, just chained up right next to each other. Someone dies, and you got to just lay next to the dead guy for a while. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that was pretty good. Pretty uh, pretty well done. I haven't seen it in fucking years, and it was on uh, Netflix. So again, what the fuck? It's on not long ago, actually. On uh, I want to say BT. They were they were just showing. Better than just do it without commercials. Yeah, yeah, though, yeah. You know, it's just take forever with commercials. Probably for Black History Month. Right? I don't Maybe. know. If, I want to say it was before February, but I could no. be wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, we got the food. Oh yeah, we got food. David Tell's coming in today, and uh, Brandon Steiner. Very cool. Ooh. Oh, what time is Brandon here? I'm leaving today. Nine. Oh, okay, good. I'll get to mm. see him. Yeah, we like Brandon. He comes in, and talks about like you know, indeed he do collectibles and stuff. Maybe, Maybe he's got, got some Jeter stuff for his got some, final season. If you got uh, you know stuff, uh, sports memorabilia that you think is rare or you know yeah. worth something, give us a call. He'll tell you. He had those boxers at his place on the island the same day. I think he had Tyson Holyfield, Sugar Ray, Thomas Hearns, and Duran. All at the same time. Not at the same time. I think in the same few hour period. Like you know, he probably did, he rotated them. I think. I've never wanted to go somewhere <laughs> yeah. and bother people as much. <laughs> Fuck, man. You better bring us stuff today. I want Duran. Hey, Brand, if you're listening, bring us stuff. Yeah. I want a glove with all those guys on it, and I want all those guys in studio taking pictures with me. Uh huh. Or none of those things. <laughs> or, or none. High school bas high school basketball players seven foot five. Seven five. The tallest freak. high school basketball player, seven five. He's an Irish kid. It's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> seven foot five. That is freakish, huh? What the hell? You don't see many seven something in high school. All right. A lot of six mm. tens, maybe, but yeah. I want to. I want to. I want to get a team together where they're all over seven foot tall. How would you beat that? How would you? Why haven't? Well, they probably wouldn't get back on defense quick. Yeah. Probably how that would work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get some Oakleys and some Barclays to just check them and break their backs. <laughs> right, yeah. Get these fucking yeah. thug players that just really know how to put you in the stands. <laughs> All those guys would get knocked around, man. Or a guy like Shaq, who's like, what was he, seven... One, but just a, a fucking a giant rock of a man. Uh, yeah, you couldn't move him. No, Kareem was, I think, a bigger guy than people think too, because he was seven two. But he was, I think, a but stronger he was lanky, guy though. Yeah, yeah, but he was you also could, a. They were shape. able to push uh, Kareem around were a little they? bit. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, Shaq is big and big. Yeah. Right. You know, he's not that lanky guy. And then you had the Manute Bowl. Oh, God, yeah. that's just a freak. And then you had the white kid. Manute Balls, the guy that came out of the ship in fucking Close Encounters. <laughs> yeah. And there was the white kid. John that... Stockton! No. <laughs> we had a white kid that was about 7'6", that Sean something. Right. What was his name? I Sean don't... Bradley? Yeah, it might that... have been. But Sean he was, a, he was pretty much was seven, a bust. Six. 
He was he a goes, bust. Sean Bradley, 7'6", awful. <laughs> yeah, he was a bust. Really he, he sucked. How, how, how are you 7'6 and suck? Can't play basketball. Amazing. Wow. Right. We got food. So David Tell, Brandon Steiner, and uh, other things. Stay there. <laughs> I guess uh I guess Sean Hannity was talking about us yesterday. Oh yeah? My Twitter exploded. He's talking about you two. He didn't mention me. No. He, he mentioned you. He just got your name wrong. I know. Oh, okay, uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't I don't really understand Sean Hannity. <laughs> you don't get him? No, I really don't, to be honest with you. We've done his show over the years and you know, we've all gotten along, but he's he's obsessed with me and my political views. And 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 if you just listen to the show, I don't I don't have the passion like you two to talk politics. You, uh, you Isn't he just being silly though? Like I, I didn't hear this clip, but he, like, when he says that to me, he's always just being ridiculous or tongue in cheek. He's not being. A, he's just, I didn't hear but he's just ridiculous. <laughs> he really is. We've had very very good conversations over the years. Sure. We've done uh, gigs together. Mm -hmm. We've done his show, his radio show, his TV show. Yep. And and he's obsessed with me being a a liberal. A lib? Is he is he calling you lib in this again? I'm a big fan of government in general. Is my stance. Mm. I, I think the right way is to pick from both sides. Mm -hmm. I really do. Pick and choose. Pick and a choose. A la a la carte. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the way to go. But that's just my dumb two cents. But I, I don't have the passion to fight it every day. I really mm -hmm. don't. And the fact is, I I wasn't an Obama supporter. He thinks I'm an Obama supporter. I, I have to say this over and over again. When the whole Obama thing was happening, people in this country were like, there's no fucking way they're going to elect a black president. People in this studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. People in this chair. Yes, exactly. And, and you're paraphrasing, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is paraphrasing. But you were one of those guys. Uh -huh. Not just because not, not because he was black or whatever, but you're like, there's no way this country is going to do that. And I'm, yeah. and I'm like, I'm telling you, you could feel the momentum at the time. Like, holy shit, this is actually going to happen. Uh -huh. He's been in office, what, Six years. Six years. So now it's like whatever. But you got to go back in time and go, wow, this is really going to happen. Wish, and wish. that's when I started that whole Obama. Yeah. Just to annoy you because you're like, there's no way it's going to happen. Everyone else. Yeah. Because once again, I, I I did not vote for him. I've never voted. Obama president. Nah. But how he just yep. obsesses about it. He, he thinks because of all that. And I've talked to him about it on a show, and, and, and no, probably not on a show, because we stopped doing a show. But I talked to him about it at events and stuff. Like, dude, I'm not an Obama supporter. Mm -hmm. I don't really support government in general. So what did I, I, I didn't hear this at all. This is the Sean Hannity Show. Yeah. You know my buddies Opie and Anthony on the radio? I've always gotten along. We, we met on 9-11-2001. Opie and Anthony, they're on Sirius Satellite Radio. Yeah, we got along. Thank you, Sean. We got along. A plug a Rooney. Yes, very nice plug. Yeah, he, couldn't get the, radio show. he couldn't get in the city uh, uh, after 9-11 or, or on 9-11. <clears> we had, on we broadcast yeah. that day, right? Yeah. And he couldn't either, so we uh, found studios in Garden City. The old, uh, I don't know if they're still around, LIR, LIR. Or DRE, whatever the hell they're called. Yep. I have no idea if they're still in business, but we found their studios, and they they were you know nice enough to let us broadcast that day, and, uh -huh. and, and Sean was there as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why we hit it off. I mean, for all intents and purposes, I mean, they do a wild, wacky morning show, uh, wacky. afternoon show. And and that bothers me. I'm going to stop this a lot. That bothers me, too. We are more than just wacky. We always were more than just wacky. That's, but that's, I think uh, that's the, his descript. That's Sean's. <clears throat> that's like him saying, uh, uh, they're a little nutty. Like, right, that's right, just the right. way Sean talks. That's that how is the he way he talks. I think, I think some of the things he does is wacky. And as a casual observer back in the day, uh, I don't think people were really on to the fact that we were talking about a lot of different things. But between all the, I mean. With the publicity we got, we did come off as wacky. <laughs> yeah, but in between all those crazy stunts and the nudity, we certainly were doing oh, yeah. other things. But. You know, when you look back, those are the. What are you going to do? I know. Maybe the 9 11 show, maybe. But all the other serious conversations we had over the years, eh. Overshadowed by. Overshadowed by teen people. girls eating each other. Right. Okay. 
And to him, by the way, calling somebody wacky is not akin with calling somebody a bag of shit. Like, to us it is. To yeah. this show, being called wacky is like, oh, fuck it. Of but course. That, but to him, he's saying that. That just means kind of out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. intent of the user is not yeah. to be a dick. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I do a more news-oriented program. Anyway, on 9-11, neither one of us could get into our studios in New York City. I already said this. So we met <laughs> in the hall. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I just say this? Uh, that's great. Hey, why is Imus cooking outside on Fox? <laughs> <laughs> that's not Imus. I know. He's got that big head of hair like Imus. <laughs> 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 Oh, you gotta answer to Chip. <laughs> no, you don't. Yes, you I, I follow feel my lead. You don't. I feel compelled. You don't to. have I don't to. You don't have to. It's no, the right thing to do. I know. You're just gonna back with a Marion call. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Opie deals with it. Let's go to the phones. Every, click. You think I don't know? Every time I hear uh, who's on the line, I'm yeah. like, all right, that was Edgar in right. uh, 09. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I don't want people to really think that. Just a fun little angle. Another bit. <laughs> So we met in the halls of what was then WLIR, 92.7 in Long Island. You're copying me. I and said it, was a, it was an unbelievable coming together moment for radio because literally there were multiple shows going out of the studio in Garden City, Long Island on 9-11. And they were this, radio stations would never do this today, mm -hmm. especially under the current environment where you have... You know, the biggest, dumbest people running large groups of radio stations. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> Brothers. So it, it just wouldn't happen today. Anyway, there were, there were literally wires up and down every hallway. Everybody, all hands on deck. How they figured that out Opie is and amazing. Anthony were on WNEW at the time. They got on the air. We got on the air. I think Light FM got on the air. Another station got on the air. And they were doing their own broadcasting. An unbelievable moment. Light needs to play Muskrat Love during 9-11 yeah, exactly. to make people feel better. <laughs> Why did that track just end? Uh-oh. Huh? Uh-oh. I don't know. Who who, who made the uh, disc? E-Rock. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> Why did that just end? It just cut off. Did it, did it have gravy on it? <laughs> <laughs> Why did it end? <laughs> Maybe give it another shot. Maybe your machine. Yeah, broke. maybe. Yeah, it's just, it's just part of that plate apart. Machines yeah. busted. Sure. Or sure, and then go to the next one. Eric says it's supposed to get off because it we goes got on the, the air. Track. I think Light FM got on the air. Another station got on the air, and they were doing their own broadcasting. An unbelievable moment. <laughs> okay, maybe he's, did he stop it there? <laughs> but wouldn't he? Unbelievable moment in broadcasting, probably, yeah, yeah, or in yeah. radio. He says, he says that was done intentionally. All right. Okay. I don't know. Who's laughing? Is that Eric laughing? Sal. Oh, Sal. Sal, 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 why are you uh, laughing? What was that? Why are you laughing? Because why the fuck would you cut it there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. That is room. <laughs> we may have to go to the... Oh, boy, someone is <laughs> pounding down the hall. Oh, here he comes. We have to go to the Lummox oh, cam. <laughs> Look at him walking down the hall. Oh, My water is getting ripples in it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel sorry for the pothole crew. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Repair crew, right? Uh, oh Sal is uh, taking shots at you. Yeah. We right. We're defending That's you, by the way. Shut up! This is where oh! Sean. This is where Sean Whoa. ended his thought because then he started going into the next track. Yeah. So it was a weird transition. But it went up on that word. Like, right. You, yeah. And you're then, always talking. And then he jumps into the next thing. Like he finished the thought and blended into the next thought. Ah. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Uh -huh. So basically, you didn't make a mistake. You actually made a very good edit. Uh, oh. for tone. Oh. Mid-sentence. Right. That's where he oh. finished, because then he continues on the next track. Oh. Well, allegedly. We'll see. Hey, Sal, Sal take that shit. Yeah. Exactly. While you're in there busy fucking trimming your beer and your vagina hair. Good. Breathe it in. You hipster douche. Hey, come on. He's fucking just a <laughs> man, Eric. Anyway, Anthony is the more sensible, reasonable, nice, smart... <laughs> Libertarian conservative. I have to. Think, I have to th Anthony, <laughs> you, you, from, from Hannity's point of view, Anthony You're... is more reasonable. I understand him saying Anthony's more sensible. This show is conservative. Reasonable. No, no, nice is the word there. You're not nice. <laughs> Not nice. No, you're not a nice right. person. And I can be extremely unreasonable. Yeah, right, of course, which which proves that Hannity is also crazy. 
Yes. We share a lot of uh, political views. Ideology? Yes. Ideologies. We do. Yeah. Right. But then again, we, we there are many that we don't agree on. But the problem right. is, if you don't share his ideology, then you have to be a, a crybaby liberal. There's, yeah. there's no in-between ground with this yeah. fucking guy. Well, to hear the tone. It's always been it. a problem with me and him. <laughs> and he knew from the beginning Obama was going to be bad. Yeah. And then you have Ed Norton, who's just funny. Ed Norton he, is seems great. not Ed Norton, you I stupid loved, fuck. Uh, He's been on your show oh, how many times? Well, I addressed it on Twitter. I love Ed Norton. Oh, what did you say? Just Ed Norton, capital E-D, and I said, please have the respect to call me Ken like everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <good. laughs> oh, that's true. You had fun with it. Ed yeah. Norton. Maybe I should have had fun with my tweets. Well, the thing is, that's one I decided that, not to have fun with my tweets. That's my problem. The thing that... It's like, I know he knows me, so it's just like, I can't get mad at that because I've done, you hey, know. Norton, you've, you've done a show a lot. Yeah, but Ed people Norton. just make that mistake. I think it could be a little slip up, just saying Ed Norton. Ed Norton's a very dude. popular actor. Uh, or if you go back, uh, it's, you know, Ralph well, Cramden's buddy. It's just a more famous name. That's right. Uh, I, I handled it just as well as you on Twitter yesterday. Oh. Hey, Sean Hannity, stop the bullshit. I'm not even close to a liberal. Never voted in my life, which includes Obama. I hate liars. <laughs> Wow. That's yeah, probably unnecessarily. <laughs> that comes harsh. across, though, like, uh, especially Obama, um, I hate liars. It comes across like you're calling Obama. Uh, I understood that. That's uh, not the only uh, thing you good wrote. One. I was calling them both liars. Mm -hmm. Ah! That's and, not the only thing you wrote. Well, then oh, I no? wrote, dickheads with no brains think if you're not a right wing nut, you're automatically a liberal. They're unfamiliar with the middle or independent. Right wing nut, though. You use yeah. that, it makes you come off like a lip. True, and dickheads with no brains. <laughs> probably not a good way to start a conversation. <laughs> Just, a, it's just Norton. after a while, it's just annoying. Yeah, but at least you guys have. I've, I've explained this point to him personally on 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 a few occasions on our show in person. Who wrote Swanee River? Ed Norton. Yeah, but at least you guys got the plug. Now there's a lot of people googling Ed Norton because he said I was <laughs> funny. That plug in front of oh. 22 million people right. did wow. me no good. Was, Do you understand? That's like if he funny. went to plug you guys and he goes, and that Bob and Tom show is terrific. Right. He'd be like, you missed it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to, I don't want 22 million people thinking I'm a, a crybaby liberal either. So mm, yeah. it was going to be bad. And then you have Ed Norton, who's just funny. Oh. And he worked on the Tonight Show with Jay Leno. Both of them come on my show. And Opie's a little, you know, he's a little baby. He won't come on my TV show. Oh, shit. Yeah. He wouldn't come on ever. Be, because I, uh, I've explained this too. I don't need TV time. Just have TV time. I I don't have a passion to talk politics like that. I just don't. He's invited me at least six six to eight mm. times. I just don't want to do it because I don't have the. Pa I, that's not my thing, really. I'll yeah. I'll throw my two cents in here and there. I I do broad strokes as as far as this stuff goes, but I, I don't dig in deep. I stroke and, and it and to it's... broads. <laughs> nice. You. That's crass. <laughs> Chip and his show is it, it's very very political mm -hmm. yeah it's just not my arena yeah ever and he was a big obama loving liberal oh, now he's talking about i can't believe there's not a revolution <laughs> you know in the country where the government is oppressive now they're telling you how much you can drink the salt you can and cannot use yeah, this has always been my point, you stupid fuck. Oh, Jesus. Come on, he's a you radio partner. Oh. But you know <laughs> this. He knows this. And you I've, know this. I've never supported a side strongly. Yeah. I almost liked Clinton. And believe it or not, when I was growing up, I almost liked uh, Reagan. Yes. There's two guys that are pretty opposite, yes. right? Hello. But my problem has always been, yeah, the government's in our shit. And, and they're full of uh, full of lies down there in Washington. Yes, and I've always been that guy. Ed Ed Norton is very <laughs> funny. Uh, well, twenty-two million say, uh, person plug yes. ruined. <laughs> God, uh, Sean. Uh, Ed Norman Schwarzkopf <laughs> yeah. is well. I know. Oh God, oh, that one hurt. Drink the salt you can and cannot use. They're taking bigger and bigger and bigger, bigger chunks of every Ooh. penny you make. Yes. It almost sounds like You die and they right? take 100, uh, they want 100% of what you got left. Amazing. They want the gold in your rotting teeth, <clears throat> for crying out loud. Ah! There ought to be a revolution. Yes. 
We need new government. Yes. That's what this election hopefully will be about. Hopefully we'll get oh, some solid. Yes. Ted Cruz, Rand Paul, Mike Lee, Marco Rubio, Come conservatives on. in the Senate and the House. Come on, November. They keep dreaming. It's going to be the same shit, and you know it, Sean. Let's get the Dems out. It's going to be the same shit. Let's make Obama a true lame duck. I'm all for that. It's going to be the same shit. Oh, yeah? Damn it. It will. Damn. Cruz doesn't have a shot to be president. It was going to change. Not president, but, you know. I just want to, I just want a clean sweep. Get all the Dems out. Make it so that Obama can just sit there and write out the rest of his fucking miserable, disastrous term. It's not pretty. But uh, I'll say it again. I was never a, an Obama supporter. I just knew that the country was going to do that and vote him in. Mm. Vote in your boy? It's your boy Obama, right? Good one. Uh, Sam Roberts lobbing some shells across your bow right there. Open. What did Sam say here? What did you say? What did Sam hear? What did you say? He said, well, Hold I on. I just, wanted to, I just wanted to reiterate the worst statement in radio history. <laughs> What did Sam hear? What did you say? I was wrong on every word. <laughs> no one has ever been more consistently wrong with the string of words before. <laughs> <laughs> Sam was uh, saying it was uh, Opie's boy. So there you go. It wasn't, I mean, that bad, obviously, no. but it was still like, uh, it's yeah. just annoying. Yeah. It wouldn't that. be annoying if I, I didn't sit with the guy and explain to him exactly. My stance on he, shit. He loves giving you a good ribbing like that. <laughs> because he doesn't understand why I won't go on a show, and it has nothing yeah. to do with him. I do like the guy. He he is one of the few in radio that's uh, stuck up for us. Mm -hmm. And he also is uh, one of the few radio guys that called me personally to basically tell me that we got to you know, calm our shit the fuck down. Yeah, that's true. Because when we first got back to Satellite, we were, uh, we were out of control right away. <clears throat> And I remember, and then we got in trouble. I think it was the it was the homeless guy, the homeless Charlie thing made some big headlines. Mm. And Sean and I and I respect him to this day for it. He <laughs> like, called what me. Are you doing? <laughs> what? He was like, he called what are you me, doing? Yeah. and he said, "What are you guys doing? Yeah, you you just sat out over two years. You're back. You you gotta fucking calm the fuck down." <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> so yeah. But uh, the reason I don't go on his show is because I, I just don't have the passion to talk politics on that mm. level. I, I just don't. I'd go on with you and fool around a little bit, maybe, yeah. but I don't know. There are some shows he does that aren't heavily political leaning if something's happening right. that day, uh, maybe, you know, entertainment wise, or he's got a, a panel on that's a little more goofy or something. So, uh, yeah. And then there's, you know, the hardcore political shows right. for the most part i always find uh even with the political stuff i try to find the angle that i relate to <laughs> right because like, I, I don't i can't sit there and <clears throat> debate politics with even you know whether the democrats are but guys who do that for a living yeah they're doing it every head guys day. right i'm gonna i'm gonna lose those debates because they, they know how to say it quick but, and yeah, they, and they have know everything throw, memorized everything's all the memorized stats and everything yeah oh. so i just use it as a platform to fuck around like and yeah. i make a point Right. Regardless of what their point is, Not, and and try to be funny. And be with funny. It. Yeah. yeah. Nothing worse uh, than being on one of those shows, and you you make like a a passionate statement about something, and then they just nail you with all sorts of stats and, <laughs> and, and <laughs> dates oh, and names. Shit. And, but well, but <laughs> and just I was like just having fun. Well, I, I just thought it was a, a good idea that we would do uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> <Ed Norton. laughs> <laughs> well, what about the Blah Blah Act from 1949? Exactly. Oh, that one. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's you realize that 57,000 people would be affected by what you just said? Yes. Yeah, that slipped my mind. <laughs> yes. Senator Gludson, a Republican, signed the vote. Senator Gludson. <laughs> I vote for him. Yes, right. so I did vote for him. You do turn it, <laughs> you do turn it to Brian Ring. But I thought... I thought... But, but I thought... See, but I thought it was a good thing. But I thought free Pop-Tarts would be a good thing. I thought the people would rally around it. <laughs> right. I thought they'd rally around it. <laughs> rally. <laughs> the big yellow one is the Democrat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I guess I made my stupid point, but... Yeah. Uh, he's Sean. He's Sean, you know? He's Sean Hannity. A mm. dickhead with no brain. Damn! Yes. Yeah. Yes, Sam. Reiterate it. They heard you the first time. Don't worry. Ma'am. I only said it once. No, you said it twice. You brought up my other tweet. Oh, that's true. 
So you referred to dickhead twice. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hmm. What? Just looking at Twitter. Oh. Why? No reason. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you do? I barely look. <clears throat> I look. Here's a video. Day. I'm selling a shirt, and here's us with a oh, with yeah. a celebrity. Bye. I realize that's I, what it's become now. I had jumped back into the racial discussion fray of late, and uh, yeah. and then it just always turns into a rehashing of the Trayvon and <laughs> and Zimmerman thing, and it's like that that's that's done. Enough already. Ah. Uh, then I get roped in. You do get roped in, huh? I get roped in and start going off on it because people just they're they're deniers of of fact, and and you just want to set them straight. And a lot of times I do use some people as as a means to an end. You know, it's easier for me to answer something to discuss it than it would be to uh, just throw it out there as as a here. But what? You, it's better to just answer somebody else's statement with something. But why would you argue with people that you know obviously don't like you or your stance, and you know you'll never turn them? I, I can't be bothered with that anymore. It's I know there's people even, that I know there's, there's, hmm. there's people out there they, that, that simply don't like me, and I'm like, why am I arguing with these people? They're never gonna like yeah. like me. I could cure cancer, and they would find a problem with that. I think it's because I can get my word out there. I could get my opinion out there. I could get right. get another discussion started, maybe with people that. You know, are, are a little more adept to uh, uh, debating, but in order to get it started, I need that jumping off point. And sometimes it's some asshole with two followers that you oh, know that makes sense. It's giving shit. That certainly but, makes sense. Yeah, <clears throat> it's like, oh wait, maybe if I explain it to this guy, you know, you're never changing their of minds. Of course not. That's funny. And sometimes when you realize that, to, yeah. it's very freeing. Yeah. Sometimes I don't have the time or, or ambition to do anything and argue with somebody, so I'll just retweet them, knowing that the listeners <laughs> will just destroy them. So I'm just like, yeah, let me retweet that, and you guys have a little fun. <laughs> it's like when I'm having a sandwich and I give a little piece of cheese to Beavis. Aww. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> There's uh, people on Twitter... Sean Hanna, you owe Jim Norton an apology, and you should plug all of his appearances for the next six months. <laughs> and, Signed Jim Norton. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, my favorite of it. And Pete Hoare said, uh, Jim Norton, maybe Ed Norton, Sean just meant erectile dysfunction Norton, in which case he nailed us. <laughs> it's not true sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. That's funny. Can we get uh, uh, Dennis Falcone in here oh, for a second? Yes. Hollywood Danny Falcone? Oh. Well, I have to, yes. Oh, yeah. He's... He like the loves, one was walking by dressed a certain way just to get noticed. You know what? You didn't see what he did today to do exactly that? That's, yeah, of course. That's what I'm saying. Why? He's, you know what oh. it is? I think With it's the, because you he's saw the, Oh, okay. okay. I, I think it's because he's done a couple of our, our shows, the, the pre-show and the after-show and stuff. And, uh, and maybe people are starting to know his name. He's got he's to be a little I, undercover, a little QT. He's got sunglasses he on today. He is, isn't he? <laughs> he's got sunglasses, and he's walking around, and he had to walk by our area. Yeah. When we went to break, by the way. Yeah. So Jimmy's absolutely right. Yeah. And I'm, I'm thinking he had some kind of eye surgery, no, no. cataract surgery or something. He's where, here he comes. And they're, you know what the glasses are? They're like the ones Denunzio was wearing in Caddyshack at the pool. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> they're just the worst sunglasses ever. These big mirror sunglasses. Very good. Denunzio. Denunzio <laughs> is a boob. Oh, God. Oh, he of course stinks. he was. Hey, mama. Here he comes. Look at well, this. Sunglasses are wow, horrendous. Those are pretty good. That's great. You truly have reached a new level of ass dumb. It's Brundle No, I Falcone. just got these in, and I wanted to see if I could walk around with them. They're very dark. Yes. I'm yeah, still practicing are. in the fucking subway. <laughs> <laughs> see if you can find the edge. <laughs> but there's a lot of hallways around here. Why did you pick our area? To get well, noticed, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. Honest. All right. Why not? I can't argue with to that. To get your opinion, if I get your opinion, then I know they are. Right, they're awful. They're exactly. horrendous. Exactly. Well, exactly. Uh, Everybody Dwyer. else is going to say, oh, they're nice. They're fun. No, I come that. to you guys and I get the truth. You told me outside the studio you thought they were nice. Yeah. What well, is and that they would be what good for giveaways. Why are they fun? This, this is the company that makes them. Oh, it's, yeah? Uh, yeah, I got them at the DJ show in Atlantic City. They sent them to me. Oh, oh the DJ, DJ show. show. Yeah. You can bounce some lasers off of those uh, mirrors. Yeah. And it would look cool. These are pretty cool. This is like when you play EDM music, you know, electronic dance music. Yeah. You just grab Graduated from fucking Apex Tech, and you're going for a <laughs> welding job. <laughs> I can't phone you because I'm a douche. <laughs> see, then you could look at me, and then you could comb your hair. On I the actually glasses. can see my. These are perfectly yeah, yeah. narrowed sunglasses. Yeah. They don't fit those. Any are head, good. Yeah, so yeah. We'll get some of these, you know, yeah. for the parties. 
Got an $8 million camera next to me, and I'm fucking using yeah. my iPhone to take a picture of this. That's uh, You look like a little girl wearing her mother's sunglasses, like one of Joan Crawford's kids, <laughs> trying to be like mommy. How many did you get? What's up? How many? Oh, you could buy like uh, buy the dozen, so I'll probably buy like 12 dozen. That would be like 144, 144 yeah. You buy a lot of them and what, hand them out at parties yeah. and stuff? Oh, the parties. okay. How much? See, now I get it. Yeah. How much are they? I think they're like a buck a pair, $2 a pair. It depends. You got ripped off. Yeah. No, these are good. Yeah, you know what? Then you could... Uh, they're not good. You could be at a party, right? You're DJing a party, <laughs> right? fucking horrendous. And I, I bet it's like... Uh, uh, go get yourself some cheap sunglasses, bam, 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 bam. and then you'd be like, "Okay, everybody, we got the cheap sunglasses no, coming out." No. What? No, o old time rock and roll. Oh, ding, 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 yeah. ding, 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 ding. Oh, and then, I got it. And then yeah. you do the dance, you know? Right. What about my future? So, so bright, Timbuk three. Timbuk future three. So bright, I gotta wear shades. I gotta wear yeah. shades. There's a bunch of sunglass-based songs. That Corey you can Hart. Then... I wear my sunglasses at, at night. night. Yeah. So I can. So I can. Yeah. Do you, Do you go a little vaguer, like? Hazy shade of winter oh, or something because they're shades, you know. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's sort of depressing too. You want to keep the party up. <laughs> you want to keep uh, the party yeah. up. Good times <laughs> and fun. Good times and great old good days. Good times, great old days. Keep the party pumping. You like that Arnold Schwarzenegger character, the douchinator. <laughs> 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 I'll be bluff. <laughs> I like I like the whole Sean Hannity bit this morning. You did? Oh, oh that's there. hilarious. Yeah. I'll be bluff. That was fun. Why was that fun? Because he was talking about the old studios and everything. Oh, and, yeah. oh see, that's yeah. what he oh, liked. Oh, he liked the radio angle. Yeah, yeah he's talking radio radio about angle. that stuff. Yeah, but um, you know, I'm like I'm with Opie. I can't talk the politics either. No, huh? No. I get on there and talk some radio. If they need a radio expert, I, I think you're a go-to guy. I could talk some politics. You can't talk any. No, oh, yeah. not at all. Okay, no, there's no. a difference. No, I admit that. Thank you. I admit that. You know what? You know the politics of fun. Politics, politics of, of dancing. dancing. The politics good of song. dancing. Good song. The yeah. politics of wound feeling good. 132 beats a minute. You can mix that puppy in and keep the dance floor hopping all night long. <laughs> uh, Alex, Even... I'll take things people should be shot for saying for a thousand. <laughs> 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 we hear politics of dancing now. Politics of dancing. <laughs> it's a good song. Speak is to, it? Talk this up for us, and then get the fuck out of here. Oh, it is great sunglasses. Oh, they're great. Yeah, I like those. Those are hilarious. Yeah, what's? Oh, politics of great. dancing. I'd like to get a reflex like, right? green yeah. version. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you I hope you get a massage and you look through them. <laughs> I might have, what? what happened? I'm just dropping some beats in there. Yeah, huh? Oh, I got it started like this. Yes. Oh, yeah, we, we would cut Shit this out. We would cut this we out. We would edit this out. Yeah, yeah, it's not fun. No. You need the full, oh. you know, the whole thing. Uh. Well, here it is. We're one day away from the weekend. Almost ready to reach around, slap yourself on the back and say, Hey, Friday! is on the horizon. But you know what? Thursday is also the unofficial start of the weekend. We're finally getting some sunshine. We're finally getting that feel. So you know what? Let's get everybody out there on the dance floor. Get those hands up in the air. Wave them like you just don't care because we could talk politics all day and all night long. Ah, you're wordy. You got yeah, stepped right. on. Because I thought, no, nasally. No, no, and it's still nasally. Going. Your voice it's is still thin. Going. Oh, light dog. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> you think he's a thin voice? Yeah, it's very thin. It's still, it's still going. That was His just fucking a, voice is like tracing paper. Intro right there. Horrible. <laughs> like an onion paper voice. Right. <laughs> a lambskin condom voice. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get some balls behind that voice. <laughs> I'm gonna go out and smoke a pack of camels and come back to the studio, okay? Right. Let me hear the, your deepest voice. All radio guys could like you know yeah. bring it down a little I like bit. To stand and then with up. the processing, it's, I like to stand up. It sounds oh. boss, boss jockish. Boss jock. Yeah, well, I have a pretty good deep. You know, no, deep you don't even have close to a deep voice. You don't. Yeah. Sort what song? Sam. What yeah, song you, you want? Uh, yeah, you're the host of W Progeria. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have anybody on the birthday list celebrating a birthday today? We have Brian am, Setzer. Actually. There you Brian go. Setzer. Stray Cats. Let's oh yeah, we can rock this town. All right, let's do rock this town. I want to hear your deepest radio voice. We have to get the stray cats on. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry. We're well, the straw hats, as we used to say, for fun. That's not fun. <laughs> no. What's fun about that? Oh. Well, it's just like a play on words. I understand yeah. that, but I don't see the fun. That's fun if you're saying, oh, girl, eat your ass. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> the, straw, the straw hats? The straw hats. You did not say that one. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I know the I know they ain't related, but they do be brothers. I know a few All of right. those. Uh, but like, that uh, one, we never, uh, like, we, we never did straw hats. We got, we got a request here for the 
Straw hats. Oh, wait, that's the stray cats. That's See, it's like, uh, yeah. I never yeah, heard that's that funny. one. funny. What are yeah. some of the others? What's that? You all uh, I'm trying to remember something. No way. Yeah. Well, you see, El Elbow Parsley, a lot of 50s and 60s disc jockeys used to do for Elvis Presley. Elbow Parsley? Yeah. They did not do oh, that. They wow. did. They did. I, I, I actually, he actually is right, because I was listening to the Elvis channel, and they did a 30-minute discussion uh, on how Elbow one Parsley of, got started by somebody that saw him in a diner once. One of my favorite bits that I know the <laughs> listeners don't care about is, is listening to the Elvis channel. I know, I love and one it. of those mundane stories <laughs> that goes on forever from a guy that almost <laughs> saw Elvis <laughs> one time and has a story about it. But Anthony listened for 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, I, I love That's it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> those He's horrible stories. He's, he's just a in. dumb guy. <laughs> I know. He's That's a, funny. He's a savant. Is he? Yes. Is that what it is? I have great uh, respect and uh, a fondness for Denny Fox. Uh, by the way, uh, a little uh, Classic Rewind gave uh, a little shout-out yesterday. Oh, I, sure. I told her. Christine Stone? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, because What'd we were she talking say? about it. Yes. What's that? What's I told her. I said that uh, Opie uh, really enjoys the channel and said he was listening. So to my piece yeah. of shit. Ouch. Yes. I was just saying how I respected you. Let and, me uh, answer you. Yes. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Opie, Opie was really going. <laughs> a rhetorical question. <laughs> No, Ope was going off the other day saying he really liked Classic Rewind, heard Christine Stone. and uh, I like nice Christine voice. Stone's voice. She's a nice voice. She's not going to say anything crazy, but <laughs> right. she's got a good voice, keeps uh, the music going. Oh, that's going. right. Okay, I was just saying I like this, the, the uh, channel. Opie was complimenting her. Uh, okay. By the way, uh, Christine Stone has a much deeper voice than you. Yeah, she In does. a sexy wow. way, too. Yeah, she, yeah. Does. she doesn't sound like a truck Damn. driver. She sounds I'm very, trying very to sound sexy. sexy. Yeah. Damn. Are you trying to sound sexy? No. Why is that trying to sound sexy? I'm not. trying to look sexy with those glasses. Tell you that much. You're a sexy dude. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. I appreciate That's, that. Yeah. Your voice just like falls apart before yeah. you even hit the microphone. It's it so thin. It, it is a thin yeah. little voice. Yeah. It's just it's like throwing <laughs> snowflakes into a fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's his voice. It does. It's kind of. The processing has nothing to work with. <laughs> yeah, you need something to actually work with. Wow. To process. All right, let's hear your deep voice for the, the straw hats. Do we got straw hats? Three cats. And Brian Setzer's 55th birthday. 55. It's not Rock This Town. What version is this? What is this? What is this? this is Rock This Town off Dirty Boogie. No, no, no. you got to give me the original. 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 The Stray Cats. Stray Cats. Yes. Right, dirty cats. Boogie. Dirty what, are we all going to get hungry? I did uh, Brian Setzer and that's what came out. Oh, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. Is that the one they play in the gay clubs, you Trav? Yes, yeah, it is. It's the only one I know. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to harp on this for quite a while. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to continue oh, to talk about this. God. How could you do that? No. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Why anyone tries to do anything around here is beyond me. I think you just get shit on. Exactly. Well, the feel the, the tension, right? Yeah. What? Among everyone. Yeah. We got to, like, uh, release the release valve. Yeah. It might it's going to happen soon. Something's going to blow. tension. Where? That, with everyone. Yeah. You can tell Travis is getting a little annoyed. Travis a little got a little annoyed. annoyed at me before when I went in there to ask him something. Did he? Yeah, a little, oh, little something. Boy. What was for, it? For a blowjob. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, Travis, why don't you just pop this puppy <laughs> in your mouth and earn a few bucks? All of a sudden, he's like, I got work to do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sal took shots at Iraq. Iraq took shots oh, back. that's right. Yeah, yeah. I said, hi, Iraq. How are you? He told me to go fuck myself. <laughs> right. There's... You're dead. Yes. It's, it's quite tense around here. It is, right? Yes. Maybe. Why is that, Sam? I don't know why it is. But it's, 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 it's gonna, it'll reach a breaking point. You know? Why? What's going on? Yeah, tell us. I don't know. The lamoxity of E-Rock, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go with the Stray Cats. We're going to try to hear Dennis Falcone's deepest voice for radio. Well, good morning. I'd like to wish you a very, very happy birthday. That's my voice. I am what I am. But That's we, my voice. We told you to try to do your deepest oh, voice. Don't, don't talk like that. I mean, I, that's, uh, this is my but, voice. Yes. But this yes. is my voice. You dress like you start in Papillon. I don't like your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> but if the bit is... That's like old prison. Yeah, you want me to put a voice? I don't have that oh. voice. The, this is my voice. Yeah, though. hey. Then tell us you can't do the bit. The bit is Dennis Falcone trying to do his deepest radio voice. So you go, okay, we set the whole thing up which took five to seven minutes and then you just did your regular voice yeah your waffer thin voice <laughs> piece of garbage oh sorry go ahead. okay there you go I'll try it down low like this but That's there's not nothing there there's nothing there just piece voice. of voice see i would just be more happy and excited to say hey if you see brian setzer today wish him a happy birthday he is 55 years young the pride of massive people long island let's rock this town
Oh. All right, you can hit a post. That okay, was nice. I'll, I'll yeah, exactly. You I'll give you that. You can so hit can a Harry post. Chapin. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you have a very, you have a very good radio voice. I don't. It, you know, I, I, um, I do all right. I had a horrendous Long Island accent when I first started this. Crap. I gotta tell you something though. He's got the the right voice for what he does. That deep voice doesn't work when you're doing that. That progressive FM radio is is for the deep voice. He's doing the party. Hey everybody! I don't oh, want, ha, when, well, I, well, when I when I listen to a music station, I don't want to hear a willy-nilly voice. You don't want willy-nilly <laughs> no. voice? Well, you don't even think he's going to survive to the post without running out of air. Uh, <laughs> it's little parrot lungs. What else did you say that it bothered me? It's oh, if you see legs. Brian Setzer. Yeah, who's that's, that's, that's going to see him? Exactly my hand and DJ did that. Thing. Hey, if you happen to run into Brian but, Setzer But today. these people aren't going to run into Billy oh, Joel on his birthday know. or whatever. You yeah, you hunk of shit. <laughs> that's just the fun thing. If they have hey, this guy said It isn't fun. They're not fun. If you see the piano, man. Man. Right. That's yeah. It. You're just... And you're acting like Captain Jack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking boo And the funny thing is, if you did see someone like that and try to wish him a happy birthday, you'd probably get punched in the face yeah. by one of his crew. Yeah. Stay away. No, he was very nice. I sat next to him at a Mets game once. So, oh, Brian Setzer? Yeah, up in the press box. One box next to me was Richard Nixon. And the other, yeah, how about that? Richard Nixon, wow. myself, and Brian Setzer. I wish you were next Wait. to Kenny on the way to the fucking <laughs> mart. <laughs> on the trade note of the trade mart. <laughs> You just lied there, too. I'm not lying. I'm not kidding you. You didn't sit next to yeah. him. In the, there was three different press boxes. I'm yeah. not lying to you. Yes. So that's not sitting next to him. That's, yes. that's, he's in the next oh. section. Right. You're in but the you same can building. See him. No, we were in a press box. You could see box. him. That, yeah. That's a lot different than what you said. I sat right. I sat next to him. What was Why? Nixon doing there? Why didn't you say hi to him? Watching the ball game. Was, Did was you say hi to him? It was 86. Shea Stadium, 86. Why was he in New York? I don't know. I was in San Clemente, home of the Western White House. And this thin-voiced yeah. man was sitting next to me. <laughs> right. He wanted to keep his eye on the Jew. Yes. Hey. Are you a Jew? Jew boy? Wow. You Why didn't you... sit next to Seth, uh, uh, Brian Seltzer. He, Seltzer. Brian Seltzer. Seltzer. See, that would have been funny. Brian Seltzer, he did sit next to <laughs> he, He's taking that like a See, that's I'm going to take that one. Yeah. Brian Seltzer, everybody. Brian Seltzer, no. And then you're wrestling Seltzer? the paper. Seltzer? 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 He was Seltzer? In a, Seltzer? He was in a press box next to you. Right. <laughs> that's not sitting next to him. <laughs> so you don't know if he was nice or not. No, he yeah. was. How do you How know? Do you know? I waved to him, and then when we walked out at the end of the game, I said, "Hey, you know, I'm from the South Shore of Long Island too." He goes, "Yeah, where about?" And I said, I "Grew up in Seaford." No kidding. Oh, yeah. I said, "Hey, remember hanging out at the uh, the OBI?" Uh, yeah, he goes, I used to play there. Oh, you should have said, "Let's go out and, for yeah. some Seaford." Hey, you know, so, nothing I, better. See, I like that Seaford. <laughs> of course yeah. you do. Nothing better than small talk. Oh, exactly. With a with a thin voiced man. Oh, exactly. Oh, <laughs> oh, I thought you were a sick kid they brought to the game. <laughs> 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 did you, uh, wow, that was uh, yeah. pretty good. Did you get a picture? No, no. No, huh? No. It's now, why would you when Nixon's there? Why yeah. would you talk to Nixon? Well, because he's yeah. not nowhere as near him. Tricky no. dick. You could see him just like everyone else. Did you try to get as much information about yourself out as you could about radio and everything? No. We like, just, hey, I'm on the radio. Some small talk. Just yeah. Some, some chit-chat. She's got big tits. Wow. Aren't they amazingly fucking... Look good shaped too. Yeah, they're probably really good to just hold on and suck like a little baby. <laughs> I would wrap my legs around her and hold her breasts while she cut my head like a child and, and suck them and make mommy noises. <laughs> Can you do that? It's one of my favorite things yeah. you do. This is how Jimmy uh, takes care of a girl's breasts. I hold breasts. them. I, I wrap my legs around her waist, <laughs> right? And then I hold her big breast with one hand. And I go. <laughs> oh, who's got? He, he opens his eyes real wide and looks. looks yes. Around. Yeah, I get my feeding. <laughs> how ghoulish is Feed that? Feed me. Oh, that. That is really creepy. Yeah, I dig my nails into him. I think I bite yeah. it. Stiffens your nipples, didn't it? That's <laughs> oh, mm. uh, right. great. So the sunglasses, uh, but for a dollar, okay. Yeah, we got them for two dollars. And sometimes you could get like uh, different colors on the sides. So, oh, you know, if you're having a theme party, you know, right? Do you get your name on the side at least? Or? I could put my name on the side. What, yeah, what's on the side now? Did you say that earlier? I don't remember. No, it's just the uh, the company that makes them. Uh, ShermanParty.com. Sherman Party. There he wow. goes. Nice plug right there. That's oh, the company that makes this oh. stuff. So they should give you a whole bunch of sunglasses for free. I wish I you were so. taking them back to OJ's wife. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> now beat it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's not going to get worse than that, so beat it. Exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, the news would have been reported so much differently if it was him bringing the sunglasses back. A tragedy and a blessing. <laughs> <laughs> he cut his throat with a nail clipper. <laughs> little pencil nick. Exactly. Look at I this. broke your motherfucking legs driving once. <laughs> So, Jay. Yes. Look at the stuff, you guys. Uh, oh, light up disco at, stick. That you could buy from what? Sherman Party? Oh, wow. Right. Light up that? disco sticks. Mm -hmm. These are the ones you buy in volume. Yeah. Everything? I like that. For that wow. light up disco stick, where's the place that makes it stand straight up on the chair? <laughs> <laughs> See? So you can put your hiney. Yes. <laughs> We should get some of this stuff for the unmasked. That'd be great. Oh, right? that'd be good. Hand it out to yeah, the have crowds. me run around <laughs> giving out that stuff. Yeah. Oh, Pump boy. Pump it up the party. Yeah. I'd rather have ricin at the fucking unmasked. <laughs> <laughs> Those things. <laughs> <laughs> did Mary call the, uh, the pre-show again? Yeah, she did. Oh. What, what was her angle today? Uh, it wasn't about her, but she wanted Lady Di at the unmasked. How long was the call? Uh, it's about four minutes. You want clips? <sighs> The callers really did not take well to it. No, work. they don't. Yeah, so then we definitely want clothes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, exactly. I think we do. But we need them right away before Dave Patel gets here. Okay. Please. Do you have an assistant that goes to gigs with you that blows up the saxophones and everything? No. If people are ordering those, I tell them to uh, please bring them ahead of time. Blown up. <laughs> He's got an agenda. I love it. He's yeah. so organized. and You have to because that saves time. I do. Yeah. It. I do respect your work ethic. I really do, but wow. So then we, you know, when we put on a good uh, rock and guitar song, you start giving out the guitars. <laughs> oh my God. Let me hear it. Let me see you guys playing some air guitar. How about we rock and roll all night with Kiss? <sighs> yeah, and that gets the, you know, everybody, because of the whole, uh, you know, air guitar video games and what have you. Mm. I'd love to bring Jimmy out to one of the parties. He'd probably have a good time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'd rather be the guest of honor at a lynching. <laughs> Why don't we just play the Marion call? Travis has it. Oh, shit. We can, we can tap yes. out whenever we want. I'd rather be, are you a party I'd rather go to? The one where I have to read statements while fucking while the, the Cali cartel stands behind me. <laughs> Warming up the chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, let's hear it for Dennis Falcon. Classic. Dennis Falcon. Hey, thanks, guys. Always Looking a pleasure, good. sir. Give him your best today because Sean Hannity probably got a lot of new people, you know, cuming the show today. He's the cuming the show. No I love cuming. it. None of that. Should work. It out. I it love might work it. a little bit, maybe, yeah. but not as much as the PD would like to think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sam, we'll just play it. Fuck it. Okay. So, yeah. so Marion called the pre-show more begging for the uh, unmasked tickets, right? And the, and the Bobo rule is in effect. No right. Bobo, no Lady Die, no mm. one else that babbles. So that no would be Marion. No well. rambling. Although Marion's trying to say she can't go, even if we ask. I can't go anyway. But why wouldn't you have me? Stop. Right. So let's listen to a little bit of the phone call from Marion yeah, this right. morning. Because Denny Falcone. Marion, welcome to the pre-show. Hey, Sam. How ha are you? Hey, um, I think one thing. Opie and Anthony should reconsider and give Diane tickets to next week's, uh, you know, get-together. Right. Now, uh, I think they should because everything that she has done for you guys oh, yeah. in 20 years, mm -hmm. they should reconsider, honestly. And, you know, hey. I don't care about Bobo. I don't know what you guys got going with Bobo. Lou, did you have a question for Marion? Mary, do you think this unmask is it for you or for? No, it's not about me. It's about the guys. But the okay, thing is, it's really about people that are going that used to belong to the show, okay? And Diane did an internship for them three weeks ago. Internship. Okay, it wasn't a real internship. Me. I'm calling about people okay, don't okay, understand. I don't give a shit anyway. Right? <laughs> but I'm calling for Diane, and I think Diane should be able to go. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. How many Why not? Times She's been around for twenty freaking years as long as old Queen Anthony. She went up there to the internship. She it wasn't an internship. <laughs> what a babbling narcissist. And I think they should give her tickets. Just all over and over. The listeners do not care that you can't go, but you would if you can. I don't fucking care what you think, okay? I don't fucking care what you think. Oh, boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Feisty. I think Diane should be able to you go. Yeah, a lot there, Sam. All right, Lou. I think you've been putting your well, place, quite frankly. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Right. Marion, I'm sorry that you didn't deal with that. I don't fucking care, but let me tell you something. I think that you guys should give Diane a break and give her some goddamn tickets, all right? Right. Oh. How many tickets do you think she should get? Amanda. Well, one, because I can't go, so she should get a ticket. Okay. Now, don't her. you think that there is a danger of her being a bit of a distraction? 
No, I don't think so. I think she would behave this time. Okay, well, she behaved so poorly the last time we saw her, she had to be banned from the bathroom because she refused to vomit anywhere except the <laughs> well, sink. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Maybe yeah. you should give her a call today right. or next week and tell and tell her if she behaves herself that she should go. But she really would like to go and be a part of this. Well, let's see. Ray in Philly, do you agree with Marion or no? Give no, her not a at chance. all. Marion, when she lost her virginity on the train tracks, they... Her boyfriend or whoever was fucking her should have just pushed her in front of a fucking moving train. Let me tell you something. That's not my. That's not my situation. That's not my problem. So that, that's up to Diane. That's not my problem. That's not my problem. You know no, what? Let me tell you you dress up in a purple Diane, sweat. Diane, take it to like Diane. Don't take grimace. that with me. Okay. You suck. All right. All right. I think that's a little. Fuck yourself. Okay. You go to hell. Good for you, Marion. That was a little unfair. I'd rather. I'd rather spend my time with some Brian in Detroit. What the? Hey, Marion. Why the? Fuck you, keep saying that wildebeest. I'm so tired of your fucking retarded ass, too. It's nothing. Why don't you shut up, okay, you fucking asshole? Oh, I'm a fucking asshole. Fuck you. You, you are an asshole. Because you don't know me. I don't know you. <laughs> All right, so if you have, if you don't have anything nice to say, then you do fuck with oh. me at all, jerk off, okay? <laughs> Good for you, Marion. This is not this is not how you want to start the morning, is it? I don't give a shit how I start the morning, okay? I'm Good on my way you. to work. But let me tell you something. Sam, honestly, yeah. have the guys reconsider and give her a ticket. Well let's I think Bobby in Connecticut actually agrees with you. What's up, Bobby? Give her a chance. Morning, prime time. morning. Uh, you know what? Opie and Anthony, they're just per ungrateful. They wouldn't have this career if it wasn't for Diana and Marion, and I think they should be alive. I wouldn't say that, but they've been around a lot longer than me and Diane, and there's a lot of people that used to be with the show that ain't around anymore. Who knows what happened to a lot of people? But Diana really would They're like to go. They're all dead. So you're going to be all fired up when you get to work this morning, huh, Marion? I'm good. I'm good. I'm, just, I'm calling because I'm saying Diana is my How friend, long is this fucking clip? Right? Able to go. Do you it think really there's a possibility that she'll get all... Well, don't you think there's a possibility that she'll get all kind of fucked up and piss herself at the unmask? I don't think mm. so. I really don't. I think this time she'll, she'll really behave. And she told mm. me yesterday on the phone that if she was able to go, if you guys get her a ticket, she's not going to go there drinking. She's, she's going to behave herself. Bullshit. And you know what? Truthfully, Sam... She has been behaving herself the last couple no, days. No, she has. <laughs> last couple of days. <laughs> <to her> internship <laughs> here. Oh, well, I wasn't off. there. I don't know anything about that. I don't know if that's true. Wait, I don't. I don't want to get involved with that. Okay. Right. I I understand that. Josh in Pennsylvania. Morning, Sam. Morning. Hey, Marion, uh, I just yes. wanted to, to don't, don't be upset that they didn't get invited because these didn't get invited. I yet. don't want to go. I no, he said, no, Marion, Marion, he said D's. D's didn't get invited, Marion. D's didn't get any tickets. Who? <laughs> Please, no. Okay, here we go. <laughs> That's good. Damn it. Good place to end it. Yeah, fuck. Oh, my <laughs> God, it's so annoying. <laughs> It is so what? annoying. I mean, Marion admitted that Lady Di is an alcoholic. An alcoholic is not going to, you know, control themselves. No. She's going to control herself. She'll get all snotted drunk and then do that whole, no, 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 I'm not, no, no, no. But she's been oh, behaving she's herself annoying. the last couple of days. Is she? Yeah, last couple of days. Yeah, last couple of days, sure. Someone on yeah. Twitter suggested that we make uh, Lady Di and Bobo um, film a sex tape oh. to get tickets for the unmasked. <laughs> oh, uh, God. You think they would do it? Wow. Yeah, that's the problem. I think they actually would. Probably. They probably <laughs> would. Yeah. Yeah. If they would. I don't think it's a good <laughs> idea to do that. Why? Because, no. number one, nobody wants to see it. Number two, it's... Mm. That would be wacky. It would be wacky, but it'd probably Sean also Hattie, be... Sean That's so. right. It'd make Sean Hannity proud that we're still wacky. Wacky. <laughs> sounds like some form of prostitution. You think? Thank you. I don't, I, yeah, mm. I think so. Kenny uh, researched the laws last night. Oh, he night. did? Yeah. He's still working through it. There's a, there is a gray area, but we think we can work through that. Yeah, Lady Dice crotch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why is Marion pleading her case? I don't know. She's been calling in every morning. It's not that big of a deal. It really isn't. Especially since she's not going anyway. Yeah, why is she? It'll be on the radio. Involved. It's going to be on our channel and Raw Dog at the same time, I believe. Live, Live right? Yeah. Wow. Okay. So that's why does cool. She have to be involved. And then it's going to just be it's going to be a quick hour and a half total. Uh-huh. Hour with Ron, then a half hour signing, and then we're out of there. Mhm. Mm <laughs>
be on demand too. You hear whenever you want. Okay. Jesus. Oh, the celebrities coming through will be cool, though. Uh-huh. Where are we at with that? It better be with none. It better be none celebrities. Well, I thought we had agreed that as long as it was slices of cake instead of cupcakes, <clears throat> you were fine. Oh, was that it? I thought so. <laughs> no, okay. I fucking... I, I love that Wiki came in here and just fucking was like, no, I, it was a horrible <laughs> mistake and yes. I'm not even revisiting. Here's your cupcake. You're fired. Oh, uh, hey, Donald oh, Trump. Thank you, Thanks. Donald Trump. The Donald is here. Ooh. The Donald brought the cupcake. Oh, oh, who else cupcake. is coming through with cupcakes? I wonder All if any right. other celebrities are coming through. Who else is going to uh, oh. cut off Ronnie B in mid-sentence? To we only have an hour. For an hour if that we, we have. A, if we did a four-hour broadcast, then I could see where maybe. Maybe. May, I'm just saying maybe. Right. But a quick hour, an hour, like we'll go like that. Exactly. Any other celebrities walking through? I don't know. Who is this know, that's coming over. through? No. Oh, oh, no. Um, oh. Oh, hello, guys. I've got a cupcake for you. Oh, it's Ricky Gervais. Oh, oh Ricky, Ricky Gervais. Gervais is here. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thought you could use a cupcake. I was going to do an interview, but I figured I'd, I'd blow the appearance and just give you a cupcake <laughs> and then see you in nine months. Right. <laughs> that's, great for, that's great for no one. That's great. Is there any other celebrities? Who else is walking through? through Caroline's? Yeah. Do you know? Whoa! Oh, Mr. De Niro! Bobby De Niro! They asked me to bring you guys a cupcake, yeah. a couple of palookas. <laughs> wow. wow! Wow! How'd you get the Niro? Amazing! Thanks, oh, guys. Oh, look who it is! It's Jack Nicholson. Yeah. Here's cupcakes. Ah, oh. He's using one of his catchphrases. Oh my God! They got Christopher Walken. <laughs> Ow! You like a cake of cup? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's great. All right, we got a break. David Star Tell, studded. I'm sure, is here. We'll get sure. him on the show next. And then uh, Brandon Steiner, talking sports memorabilia, uh, will be here around 9 o'clock. So if you got some of that stuff laying around at home and you think it's worth something, oh. today is the day to find out how much. Nice. And uh, Jimmy's leaving soon to go to Tampa, right, Jimmy? Yeah. Any Tampa plugs officially? or You good? Well, I wouldn't say good. Uh, <laughs> to find good. Uh, that, that I'm doing uh, side splitters tomorrow and Saturday, nice. and then tonight I got the Cowhead Roast. The Stangle Brothers are going to be on. That's going to be a fun one. Actually, Florentine. Ooh. Yeah, Bob Kelly. And that's the end of the big names. <laughs> this Cowhead's got to be a big deal. He is a big deal. Got to get him on my radar. He should be on your radar by now. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, come on. No, why would we? <laughs> Here it comes. Oh, here yes. it comes. Yeah! yeah, yeah I no. <laughs> so, uh, yeah! 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 <laughs> you see uh, the naked Rihanna picture, Sam? Oh, my, my God. My God, I'm all in. Let really? me see. Is that really uh, I, I, And I already know Ant's reaction, but I'm sorry. No, you never this know. This is... She's doing a, a a photo shoot for a French magazine, I believe. Ooh, la, la. And, and she's, she's bottomless. <laughs> yeah. In the uh, doggy position with a top on, and there's yeah. something ridiculously hot about it. Yeah. And yes. the tan lines. Yeah. Where is she? Come on, She's Sam. not really showing anything. It's just that you know she's completely naked. Oh. Look at that shot. Oh, my oh. God. Yeah, she has a nice rump. I don't like her face in that picture, though. No. What the other one? She's getting a little Look at beaten in the face, to what? be honest uh, with you. What? That's her right there. With her oh. tan lines. She's there just walking around naked in between shots. I would have been the creepy guy standing right behind her, like, gazing into her asshole. I can't really see. Zoom in. Face down, ass up, bottomless. I mean, the crack, the crack is blurred. The crack is blurred? Why would they blur it? the crack? TMZ. What's wrong with an ass crack? Stinks. TMZ does stink, because they could get away with that. Blurring it's the It's a crack. crack. What goody tissues. Who was well, standing there with a camera, and why weren't they covering her up better? <laughs> That's hilarious. These shots are amazing. When she... When she goes into the doggy position. Yeah. Her vagina is just out in the open. Oh, I know. Stinking up the whole balcony. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <Yeah. laughs> Smelled like someone was eating a fucking filet sandwich. <laughs> Great. Nice. Cats were mewing. <laughs> is that her booby sticking out a little bit? Yeah, a little, little, little bit. Blur. What's going on there? Got a nip. Yeah, Where are these pictures? You know, she looks oh, like Oh, my God. I'll She's, say it. Look at that ass way up in the air. Yeah. 
We'll post a link to the TMZ gallery mm. at O and A show. Way on hotter Facebook than the and Twitter. The Elaine uh, nude photos. You don't like the Elaine no. photo from uh, No Rolling Stone? No, I don't. Look at that. Oh, she looks. Elaine looks pretty good, I think. It's uh, she's all photoshopped. Well. Look at Rih Rihanna. Do they have a video Rihanna. on TMZ for that? Rihanna. Rihanna's naked. <laughs> oh, fuck. What question is Harvey asking about the Rihanna photos? It's bottoms up for Rihanna. <laughs> oh, do I hate the TMZ video guy? You don't like it? Why? That fucking it's voice. It's cartoonish. It's fun. Oh, it's every time I nature. click on one, I remember it and I go, oh, God, this douche. Well, they don't do it every video, though. So. Yeah, there's enough of them. <laughs> Do it every video. Every video. Oh, yes. oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Ye oh, there's the Elaine picture where uh, her, her ass is kind of at the top of her ass. Her ass cracked. No one's skin is that smooth and perfect, so they photoshopped the hell out of it. Yeah. Where are all the moles? Oh, you didn't know moles? You think there should be some moles and, and there? And sunspots. <laughs> and age spots. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're trying to tell me that there's not one of those on her body? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Maybe one of those red freckles. <laughs> ah, oh, ah ha. Mm. Yeah, she's she picked the wrong day to have everyone check out her photo shoot. Why is that? Because Rihanna. Mm -hmm. yeah. Rihanna's blows it away. Oh, and so you're saying that um, she should have that uh, she should have waited. I don't know. I mean, what do you that? The Probably. top of her ass, you can tell it's a little wide. And, uh, That's fine. And there's some photoshopping going on. That's yeah, fine, right there. It almost looks like her her head is on someone else's body in that picture. Oh yeah. I don't know. I'd put my prick right in there. Would you? Oh my gosh, she your has nice prick. cheeks. Put your prick in there. I'd oil up between them and just rub my dick that way until I come. Yeah. I've done that, but that's been a long time. That's a good way to come. <laughs> just rubbing between two butt not, cheeks. Not for the woman, Ooh. though. What is what does she what does she get? <laughs> Probably money. She's at my house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. <laughs> what did what did Harvey say about Rihanna? I, we love when he asked the questions on his Twitter. Let's go to his Twitter. Even if we don't have a question about Rihanna, he'll have some fun questions for everybody to answer. Money. <laughs> oh, and Sal, get in here with the the text. I know Jimmy's going to be annoyed, but there's a whole Bobo thing happening that we have to talk about on the show. We have to. I wouldn't know because I block anybody who mentions it to me. Wait till you hear the latest on that, what he's uh, doing to try to get tickets for the Unmasked. Do you know uh, with the Julia Louis-Dreyfus, uh, do you know that whole thing about her net worth? Is that the truth? What? Her net worth is $3 billion. Why? $3 billion. Mine. Why? Because have you ever heard of the Dreyfus Fund, that mutual fund thing that for years and years and years it's yeah. the Dreyfus Fund? That's her family. Oh my God! So she has she like never had to work an inheritance. She never had to work of uh, billions of dollars. Ah, the rich get richer. Am I right or wrong? Ah, you're right there, regular Joe. Holla. Yeah, you know. Holla. Yeah, wow, that's crazy. I bet you it is true. I think Seinfeld is only worth uh, eight hundred million or something like that. He's got to be pushing. Oh, he is pushing a billion at eight hundred. Only Seinfeld's like eight hundred uh, million. This one says only. Here it is, she Rihanna. Beats everyone, Oprah. Rihanna, oh. face down, ass up, bottomless. Check out the pics and share your thoughts. Mm. That's Harvey. It's not a question, though. No. Kind of bummed that it wasn't a question. There are other questions. There yeah. are. <clears throat> I wish he would say, am I a douche? Answer yes or hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> she falls right between Spielberg and Oprah. Wow. That's a lot of fucking money. Wait, Oprah has more than $3 billion? Oprah's only got $2.9 billion. Just and, and Spielberg has $3.1 billion, so she's right in there. She squeezes right in between those two. Yeah. The hell yeah thing reminded me. Sirius XM just posted video of the Iron Sheik in here the other day. Mm -hmm. And it's so funny when he starts saying Hulk Hogan's a jabroni, and then he says, give me a hell yeah. But there's only four people in the room. It's not like he's in front of a big <laughs> crowd of people. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, what are some of the Harvey questions? Uh, Chris Brown. Model claims his company screwed her royally. Whose side are you on? Why? I'm on no one's side because oh, I don't know the side facts. Side are you on? <laughs> That's a popularity uh, contest, right? I have no side. facts on on the issue. 
Jenny Garth Photog, yeah. she played Do You Know Who I Am card. What do you believe happened? Mm-hmm. <laughs> How could you possibly know? His Twitter is <laughs> utterly worth it. It's so bad. <laughs> who cares? Yes. He wants people to discuss, obviously, but there's a better way to discuss. do that. People discuss. Larry King calls for a uh, woman in late night uh, while I, while eyeballing a hot chick. It's funny, he didn't say that when he was on fucking CNN. No. I, I didn't hear him calling for a chick in late night when right. he was doing yeah. it. Yeah. It's easy when you're retired and going to softball games at age 96. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Maher, don't cross the gay mafia or you'll get whacked. Do you believe there's a secret gay mafia? Yes. Well, what, what is in Harvey? Absolutely. Isn't Harvey, uh... Yeah, oh yeah, he's gay. So why doesn't he answer that I question? So, yeah. Chloe and yeah, French, strip club, house we could, hunting. We could hide the gun behind his prostate. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's up his ass. <laughs> could hide the fist behind it. Behind it. Hey, I want my brother coming out there with more than just three or four dicks in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> One more. Chloe and French. That was French. an Italian cock uh, here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an old Sicilian sorry, message. Sorry it means Luca Brasi hates the fishes. <laughs> 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 uh, I was just obsessing about Harvey, sorry. Harvey! Ah, Chloe and French, strip club, house hunting, are they banging? What do you think? Well, get right on that. Tell them what I think. You're right, this Twitter's horrendous. So Sal uh, brought to our attention that uh, Bobo texted him yesterday. <sighs> no, it was today. Today. Yeah, today. it was only... And uh, then this leads to what Sam has on Bobo, all God. revolving around trying to get into the unmass uh, a week from today. Uh, this is only 20 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Bobo texts me, he goes, Me and my mom are going to call into the show tomorrow if that's okay. Also, this is Bobo. She is out today, that's why the Bobo and his mom call in will be done tomorrow. What? Oh, good. Why? Why? Good for Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy's very happy with this news. <laughs> Jimmy will be in Tampa. <laughs> But why is he calling in with his mom? I, I have no idea. To have his mom plead? I guess. And he also referred to himself as the Bobo. The Bobo. Yeah. And he has called me. He texted me. He said, it's me, Bobo. Can I have tickets to own AMS, please, if you can? I said, I don't have tickets. I don't have control of the tickets. Uh -huh. We've heard the stories from Jimmy over the years. He can't be there. He's, he's a distraction. But what, what did you find out, Sam? I mean, I... I guess some of the listeners still have Bobo's cell phone number. Right. And he was in a text message with somebody, and I got a whole bunch of screen grabs from this conversation. Right. That it's really just, I mean, he is, I've never seen anybody so obsessed with anything as he is getting into this unmasked. Right. This guy started texting Bobo uh, and s pretended to be a woman. Of course. Boy, if that gag hasn't gotten him 80 times. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Asked if uh, Bobo wanted to go to Unmasked with quote unquote her and her husband because they had tickets. Even though we've said on the air, nobody has tickets yet. No, no one officially has tickets. So, of course, Bobo said yes. Right. And then this man pretending to be a woman said that Bobo, the only condition to the Unmasked tickets is that Bobo would have to go back to their hotel room and have sex with both of them. <laughs> He, and then it went he further. He didn't bite. On. He didn't bite. Please tell Come me on. for once he Come didn't on. bite. Well, you tell me, uh, based on this photo, let me find the photo that he sent. Okay. Do you think he bit, Jim? <laughs> oh, my God. He said, take pictures. He writes back. They said, I'd love to see it, and, of course, I'll wow you. All right. Uh, he sends back a picture. For some reason... There's a, uh, a small fire hydrant <laughs> in some weeds on a fleshy sidewalk. He writes, for you, Jen, did you see the photo now? Your turn to wow me. Right. And she writes, sweetie, I'm going to make you trim back that hair. Looks like a thick cock. Roll back up. Oh, that's the whole thing. No. Yeah, and there's, I mean, there's... Oh, there's a picture? Let me see the pic. Fuck, I want to talk to Jen. That is... So, Jen so flashed, bad. it looks like. The Jen and... Yeah, I mean, it's just fake right. photos. Sure. Right, right. It's Continue. awful. Uh, so, they keep going. Right. Wait, what What did that say? Anything? There was nothing... Really I mean, do you want to read the whole conversation? Shit. It's long. Yeah, yeah. I kind of do. Bobo, or parts of it. Bobo agreed... He said, yeah, I'll have sex with you and your husband. 
as long as I don't get fucked in the ass or have to blow anybody. And she, quote unquote, she said, well, yeah, you don't have to blow him, but he might want to blow you, to which Bobo agreed. Oh, <laughs> Bobo. Well, hold on. Sometimes you have to stick up to Bobo. These are hard to get tickets. <laughs> Jesus. She asked Christ. for more pictures. I oh, want. Okay, apparently, um, uh, she writes, I want to see in want, these. Is, I want means, to see you in these. Which is spelled panties. And right. it's a picture of panties. He writes, right. yes, I will. Oh. She writes, babe, that's hot. He says, yes, it is one more for you. And she writes back, do you have access to any panties now to slip on? Oh, no. And he sent a picture of what looks like a small tree that was cut down in a yard. Oh, God. Um, okay. I, well, what is that? It this looks like a, a is small a disaster. It's a, it's a wreck. It looks like a dog chewed it. It looks like a hairless gerbil. Like there's a hairless gerbil in his lap. <laughs> just born. Those just born gerbils. It looks like a just born gerbil that you pulled out of the mother's mouth because she was eating it. Yes, <laughs> yes, they do that sometimes. You know what that looks like? It looks like a Planned Parenthood ad, or no, a pro -cho a pro life ad where they show the f his dick looks like a fetus. Yes. I feel bad for him, It's actually. really bad. I feel bad for him. I don't. Oh. I used to feel bad for him, but now it's that, just enough wow. already. <laughs> at least he sent the handsome glamour oh, shot. Look at that. His selfie is bedroom cool. eyes. <laughs> he sent there the worst <laughs> selfie I've ever seen anyone oh, take. Right. I mean, his face is pushed back, so he's, his chins are piling up. He looks like... He's unshaven. He's unshaven. He just has this dead look in his eyes. He's not smiling. Why would he be? Why would he smile? For the and picture? then, of course, she responds to the picture with the word cutie. Right. Oh, boy. Oh, no, he... I don't. You're... Oh, sorry. He says yours will be my first. And what she does writes, that mean? That is a fat cock. Mom, sister, girlfriends, come on, babe. Go put panties on. I'll show you my pussy. He writes, yes, it is. More photos of you. I like them. So she's, quote, unquote, she is trying to get him to put panties on right. what is he doing well some of us have done that right so you know she's sending oh. just fake <coughs> pussy yeah. photos and stuff you missed one. and then well that's just him in his underwear oh, okay. i've read all <laughs> <laughs> god it's just <laughs> sticking straight out yeah he, po he sent her a photo wait of read all these they're I, I, okay they're... so uh he goes yes it is more photos of you i like them mm -hmm. i got something like it my mom is home and my sister's room is locked. <laughs> the sister oh. locks her room. Of course she does. You don't want your Bobo fucking going for your panties. <laughs> go ahead. And she said, go sneak a pair of hers. Right. And he said, here you go, and sent her a photo of him with his pants at his ankles wearing tidy whities and it having an erection. And you could see all the wow stickers in the uh, background. Big yeah, fan. He's a big um, fan. That's, by the way, the best advertising we've had in a long time. <laughs> right. But that is rants at erection. <laughs> and she writes, those are yours, silly, meaning the, you know, the underwear. I want to see you in panties. Yeah. Then he sends her another photo. Okay, let's see the photo. Oh, oh there it is. He's in. Oh, and she it looks writes, like Let's Go Mets panties. Yeah, they are. She Pink. writes... Uh, can I play with your ass with one of my toys while you wear my panties? Get it ready for my husband's cock. And he goes, I like this, Jen. He oh. sent a photo <laughs> of himself wearing Mets panties. Yeah. And then writes a photo, okay, whatever. If you like it, that's okay, as long as I can fuck you in your pussy ass. <laughs> and you suck, and you suck it. He, as long as I can do everything is pretty much it. He wants to fuck her pussy ass and then get his rotten, dirty dick sucked <laughs> yes. with his he awful gut. Ass oh. to mouth. There's a lot of hair coming out of those panties. Oh, it's horrendous. Man. Is that That's it, hopefully. Um, Looks like Dan Haggerty wearing a chin strap. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> mm. Anything else? Uh, and he writes, next time it will be yours. I have on. I like it. Mm. Quote, unquote, she writes, I'll suck your cock while he fucks your ass. Uh-oh. <laughs> what does he say for that? All at once, while you wear my panties. Right. He writes, I want to fuck the shit out of you. And then he writes, that's fine. That's fine? As long as I get to fuck you alone, too. <laughs> oh, see, he's going to, he, he says, it's okay if he fucks, the husband or boyfriend fucks him in the ass. That's okay, but he wants to fuck her alone. So, in, all right, look, he's not payment. a good negotiator. <laughs> <laughs> Who is he, Bob Eatman? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the guys will all, will take less money, but you also have to not advertise them. <laughs> right. And all this sexy talk yeah. was going on at 9.25 a.m. A.m. In the A. 
Uh, right. Let's see. Uh, hi, who's this? Yeah, this is Bobo. <laughs> it's not something I was texting a friend of mine. What? Huh? She's a friend of mine, and I was texting her, and... Bobo, she, she, she Your phone she, sucks. Where are you? I'm, I'm outside. You're outside where? <laughs> I was just on my way back from, 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 the, from the post office. Oh, yeah. This is actually better than most of us calls. You can't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Bubba, that's not your friend you were talking Bubba, to. Bubba, that's not a friend. They sent all the pictures and texts and everything. Yeah, you're going to let a guy pop you in the ass just to go to the unmasked? Well, that's, it's kind of, kind of sick to roll that time, but yeah, yeah it was a sick to roll. But that whole, but I was shocked she was being sick to roll and it was public. Oh, God, listen to this disaster. No one can hear call. this. No one can. This calls the audio version of your dick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Sit audible. Holy fuck. Oh, Yes? They sent us a picture of you wearing panties. Bobo, you're wearing pink Let's Go Mets panties. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't sound too so, happy about so that. So explain yourself. Yeah, I wasn't too chill about that. I only did that for her, but I trusted her. She wasn't going to make these pictures public. Bobo, well, well, it's not no. a her. It's a guy. Right. This Don't is a guy. And stop trusting these people. Stop fucking around on the internet. How many times are you going to get tricked? <laughs> I'm not going to get tricked again. I don't... We won't get fooled again. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, you won't get fooled again. What if you <laughs> fool him several dozen times? Right. Yeah, well, I won't get fooled again. He doesn't even care. <laughs> no. All right, obviously you don't want to go to Unmasked, so we got to move on. Thank you. I do want to go on, go to Unmasked. I do want to go. I do want to go, guys. And oh, you, we're losing here. We can't hear you, Bobo. Yeah, well, I do, I do want to go, man. We can't hear you. Hello? I guess he doesn't want to go. If he wanted to go, we'd hear him. Yeah, we felt bad about the panties, and we were just going to give him tickets. But if we can't hear the guy, what are we going to do? Obviously, if, if he wanted to go, he would have stayed on the phone. He hung up on us. Bobo! Bobo! He hung up. We have, hung up. we have one extra ticket, but we also have a pair of O&A panties. Well, yeah. Should I just send the panties to I really feel, yeah. I feel bad that he had to wear the panties, so I was going to turn around and just give him the tickets. I'd be done with this, but he's not he, even on the phone. Why would he hang up? I'm on the phone. Right before we give him tickets, he hangs up like that? That's fucked up. I'm on the phone, guys. Very funny. You guys are going to mess with me, buddy. All right, I just... <laughs> you're going to mess with me, right? <laughs> Very funny. You guys are going to mess with me, right? <laughs> uh, Lindsay, what's up? Hi, guys. Hi. I want to talk to Bobo hey. for a second. Oh, young Dan. Up. Oh. What? I'm watching her. Yeah, he hung up. I'm watching wow, you. Wow, pretty girl. What, what are, are you doing? watching me, Ann? Oh, yes. See what she looks like. Go ahead. Let's see. Uh, let's see this there bitch. she is. Ooh. Hi, guys. Yeah. Oh, we know you. Yeah, yeah we know. Yeah. We know Very you. nice. Yeah. You're a woman of low stock. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, Edgar, that's correct, I am. Ooh. What's going on? I wanted to yell at Dan for being a fucking retard. I can't stand <laughs> well, his shit. I, I get pissed off that he just, you know, is so trusting all the time. All the time he fucking tries to, to he thinks these guys are girls, and he gives them phone numbers and, and pictures. There's a picture of him wearing Let's Go Mets panties. Oh, and he, my God, no. And he, and he was going to, and he was actually going to uh, uh, take it in the ass from a guy so he can fuck the girl and get tickets. Right. It's crazy. I'm I'm so disappointed. I mean, it's bad enough that I have to monitor his Twitter DMs. It's fucking ridiculous. You're way too uh, overdressed, uh, Lindsay. Me? Yeah. Right now? Yeah, you're way too overdressed. Uh, yeah. Where are, you, <laughs> why, where are you going? I take something off, but I have to go to a doctor's appointment. Oh, Ooh, that's fucking hot. Are you going to take off your clothes and have him check you for cancer? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, my Cuda. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Oh, Hold on. Shit. We got him. We got him back. Oh, here's Bubs. Bubba, we had a pair yeah, of tickets. Yeah. We had a pair of tickets for you because I felt bad about the panties thing, but we had to move on and give them to someone else. Well, well, I'll, I'll have the tickets. 
You, you hung up. Too, it's too late. Yeah, we, we, what we, the fuck are you doing? I did not. I did not hang up. I Dan, it's Lindsay. What the fuck are you doing? I know I got fooled by that person. Give me that. What have I told you a million fucking times, Daniel? Probably no. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, no. Don't trust them. Don't trust Seriously, them. Dan. Yeah, uh, don't trust them. And what the fuck are you doing? I know. I was uh, I was a little bit of in a bad mood that time yesterday. You were in a bad mood. Man, when I'm in a bad mood, I don't put panties bed? on. Exactly. Well, we differ. <laughs> I need I know, you, Dan. Right? Seriously. Seriously. You know what? I'm I'm all done. I'm all fucking done, Dan. If you do that to me again, you do that shit again, me and you are not friends, because I'm not going to keep defending your ass if you're going to act like an asshole. All right, I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> he said I that promise, so many I times. I got, I got the word on that. I swear to everybody. But you can't oh swear God. on something that you're incapable of doing. Right. Because you've, yeah, you've done this. Bobo, you've gotten tricked so many times over the years. Yeah, I know. I swear, it's really yeah, getting yeah, annoying. Yeah, yeah, no. I swear on the life of all my friends and family. Oh, great. Oh, wow. You oh, condemn wow. them. The you're hell? condemning them to death because you're incapable. No, I really am going to not do anything like that. I'm not going to fall for it again. But you said this last time. Yeah, you're a liar. Yeah, well, this time I actually said this, that I swear on my, the life of all my friends and family. <laughs> Sorry, so two people. A lot of friends. A lot more friends than people think. All right, well, oh, all right, we wow. think zero, so <laughs> one is a lot more than we think. <laughs> How's the Jim Norton uh, boycott going, by the way? Yeah, yeah, you're boycotting Jim. How's the Jim Norton boycott? I closed it off. Yeah. I closed it off. Bubba, where'd you get Mets panties? Where'd you get the panties? Whose panties are those, Bobo? I can't say because I don't. Because I don't. I can't say who. Bobo, you have to say. You have to yeah. say. Yeah. I, I guess you don't want those tickets. I guess not. Oh, no, I do, I do want the tickets. All right. Well, I want to thank Lindsay from Massachusetts for calling. My sister. Oh, I, thank you, Lindsay God. from Massachusetts. Your sisters, panties. <laughs> panties. Oh. <laughs> No. Why are you wearing your sister's panties? And she probably wore them first. He probably took them out of the laundry. Exactly. Oh. Normally he wears them as a visor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bobo. Oh, Bobo. Uh, right. We really need people that want to go to this thing because we don't have a lot of seats. I really, so. I really, I really want to go to this. I really it, was want good, to go to this. it was good talking to you. And uh, yes, please don't be fooled anymore by these, these fake women, all right? Yeah, don't get fooled <laughs> again. Are you talking to me? I really want to go to this that. I really want to go to the on map. Uh, he hung up again? He hung up. Bobo. Yeah, that's rude. Bobo. Why can't... I'm really here. I'm really here, guys. I really Bobo. want to go to the on map. Yes. Yeah, he hung up. He Fucking hung up. guy. All right. I'm really here. All right, we got I'm David really Tell in studio. Really it's too bad he hung up. I, hey, guys. Can I just say one thing? <laughs> yes. 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 Where was he calling from? A World War II battlefield? <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like he was under fire. <laughs> it really sounded like, just drop it on my position! <laughs> he, he, is, he is under fire, that's for sure. Oh, shit. By the way, I didn't like Lynn's calling him Dan. Like, yeah. she's the one who will talk to him and get through. <laughs> I'll break through. She's gonna no, be... you won't. His name is fucking Bobo. <laughs> I'll break through. Yeah, she's, gonna be the, she's gonna be the one that saves him. Exactly. Yeah. You're not the Dennis Quaid with this bill. <laughs> Dan, what did I tell you, Dan? Yeah, you don't know because I was listening to a lamp. All <laughs> 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 uh, right, uh, oh, that's fucking What's funny. up, David Tell? How's it going, guys? Dave. Oh, we're just you know doing our thing. Yeah, thanks for having me in. You're Hanging doing out. your thing. You got yeah. another, you got a new show, right? Uh, two big uh, two big projects in the works. Uh, that's uh, awesome. This Saturday, I believe, April twelfth, midnight. The Roadwork special is uh, is coming out on Comedy Central, and that's uh, the special that I shot in five different clubs. Wow. And uh, it's not a big theater show. I know Jim right. is a theater act. He's class all the way. This is Down and Dirty. It's a handheld camera. It's, uh, you know, it's pretty much what I do all the time, and uh, I really put a lot of cash, put a lot of time into it, and I'm excited. I think uh, the people are going to like it. And after that, right after that special, 
There's more good. Uh, the Comedy Underground show, which Jim was on. Yep. It's a. Uh, it's in the vein of the uh, Rodney Dangerfield kind of specials back in the day, uncensored, unfiltered. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Comedy yes. Underground. It's called. Comedy Underground. This is not a political rant, uh, spoken no. word thing. It's just <laughs> in a basement underground, and that's where the comedy. Yeah, it was, was. shot in the village. That's yeah, the cool. village uh, underground. Oh, the yeah. village underground. Yeah, yeah. Club. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a nice place, man. And uh, you know, it was really cool because we had like you know. Uh, people like Jim and Amy Schumer, Artie Lang. Uh, people like them? Who are they? No, actually them. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, okay. And yeah, I Jim, thought, none of them some of the best it. impersonators <laughs> in the business. Come yes. by. Yes. And uh, Jeff Ross. Dressed and they, up a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, heard that. Yeah, Sorry. I was just trying Sorry. to have some fun on the radio and be wounded. <laughs> And then we have some of the new kids, you know, the yeah. young faces. They come out. Who are the young faces? Um, well, you saw that movie Punchline. Yeah. Oh yes. yeah. Like a, come a on. Kid who wanted to be a doctor, right. but then he didn't want to. Be. No, yeah. Uh, Sa <laughs> Sally Field, Barry Sobel. Did you guys hate Punchline as a movie? Sobel. No, it's very believable. The lockers and everything. <laughs> <laughs> lockers. The only thing believable about that is that the mics were plugged in. <laughs> the big. That's got to be insulting to you guys. That's the one movie that it's, people have seen about uh, stand up. It's just silly. What about uh, Lenny? I think that's a better movie, actually. Yes, yeah. and more true. uplifting. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. I love that movie. That movie is great. That's Lenny? always on, like, right at, the, at that point. Like, either you're hungover or you're brutally sober. <laughs> you just watch it. It's great. I haven't yeah. seen that movie in 10 years. That's a great one, too, with, uh, uh, like, The Champ. Or some other like really sad, yeah. You know, make you question yourself. That's great. That's oh. how we feel after most shows. You want to know what it's like to be a comedian? Look at fucking Ricky Schroeder and Jack Warden. That's what it's like. <laughs> You're trying to get your money. Boo. Uh, you know who did it? Uh, Jay Okerson, uh, Kurt Metzger, Mike Vecchi on those guys. Nice. Oh, it's Kurt on it too. All right. Yeah, really, really, really good stuff. It was a lot of material, and uh, you know, it's it's dirty, which is now like an endangered species. Yes, oh, boy. Yes, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Boy, is it. There's only a few places where you can actually cut loose now. America's Funniest Home Videos. Yes. Uh, of course. <laughs> Parks and Rec. Yeah, Parks and Rec. I uh, hope there's not a lot of salty language in this. There's, there's some raunchiness, you know, as, oh. as the olders say. There's some raunchiness. Yeah, you were very like funny, that. too. Work, Dave went up and was really just fucking improv and working in the crowd. It was very funny. Yeah. Uh, very impressive to be able to do that on television. It was really good. Yeah, there's some of that in there because I had no jokes because I just did the hour. So I figured I'll, you know. Mm go to plan B and just work the crowd. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then after that, I, I guess it would have been some magic. <laughs> and, you know, Juggling is good. You've never really seen an uncensored magic show. That's one thing. Like They seem to really not no. care about that. Look, it's a rabbit, you cunt. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of ta-da, they drop an N-bomb. <laughs> And, nice. uh, you know, the cool thing about it is, like, you know, because I was broke doing that porn show. So I made some money, and I took some of the money, and I uh, I donated it to this uh, charity called um, Military Assistance for the, uh, sorry, National Military uh, Family Assistance. It's uh, for, like, the veterans and their families. And uh, they got this cool program called Operation Purple where, um, you know, they send the, the, the veterans' kids to camp. And uh, they have these special programs for them. So there's some good in the dirty. Ooh, That's yeah. all I'm saying, guys. That's all I'm saying. Some good in the dirty. Is there a yeah. website for that? Uh, yeah. I Let's can, make more money for the that. The end justifies idea. the means, I say, right? There you go. There right. it is. Let's find the website. So why are you, why are you funding trying to close these camps down? <laughs> <laughs> fighting these camps. <laughs> he's, he's, he's fighting these money for the court case. <laughs> You're right. Imagine how brutal that would be. Yeah. No, the, uh, some negative stands. publicity. Right. No, because I did the charity over the weekend, and there was like a very low turnout. And I was like, what's going on? Is there a bigger charity in town? It really bothered me. So then I figured I'm just going to step up and drop my charity? own out on the island. Okay. Yeah, and I was like, this really bothered me. Because usually, you know, you do like a nice charity. There's always, uh, you know, like the group of people that come down for it, you know, mm -hmm. like buy a raffle ticket. Were you just doing stand up there? Yeah. Okay. Well, what, what what should I have done at the charity? <laughs> well, no, 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 I mean, was there, other, was, there, was there other stuff or was it just a show? I didn't know if it was like a whole... Yeah, no, it was uh, C.J. Ramon was there. He played and like, uh, yeah, no, they had like a big deal there. And oh, okay. They put a lot of work into it, so I was, I was, uh, I was into it. That sucks. There mm. you go. But yeah, the underground show is going to be fun. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah. You know, I, I realize that I've hit that point now where it's like, you know, I'm so old now. Like, I, I watch the younger comics and their, um, their talk, their, uh, their rants and all that stuff. What bothers them? Like something like an email will bother them, you know, and, and like I find that like really uh, hilarious, you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. 
For me, it's like a smell I can't I can't describe. You know, something like that. Like, what is that? Is that like peanut butter, or um, <laughs> <laughs> or or is that like the first stage of diabetes? What is that? <laughs> My urine shouldn't smell like that. <laughs> so you know, <laughs> it's funny how they uh, you know they teched it up these kids, and they all have their uh, you know whatever their podcasts and whatnot. So. Oh yeah. So we're hoping to get the word out that way too. Very cool. What, all right. So this is the website, I think, right? Mm. What is it? Uh, yeah, militaryfamily.org. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a good program. It's a great pro. They have all these great programs. Thanks for putting it up. They have Absolutely. Great donate and, uh, if you can. Dave is always nice I'm to gonna soldiers. Donate. I'm going to donate. That's the whole thing. It's wow. like, yeah, you guys, once this comes out on download, all these different things, just don't pirate it or misuse it. Let yeah, me take some of that cash, and, I'll, and I'll, I'll throw it that way. I'll throw it that way. So. Exactly. But, yeah, if they want to donate or, you know, do all that stuff, too. You're right. Where can you okay. see this? When is it on? It's on this this weekend, dude. Okay, April twelfth. You're nice. on. Um, you're on like one of the few episodes back. Like okay. the first one is Jeff Ross, uh, Jermaine Fowler, Jay Okerson, and uh, Joe DeRosa. Old Joe. Oh, good Joe. old Joe. We remember him. He remember flew him. in for the show. He's now working for oh, Pete Holmes. Oh, did he? Left Coast Joe. Yeah. yeah. Left Coast Joe. Yeah. We haven't seen him since he left for the Pete Holmes show. Yeah, he had yes. to zip across the country to shoot something, and he zipped <laughs> on back. Yes, 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 yes. Sure I, I don't do stand-up in it, but I'm, uh, I have an interaction, which was kind of cool. Oh, cool. Yeah, yes. uh, we put Jim in the crowd, and uh, he's there with Farrah <laughs> Abraham, the teen mom. It was a great... There's some chemistry there, oh, I believe. Oh, nice. Yes. Feel like I him? wanted to fuck her, and she wanted to be dead. <laughs> 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 yeah, she did uh, kind of eye roll you out of the room she was, oh yeah. wow she's crazy man but yeah. she was no she That's was cool crazy she was very cool she, she did it all right I'm so glad she did the fair show. enough fair enough I, I should shut my mouth i'm gonna hit the old uh, <laughs> yes, can of rooney <laughs> yeah i think, think a shit yeah i might <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna think on the way there if I need a piss. Well, we gotta take a break. Anyway. I, I hope you don't it. make it. Wait, oh, Jim, that'd be great. <laughs> Jim, didn't Dribble. you do a show like this at some point uh, for HBO, right? Um, Down and Dirty with Jim Norton. Oh, yes. so I assume that was even more uncensored. Yeah, we let the hex and dams fly. Oh, I don't like, like a few that. Darns, darns. That yeah. was great. It was pretty it doesn't dirty. give a good message to the children. <laughs> I love the HBO show. Jim Norton did, did well too. They, they never have. give. They like, should have done more. Yeah. They never give like good names to like the really censored shows. Like you know, you kind of are always like pulled in, but then it's always like super censored. Yeah. yeah. Like they should call like like you know Golly G, and uh, <laughs> Golly G, <laughs> Golly G, <laughs> Skip the Malou, <laughs> yeah. Easy, Skip the Malou and Golly G. And then it's filthy. Right. Yeah, that is it's filthy. We gotta take a break. Yes, David Tell is here, and uh, we got Brandon Steiner here as well. Nice. And uh, Jimmy's leaving us soon to go to Tampa. Oh, yes. Jimmy. I leave in uh, 17 minutes. Are we going to road it up at all this year or what? Yeah, do we're doing some gigs. You want to? Right? I would do, yeah. You sure? Absolutely. All right. Yeah. Absolutely. Me and Dave. Mm. It's hard to lock uh, Jim into a gig. <laughs> it's really all good. <laughs> ONA will be right back on Sirius XM. Nice David Talon Studio promoting oh, Road Work Comedy Central this Saturday night at uh, looks like midnight. Cool. Midnight. Oh, cool. And then you got at 1 a.m. Comedy Underground. Very cool series premiere on Comedy Ooh. Central. It's it's the David Tell weekend on Comedy Central. Yes. Well, I would like to say it's about Mad Men, but uh, yeah. This is kind of a, <laughs> oh, know. all that stuff's on Comedy Central. It's great, <laughs> no, you're you're uh, both your things. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's phenomenal. Dave is such a great comic. I can't watch comedians, and we do gigs together on the road, mm -hmm. and it's it's like you come back sometimes, and I'll watch like the last five minutes because I have to go out at the end. We go out, yeah. And it's just depressing. It's so <laughs> good. It's like oh. Fuck. Yeah, but Jim, your your turnaround now is like incredible. I mean, you did uh, how many specials have you done in the last three years? I'm just done, I've done. Two. two in the last two years, yeah. That's pretty amazing. One. I want to do one this yeah, year. Jimmy can write some shit. Yeah, to exactly. Do one you year, said right? that right. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably only problem now is thinking of more hilarious, ironic names for your specials. Yeah, no. <laughs> you probably have a team of uh, in Korea or something. Special yeah, names. Is tough. <laughs> this next one, I'm just calling back again, folks. And the coach is, is me with my arms up in the air, like, what the for hell? real. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of comics, 22 <laughs> years ago today, we lost Sam Kinison. Oh. Uh, Wow. Wow. What? With that car crash. This guy, man. And, and, I, you know what? I always loved him, but I never really knew how much I loved him until I really had been doing comedy about 10, 15 years. Really? Then I was like, he is the... Sh I don't know if you like to curse here or not. Oh, no, yeah, no, 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 no. He was the, he was the best. <laughs> you know, like when you watch him, just like the way, the way he... 
the way he just like filled the place up, mm -hmm. the stuff he had to say. This was before like, you know, all the media, the social media, right, kind of right. Stuff. Like I remember hearing lines from him, like just from like everybody, like everybody, everybody was on his stuff. It was so good. You know? yeah, yeah, back before uh, you could just tweet something out there, people actually had to see it. Yeah, and <laughs> want to talk about it and butcher it in public. And butcher it, right? Yeah. Butcher it, right? And then you he couldn't... goes, "Yeah, there's fucking sand." What? And he goes, "Move, move by the the uh, the water." The you know, what was it? The what was it? Uh, Wait, you uh, like no, it was funny. Like it was funny. So Something I'm making like fun that. of people relaying jokes. Oh, I oh. loved Kenneth. Oh no, funny. his material is unbelievable. He was a great, great comedian. I loved the, uh, the like the dynamic he had because everybody knows the screamy. Yes. Thing, yes. But that dynamic yes. when he would just be like. Yeah, so you know, you're just sitting around, and, uh, <laughs> like that whole very soft spoken, you know, it's like a cameraman could give him a sandwich. You know, yeah. something like yeah, that. Yeah, the sandwich. It, was, the it wasn't low always, it. Right. you know, it wasn't always screaming. He's, Fucking great! Man. I never got to see him at the comedy store before he hit big because uh, Marin. I was talking to Mark Marin, mm -hmm. and like he would see him all the time there. And I was like, I wish I could have seen that. That must have been great when he was right? working all that stuff out. Yeah, you know, he was just working it out. But he he was like, you know, at the comedy cell, like if you're the last act, like you go long and you, you like just like roll out. And uh, he must have been doing that there, like just like because that's the latest club in L.A. So he must have been doing it like, to, you know, the strippers and the drug people, and right, the cool right. people, <laughs> just like rolling for like uh, L.A. Late, you know, twelve thirty, one o'clock. Uh, yeah, right. LA late, <laughs> LA late <10 30>. yeah. <laughs> But yeah, now he, I would love to have seen him like getting all that together. That must have mm -hmm. been really cool. What didn't make yeah, it? Yeah, what the, right. yeah, what? Yeah, what fucking? Yeah, guess I won't use that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta go, guys. I'll no, see you later. Oh shit! Jim, have a great weekend. Jim Thanks. Norton. Fun filled. It's gonna be. Uh, What's uh, that flight gonna be like with uh, Kenny? I wouldn't fun? know. I'm not in the same part of the oh. plane. <laughs> Florentine's exactly. on my flight, too. He is. Yeah, why? Why are we <laughs> yeah. flying? What's together? fun about it? <laughs> Just Jim fucking logical Arty fingers. Rule. Why? I got some really bad gases. Yeah, <laughs> I was dropping gassers. That's fun. Did you smell that one? His logic is so perfect, it makes me ill. <laughs> He's going to ask you about if you, if you smelled one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. do you get that? No, he always goes, get get we, we watched Sabbath together in the fucking sound booth, <laughs> and I would just smell like rancid potato chips, and I would look <laughs> over and see that asshole smiling. I'm like, really? While they're, while they're playing Age of Reason? Really? <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys. Uh, Have a good right. week. Right. See you, good, Jim. Good luck. Watch Dave's stuff. It's fucking. I, yes. I saw a lot of that material on the road with you. It was, it was really good. Oh, thanks, buddy. Comedy Central, David Tell this weekend, and Jim Norton in Tampa. Oh, good news. Oh, wow. No, no, good news. You're staying. Uh, After the, this weekend, I am back for well over a month. Oh boy! Wow. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> oh, really got a little oh, fruity boy. towards the end of that. It kind of did, didn't it, Dave? Where? What does he mean? Well, back over a month. Oh, he's not on the road. No, no, oh, Jim. Yeah, you know, he, he he does a lot of Fridays off to. Uh, you, know, you know, it's weird when you see show him the world is comedy. Is he guy? Yeah, when you see him and Kenny. Um, you know, go out. On the road, you see them, you know, Kenny with the bags and everything. Yeah. Jim wearing his uh, goggle glasses. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if they're preparing for uh, a flight or a stunt, <laughs> you know, it's going to set up a ramp. <laughs> I love Kenny's uh, comfy clothes. Yeah. When he comes in, it's just, you know. I told him today I'm buying him new jeans. Yeah. Those He's, are just... he, he has one pair of jeans that he wears when him and Jimmy hit the road. So you get to see it on Friday. So I haven't been to the big and tall place <laughs> right. to buy new ones. Some old tough skins or a, dun yeah, yeah. a dungaree. Dungarees. <laughs> he's a 38-34. He's a wow. Is 38 he? waist, 34 length, which wow, is a little strange. Wow, that's weird. Because I think... I was wearing like 32s, and he, he's much taller than me. Two inches. Well, I don't he, understand he's got those, it. those kind of... Well, the pants are a little high on him, they right? They are, right? He's yeah, a torso a man. High. He's a torso guy. So I need to be able to access my ankle. <laughs> <laughs> he does have a swimmer's build, like Kenny. Oh, you know, yeah. when you think about it. Yeah, yeah it's Moby Dick. <laughs> but he's one of those guys, when, big. <laughs> when he packs, he can only pack a few items because he has just giant clothes. Yes. Patrice was like that. I saw Patrice's suitcase once. He had one pair of pants and, like, just I don't know, a hoodie. And, and it filled up his whole fucking suitcase. Tops off, topped off with glass dildos. <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 oh, the day you brought in those glass dildos. Yeah. Yeah, actually brought him in, huh? We had a heart yeah. to heart with him. He was all excited to show us all his glass dildos, and we, me and Ant, just looked at him and went, well, what, are you, "What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what is this?"
So where are they and now? They are they like in a museum room. or like? Wh- wh- yeah, where? right. What do you do with those? Yeah, what, afterwards? that's a weird. It's a good question. You just fucking make wind chimes out of them and. Kick. That's a weird thing in a will. <laughs> yeah. And the glass right. dildos will go. I bequeath <laughs> my glass dildos <laughs> under the <laughs> right. under the prerequisite that they be only utilized in Brazilian hooker asses. <laughs> <laughs> if they are not, right. I First bequeath day. them to a school for children to be sold it's, off. It's Hold up the biggest one to the North Star. <laughs> You'll find with the treasure. Right. The keyhole to the treasure. Yeah. It's like the Bill Hicks bit, where yeah, the parents yeah. have to go through his place after he dies and uh, find all the weird great. shit. Wow, yeah. yeah, yeah. So one of his family members ha- w- had to do the old, uh, w- and what's in that this box? That hilarious. It's like, he was such a good, good boy. boy. Right. Oh, what's in here? Right. <laughs> and it's That's just like, porno. What was it again in the Bill porn. Hicks bit? I'm trying to remember. I, know I think it was, it was like. What kind of porn, though? He wouldn't just say porn. Yeah, it was like. G- g- just uh, Gay, uh, fucking yeah, animal forgot. porn, Shit. whatever the fuck. That would know. be the new business. Like, you know, we get rid of your porn after yeah, you yeah, go. Yeah. You know. After you go, they come in and clean it like yeah. the wolf in Replace it. Replace it with just, uh, you know, uh, Ted Danson movies. <laughs> other yeah, yeah, yeah. Family-friendly fair. <laughs> <laughs> Loved Bill Hicks. Uh, Man. Loved him. But uh, Sam passed away before Bill, or was it vice versa? Before. I think before. it was before. Sure. Yeah. Because yeah. I remember I was at SNL when Bill Hicks... Um, when Bill Hicks passed away, huh. and that really like, I was so bummed out. I was like, yeah, I was yeah, really like wow, I, I couldn't believe. It. And I was asking people, I was like, did you? Know, I don't think any of them really knew him. Yeah, he like, was. He never just, was that he was kind of guy. Oh, not at all. He was. A, he was a comic, you know. Yeah, yeah, he was definitely not, not right in there with as as a known. Yeah, comic when he when Which he is went crazy because he was brilliant. Yeah, he was brilliant. I saw him with Adam at Governor's one night, and I was able I'm jealous to of that. go in there and actually. How was that show? And, oh boy, look <laughs> out! I never saw him. It was very cool though to hang out and actually talk to him for a little while. That's awesome. Just you know, small talk, but uh, it's definitely fucking cool. Did yeah. he uh, did he mix it up good with the Long Island crowd? Because that's oh, a tough yeah. crowd sometimes at Governor's. Yeah, yeah, which is weird. I, Long Islanders they seem like goofy people that want to mm. laugh. I don't know. Got to earn it. Yeah, Gotta yeah, that's what it. it is. Long Islanders, they, they're not just going to fucking laugh at you for coming out on stage. Because that room, like, when when Bill told me that, like, you know, when you see him, like, I guess you can still see it on YouTube, like, all these crazy southern gigs, yeah. you know? So he was, he was like, everybody says he's the father of, like, modern-day all-comedy. It's like, he played these rooms that even, like, regular, straight-up, you know, puppet acts, <laughs> you know, be like, oh, I'm not going, they're not going to get me. <laughs> Am I right, Mr. Tickles? <laughs> they're not going to get us. <laughs> he's playing a hardcore road. He was on the road. Yeah, know? yeah. I always admired that about him, you know? <laughs> Scream. Came in at the guys in the audience, and Mr. I love that. Tickles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. He yeah, I, I remember that when Sam mm-hmm. when Sam died. I was. Uh, it is weird because it's so hacky to just say like, hey, I remember where I was. Right. But you do. I was in those situations. I was in my parents' driveway. I know yes, exactly same. where. It was one of those things. Mm-hmm. I was really bummed by his passing. I was doing a gig at Westbury Music Fair, but it was an air conditioning and heating gig. I was actually installing. <laughs> That's a gig. <laughs> a gig's a gig, though. <laughs> it's installing. You hear air the electric wrench? And- <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what did I just hear on the radio? Dang, what? Say, so turn off that sawzall. I gotta <laughs> hear this. <laughs> and now recently, uh, Panette, who yeah, yeah. is another like road legend, uh, John Panette, sad passing there. He was only yeah. fifty years old. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I've been doing comedy twenty five years. That means he's been doing it almost pretty much from when I was a tweener. Because he has to be doing it ten years more than me. Longer than you, yeah, right? Easily. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he he was like a legend on the road when I started. What kind of guy was he? I, I you know what I I have to tell you this. Every club in America. When you go to the club and John Panette was just there, they always are like still smiling. They love mm. him. He was such a great wow. guy. He was like like the crowds, you know, like like my crowds drink, his crowds ate. Like they would be like, <laughs> yeah. We're out of chicken fingers. <laughs> and that was just here. He was a great guy. He really yeah. was. And uh, uh you know, it, it's it's sad passing for him. I mean, really, it's just sad. Yeah. Because I know he tried to you know, he went to rehab. He tried to figure his uh-huh. shit, shit out. We uh we never had him on the show, I don't think. No. Which is, why not? Which, I don't know. That's surprising. I don't know. I don't know. That surprised me we never had, had him. He was on uh, or anything. He was on uh, you know, the last episode of Seinfeld. Seinfeld, yeah. Right. So now it's it was him, and then the recently also the the guy that was the, the prosecutor in the Seinfeld case episode. No he way. He just recently died too. So I'm thinking cursed uh, episode. It cursed is a cursed show. episode. Yeah, cursed right. episode. Uh, Morty is dead. Uh, his mother, right? Wow. Dead. Yeah. Uh, what about George's mom? 
Well, that's sad. No, she's still alive. Oh, sorry. Sorry, George's yeah. mom. Oh, the <laughs> He's curse. He's all the lo- lovable characters. That <laughs> right. Oh, that's Crazy. Sad. Yeah. But yeah, John was a he was a good de- he was a he was a good dude and he also uh you know, for a road guy, he really did like sell it out. You know, you're always like, Oh, Panette would sell this out easy. <clears throat> and uh, you know, he played the city and everything too, so he would go to Caroline's and all that kind of right. stuff. Who died who died uh at some point that uh, people were like Wow, that guy was a real scumbag. <laughs> like, I, um, I know Hitler. This, yeah, this Saddam Hussein. <laughs> Saddam, uh, Uday, and Hussein. How are you going to put uh, Bin Laden on that list? Bin Laden, but uh, right. I mean, as far as entertainers go, it's very hard for people to be like, that guy was a fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah. Well, Mickey Rooney, I think, is, is a great guy because when you look at his story, eight marriages, yeah. broke. He was broke when he was 40, so what year was that, like 1898? <laughs> I mean, yes. he was broke. Yes! <laughs> I think he's the coolest guy. He was in World War II, do you know this? Like yeah, he was yeah, a yeah. sniper in World War II. Really? He didn't have to do that. He didn't have to do that. that. He could have sold war bonds with of course. Judy Garland's and whatnot of the day, the Danny Kays. With the uniform on, dancing across the stage. All the USA! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, fucking thousands of miles away from any bullet. He would tap up <laughs> to yeah. the enemy. <laughs> when he was a sniper, did he, yeah, walk around like a bush or something? <laughs> yeah, it's just a little fucking <laughs> rock. I love, I love that about him. I can't believe, did you read how much he was worth at the time of his passing? 18 grand. 18, 18 large, thousand. motherfucker. Wow. 18 uh, stacks. It's a high society. This, a Hollywood legend. You would think some of those assholes out there in Hollywood would notice that Mickey Rooney's broke by just looking at probably what he was wearing and maybe uh, slip him an envelope every once in a while. Mickey. Take care that of is, the legends. That is sad, isn't it, huh? You would think one of those guys that has more money than they'll ever spend would have, like, you know, maybe sent him something. He had to keep working. Like, the guy was... Yeah. He constantly fucking had to keep working. He was 93, so that's a lot of money for a 93-year-old, though. Yeah, you know. What, I mean... <laughs> what, what are you going to do with it? <laughs> but he has those eight wives, so, like... I'm sure they were always oh. calling them all the time. Like, I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> I've got all the time. And I don't remember marrying you. <laughs> but he was talking about uh, the times, uh, all the movies he made early in life that he just got nothing for. Oh, yeah. They paid you like <laughs> With shit. A handshake. And that was it. <laughs> ah, you're going to be huge here at Metro. Right. <laughs> just fucking, Metro. You just get shit that's on right. and they wow. fire you and, and that's it. Our relationship's ending here, but it's amicable. That's what the <laughs> news will say. God, your jokes are uh, accurate. Metro. <laughs> Here at Metro. 18 grand yeah. Yeah, in 1938 yeah. money. Let's, look, uh, let's that's figure that out. 1938 like, what, money. What did you buy? And they're, that's they're that's still it. abusing him because they're fighting over where they're going to bury the guy. Are they? And he doesn't want to be buried by the stepson that did him wrong. Because the stepson has some kind yeah, of that, plot already. Yes. Isn't and there that and Hollywood it, cemetery that a lot that's of celebrities a cool cemetery. are buried in? Yeah, yeah. Yes. What yeah. makes it cool? They have all Selects. like all the celebrities, like uh, like uh, uh, Valentino. He's there. Ah, uh, <laughs> Valentino. <laughs> I'm trying to. I, I don't know. They have like all the cool Fred celebrities. Mertz? Yeah, Is Fred Mertz there. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe, I believe, is there. Ah. I want to be buried there in the voiceover uh, <laughs> <area. laughs> section. It's a shadow, shadow area. <laughs> uh, extras, extras, one line extras. <laughs> They're buried like on the on the driveway up. No, there's like all these cool. It's really like really cool like uh, monuments and all that kind of stuff oh, right like, yeah um, yeah yeah mm. you know like uh are any of you guys russian orthodox no <laughs> they have the coolest tombstones it's like uh reflective black marble with a face staring at you wow like you see creepy. like an effigy of them really and it really looks cool that's kind of creepy it is really creepy they're putting a lot of things in tombstones now with uh like um these little hologramish. Ring things tones. of the people that look, you know, yes. so you can see their face from different angles. Uh, yeah, yeah, audio of them speaking and uh, video screens where what do you mean? when you come up to you're, the. You start, put, you start pushing buttons? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You and, start and, pushing buttons? And you get like video, like fucking YouTube videos wow. of, you know, your loved ones. That's uh, it, exactly weird. right, where you can tape a message and have people, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, they so you can have. berate them from the grave. They have this for real. Yeah, yeah, there are tombstones with actual multimedia embedded in it, and uh, yeah, you're just there... Well, the ultimate speaking. thing to do is to like just tape him at you know, thank you for coming. You are the love of my life, and just like name a different name yeah. than your wife, <laughs> Claire. <laughs> well, who's this Claire? <laughs> I've <laughs> always loved you. If your name starts with a C, <laughs> press one. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you. I want a robot voice. Uh, thank huh? you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> Move along. <laughs> 
The, the grave diggers are stealing. <laughs> <laughs> they have stolen my gold teeth. <laughs> From beyond the grave. That's wow. uh, that's a... Yeah, that's a new business. We can do that. Yeah, right? Wouldn't you get into that? Uh, I don't know. I think some cemeteries uh, poo-poo things like unless uh, they're just the standard Why? burial and tombstone. They get like, well, some cemeteries don't even like you to put flowers on graves unless it's a certain time of the year or occasion. Oh, right. So they're, you know, things like that. So I think multimedia might be a, a thing. So their thing is, let's be as sad as possible. Sad as possible. Somebody wanted a tombstone shaped like SpongeBob because SpongeBob's kind of like shaped like a tombstone. Right. Mm -hmm. So they wanted a SpongeBob tombstone. Nice. And uh, the cemetery was like, no, nah, we can't have that. Why? Because then you think about it. I think if everyone did something weird, it would kind of look like a miniature golf course. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's That's just, a great idea. That's a wacky thing. So that people, would be just putt your way through so, yeah. the, the why, cemetery. Why, why would you make be, it more? More people would go if there was more yeah, fun there. A little more well, why would you be the guy that starts that cemetery? Yeah. You would do all right. Well, That's you can the business. Do anything. Miniature that is golf a and a cemetery do combined. That would be cool. The grass is there. Well, Copyright. The that. obstacles are there with the yes. tombstones. You could have the different one. Get it in well, the loved one's mouth. Because uh, get it through your uncle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because the kids don't give a fuck that they're there. Oh, so give them something to do, right? Putting. Yeah, you sure that's not something out there already? Because that is a great idea. I know. I think that's it a really just good popped idea. in my head, so I hope not. I, I really would. Uh, that's a really, you better, yeah. Yeah, That's yeah. Happening. I got I to gotta jump right on that. Oh, too late. Someone's got it, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, well, well, mini golf cemetery. That would be I great. I like that idea. I like the idea of, uh, you know, with the screen. Yeah. With the screen there. And uh, people are now burying their pets. That's a yeah, that's another good yeah. idea. Big know? money, big money in that. Uh, the uh, the pet cemetery. Being you're not all allowed real to nice. bury in your backyard. You can't do that anymore. I don't that's know like what that. is it? Some kind of a uh, hazardous waste yeah, thing? Yeah, some of the water, An the issue. water table. Oh, the water oh, table. Really? Look out for that water table. I think my dad used to just throw our pets in the woods somewhere. Oh, save the money. There you go. As a kid, it was a very Lord of the Flies kind of a an existence uh, when you'd walk through the woods and you'd go. <laughs> Yeah. You start smelling, and you knew it was like a nearby dead animal. Right. And that was someone's family it. pet. Try to find it. Growing up on Long Island, there always was that one kind of weird river, <laughs> and there was always a garbage bag with a dead dog or cat <laughs> kitten in it. I don't know if that was somebody's job. Like, let's make this oh as weird God. and sad That's as possible. Serial killer It was like just a trickle of, of disgusting water. Yeah. Like that. Flies. What is it? Uh, yeah. Oh, it's a dead the kitten. smell. And as a kid, you know, that was fucking great. You're it was an adventure. Stick. Yeah. You know, there. you're out there, like, exploring. <laughs> <laughs> being a kid. But I do remember Long Island uh, when I was growing up as being very adventurous. There was yes. a, a lot of shit. I was um, in, e like, East Islip at one point. It was by that Heckscher Park area. And just going through there was very... Like uh, a lot of ferns and right, and yeah. weird amphibians. Like Long Island used to have amphibians, like a, <laughs> like a newt. You could find a newt. I don't know when they went extinct completely. <laughs> Let's newt. talk Long Island weaponry. Like yeah. when you were a kid, <laughs> were you a BB gun man, wrist rocket, or yeah. nunchucks or all three? Uh, my brother was a nunchucks guy. He loved oh, a little bit of the martial arts. I could tell what dad, what job your dad had by your weaponry. <laughs> <laughs> weaponry. Oh, your dad was working for the town. You were able to make. <laughs> and you would just make it like, all right, I got a couple of these dowels I found in the garage and some chain. We would make my mom buy stuff that we could wrist rocket with. Like, mom, she can know. you get the ball bearings? Could you? Uh, <laughs> hey, she where are all the nuts doing? and bolts? Oh, we wrist rocketed it <laughs> all over the yard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were uh, constantly uh, we were wrist rocketing. We were making. Um, what was the movie like? One of like a like a Bible movie where they made their their oh, things. Yeah, yeah. The, a lot uh, of uh, eyes and teeth were broken yes, on a the sling. A sling, a sling like Davy and slinging. Goliath. It was uh, David's <laughs> slew Goliath. I, I do remember it was very hard to get your parents uh, to talk them into why you needed six feet of surgical tubing <laughs> that you could stretch out and fire things at light speed. <laughs> and then we had the rocketry did you have your own uh, I know, your yeah. sd's model rockets my brother he that. was in charge of that yeah we were we were at that age right before we realized the glue was more fun than the rocket <laughs> <laughs> but we were like rocketing we were constantly yeah. uh, seeing how far low we could aim the trajectory right before it became a weapon well you know what uh, i think the rules <laughs> said you said you couldn't uh, yeah. launch it at a certain angle be a good it had to be up and down right yeah yeah I, i'm really i'm doing atmospheric measurement or i'm <laughs> seven and want to see if i can get it into the neighbor's window. <laughs> Tell the bomb story with uh, Brother Joe. Uh, that's when uh, Joe, uh, Amazing. my brother was in the Army for a while, yes. and uh, he had some friends that visited from the Army, 
and they they had brought like a trunk full of ordnance. And it was training ordnance, but it was still like there were these little tripwire things. There were things that would set up on these obstacle courses uh -huh. and uh, like these uh, semi pseudo live fire exercises, uh, like smoke. tank simulators, smoke. smoke. They okay. would make explosions, but without the shrapnel and stuff like that, and uh, bit noises and tripwires and, and whatnot, and flares. Those things you, you'd uh, you'd take the top off the tube, hit the bottom, right. and a flare would come down well, on a cool. parachute, and it lit the night sky up man just lit the neighborhood up and we had this one it was a uh, it was an abrams tank shell simulator so it would blow up with the intensity of the blast of a, a tank shell hitting something but without all the pesky you know metal and metal. death and fire raining down depleted on you. uranium yes it depleted <laughs> uranium all that fun stuff uh, but it, it needed a dry cell battery to uh, set it off so we went and got a dry cell and got about 50 feet of wire, 50 <laughs> feet of wire on a spool and went down to the John Glenn uh, High School track, me and a bunch of my buddies, and uh, unrolled it. And boy, that 50 feet looked real short when you know what's at the other end of it, because I unrolled it. I'm like, I think I'm really still close to this thing, <laughs> very close to it. Uh, so I thought, here, here's my, my physics at the time, my science. I'll, I'll put the negative terminal and I'll put the wire on that one, and then I'll hook the wire, and I'll stand back in a running position and drop the wire on the contact and, and run, uh. beating the speed of light uh. as the electrons flow through the wire. Um, 50 feet. Yeah, yeah, 50 I'm feet. it. That's not far. So I well, you got away a little bit, right? I got away a little. I turned my back, which was good. I dropped it and fucking got Instantly. flung. Wow. Uh, a few feet uh, really? in the air and, and hit oh. the ground. Oh. And I woke up, like, oh. whole, like blinking. Hmm? Go ahead. I, someone's oh. giving me a message. Oh. Sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. I woke up, like, blinking and counting my fingers. Like, oh. like one, two. Ha, ha. It, was, it was a concussion. A concussion I mean, a blast. A fucking blast. How... how where did you do this? In front of your house? No, this was at the <laughs> high school track. Yes, okay. You always went down yeah. to high school. You know, that was a, a big field. You could, you know, everyone knew where that's, it was. That's Things hilarious. Like that. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, it was fun. I got to interrupt. Uh-oh. Uh, Brandon Steiner was pissed, I think. Is he oh, mad? Is he coming He's got to go. Oh, no. No. But he, he looks like he's walking the other way, and Roland's uh -oh, walking with his head down. Get Roland. 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 Get him in here. Did we blow him off? What happened? We didn't Roland. blow him off. Well, I'm no. leaving. I'm Roland, Roland. No, you're not leaving. I wanted to go through the room. What happened, Roland? Did we mess this one up? Roland, did we screw up? What happened? I thought uh, I happened, thought he had Roland? time. What happened? No, he said to make sure you two know this. Oh, no. What? what? <laughs> 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 right. Is he, All right. Oh, no, he had to go to a meeting. He said uh, just to reschedule him. Because, uh, All right. But was he in the city anyway? No, he came all the way from uh, upstate. That's where the... No way. Is where the, no, but where's no. his meeting? What? Where's his meeting? Um, in Connecticut. So to have him come in for a few minutes. But, his, but he came from all the way from Albany, too. Connecticut. So have him come in no, now. <laughs> <laughs> Did he come in the memorabilia mobile? <laughs> come, on, come on now. Oh, no, no, he had a, he had a 10 o'clock meeting. So I that, didn't know that. Uh, We're running late today. We yeah, well, he got a call. He goes, I, he goes, I really have to go. He goes, we'll just reschedule, and I'll oh. see you another time. I feel horrible. What kind of meetings does he go to? Yeah, that's a good sign ball. He just left. <laughs> I, he didn't one. just leave. He's right there, Eric. Bring him in. Let's get him in here for a second. Yeah, what's, oh, what's going on? Came all the way from Albany, now? guys. Albany. He's gone. Yeah, because uh, yeah, nobody, meeting, no, he was fine though. He goes, hey, because I get it. They're on the topic. He's cool with it. Yeah, he was not mad. Back right. He came in from Albany, guys. He's <laughs> renting up, up New York. Still, Albany. That's the same state from Geneseo. <laughs> that is a long drive, though. I give it to him. That is a long, long drive. drive. No, he just said that. He you know what a long drive is? So. Binghamton. No, he's yes. fine. You ever take do that drive to Binghamton? Yes, many that's a college times. drive. It sucks. It's a college drive. You know, you know, you're only doing it to get pussy if you're a guy. Because God knows I wasn't going to college. But that was the halfway point to go to Rochester. Chester and Geneseo for me. Halfway. Point. That was halfway. We would stop at Binghamton for lunch. Mm. And the, there's we really still had to keep going, going after there. that. That's like a, you either you're very young or very old. It's yes. college fun or apple college picking. Fun. Apple, yeah. picking. Apple, apple, apple picking. Picking an apple. I used to go, have to go to Quinnipiac College for a girl. That Where's was in, that? In Connecticut. 
Oh. Connect, connect. Yeah, you just uh, have to UConn. drive there, Ooh. and that was always like, uh, oh, boy. Mm. I was just at Foxwoods, and let me tell you something. That mm. that it has the feel of like a college campus. Have you been there? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. You drive through the woods. It's like yes. a little town. That's in the that middle up. of the forest. You go all the way through. It's like one lane to get to a casino, which is always weird at night. No lights. Yes. No, mm. it's very uh, it's nowhere. stark in the middle of yeah. nowhere. And then you get the room. You go up and look out the window, and it's just in the middle trees. of nowhere. Right. So in the middle of nowhere, there's a it's lake. Beautiful, there's though. a mountain. It's it really is nice it's beautiful, there. but you like, like you know what? You want some no, shit it's around probably, you? It's probably a good thing that it's not close. Like you always have to drive far to get to a casino. Exactly. Which is probably a good thing. Not anymore though. They're popping up think. all over the place. I'd be like, Who oh would, yeah, I'm gonna run hey, out to the store, get some bread, and play a few hands yeah. of black. Let's go to Matt in Texas. Well, He's from Long Island, and he's surprised we're not talking about one thing about growing up on Long Island. Dirt bomb fights. Uh, uh, dirt go. bomb fights were a biggie. There was like fucking uh, wars over the fences. Sure, Matt. Hey, you guys, you guys don't remember hanging out in the sumps and the sump. The sump. Yes, <laughs> the sump. every town had its sump. It's had the sump, and there was always a story of some kid that drowned yes, in the right. sump. Every Be careful. sump took a kid. Oh. That's Billy's watch. <laughs> <laughs> he went to the sump. <laughs> I remember That's that. That's a great one. Yeah, oh, that is a good one. His mother never got over it. <laughs> I remember she was on the stoop crying when With the, the house coat. Yeah. <laughs> We mow her long because we feel bad for her. <laughs> That's exactly it. The Long Island tragedy is all this sump drowning. And, <laughs> and kids falling through the ponds. Yeah, fall through the pond. You used to be able to ice skate wherever the fuck you wanted. That's true. When we grew up, and then you the just pulled over and just said, "Ah, oh, this looks good enough." There was this Suffolk County uh, cop uh, that had white hair, and uh, everyone called him Stoneface. And the rumors that went on about this guy that he was only twenty-five years old, <laughs> and he had this stark gray hair because he rolled up on a horrible accident where children were dead yeah. all over the street, Jesus. and you don't want to get pulled over by Stoneface because he's very strict because he saw children <laughs> die, and his hair went white over. Overnight. <laughs> How did you get around? Like, were you uh, bicycling around? Uh, as, as, a, as a youngster, it was yeah. all about Always bicycling, biking. man. Everyone, uh, like, they were just roving packs of friends like bikes. on yep. bikes. You don't even fucking see that. Parents are so scared to let their kids out, I think. But we used to bike everywhere. And the par parents, were, on the weekend, it was like, all right, we'll see you later. <laughs> yeah. You'd leave the house at like we'll 8 see you in the for morning. Supper. And you'd come home at when it was dark. Supper time. And your parents and in didn't the summer, give a I was like nine o'clock at night. Fuck where you were, yeah. what you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a that's the beauty of New York compared to like growing up on Long Island. You see anybody on a bike, you you know that like that was their plan B. They didn't want someone couldn't give them a ride. <laughs> yeah. right. They're pulling a power mower <laughs> to a job. Yeah. Some guys, yes. some guys holding like half a weight bench. He's going to his friend's house. It was always like, oh, this is so sad. They always had that look of like, you know. <laughs> Anthony was supposed to pick me up, and he did, you know, ass. girls, you know, like, just like, yeah, I wish I was hotter, I would have a boyfriend with a car. It was just <laughs> always bad. In New York, it's yes. like, everybody has this, like, chin up, oh, I'm on a bicycle, look how cool I am. Yeah, yeah. So I'll never get over well, that. Right. Like, just like, everyone on a bike, it's a hot day, a ball's <laughs> hanging out, just like, some old weirdo if on you a bike. Were, if the, you were over 16 yeah. on a bike, yeah, you, you got choices somehow. <laughs> yes. You were the one that got the DUI. Right, right. You lost your license for a while. Yeah, yeah. But then the worst thing was you you would get your car. You'd get yeah. 16, you get your license, you get a car, you're like fucking styling. But you didn't have the money to maintain it, or if something broke, you'd have to wait like a week to, or two weeks to get the money to fix it. Mm -hmm. So then you were relegated back to the bike, yes. which really sucked because you, you were used to driving now, yeah. having a car. We got Richie. God, I love this. It has to be the same Richie. Richie, is this you? Yesterday, sir. Uh, 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 hold on, really fast. Did you just join Twitter or is someone f faking you? No, no, no. It's me. I've been on, but I just never paid much attention to it. That's me. All right, Richie. Uh, we got David Tell in the studio. I love your style, Richie. Who, uh, who's got a couple things <laughs> Thank happening? You very much. Let me give uh, the plug really fast because we haven't done it in a, in a bit. David Tell is going to be on Comedy Central this weekend. Saturday night, he's got uh, David Tell road work. And road then right work. after that, it's Comedy Underground. <laughs> comedy Underground. Comedy Underground. So check it out on Comedy Taking Central. It to the depths of comedy. One of our favorites, David Tell. But anyway, go ahead, Richie. Uh, you, you guys never mentioned Skitchin, Mo. Skitchin. Oh, there you go. Uh, that was yeah, a long yeah, the bad kids. And I got one more question. Anybody ever lose a glove in the back of a bumper like I did? 
When oh, wow. You grab onto the back of the bumper, the car takes off, and then goes your glove down the street. Um, now, when you would skits, what were your, what were your, uh, what, were, what kind of, what kind of boots would you wear? Like, this, this tells me a lot about the, you know, how you grew up. I gotta up. be honest with you. We was pretty poor. My mother had my feet, like, in sandwich bags inside sneakers. Yes, wow. so I had that deal. Oh, the King Cullen, uh... <laughs> yes! Absolutely. And then if you got real... That was our winter boots. You put the fucking uh, bags on. Oh, the Not bags. my house. <laughs> but you had a... Because of Brucey. 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 Hold on a minute. We got a legend walking by the studio. Oh, wow. really? Come and say hi. Cousin Bruce Morrow. Hold on, Richie. Great. I'm going to go back to you. Hold on. Cousin Bruce Morrow. There he is. Cousin Brucey. Cousin Brucey. Cousin wow. Bruce. We're going to do a, we got a real interesting thing. What do you got? What do you got? Wait, get on mic. Dave Clark is coming on. Dave it's Clark of the yeah. Dave Clark Five. Dave Clark Five. You know, he did it's a not a Dave PBS Clark Three. But... Sorry about not being on mic. PBS special. Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. By the way, you guys look... Ugly! <laughs> oh, no, you Isn't that you why we all got into radio, cousin? <laughs> That's it. Yeah, you're right. Really nice to see you. I'm so happy to Absolutely. share this floor with yeah. you guys. Always good Always to see uh, hey, wait, Cousin Bruce. I'm going to get to Cousin Dive. That's oh, what is called. that what you call Dive, Dive. right? Yeah. And then we'll, uh, Lauren, maybe sometime we come in and let's uh, do yeah, a little... Yeah, let's do something. Love it's been a while. Yes, okay. you, uh, indeed, Brucey. Brucey really doesn't really age. You look great. Right. You sound... Thank you. I want to I want to come in one one night and sit in on the show with you. Let me know what happens so I can get the door locked. <laughs> are you kidding me? I can't afford to do what you guys do. Are you kidding? No. What do I do? I better buy insurance. When you come in, I'll have insurance. Okay. okay. You uh, know, Dirty Dancing was on the other day, and I heard you at the beginning of that, that and in the middle and I, doing some yeah, stuff. Yeah, I play the magician. Yes, yeah, the magician. Yeah. That is residuals for my grandkids. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's great. Right. Anyway, I'll see you guys. All right. Cousin Bruce, you have I'm a great really, day, man. I'm really man. proud to share this floor with you. Absolutely. Right. Cousin we Bruce, are, We're honored. A legend, a legend in the business right there. The tip of the hat. There he goes. Thank you, Cousin Brucey. Here it is. Crazy. I think That's he was. Amazing. I think he was at JFK when the Beatles landed. Uh, right I think there, he's one of those guys. Right there at Idlewild. How old is he? He looks like he looks fucking great. He must have that like kind of that stuff just in his closet that's worth a millions of dollars. Millions. Oh, Bobby Darren's uh, <laughs> inhaler. Sure. <laughs> right. He left it at the funny story. He left it at the studio. Uh, <laughs> inhaler. <laughs> Sammy Davis's real eye. Yeah, he gave it to it me as a gift in formaldehyde. <laughs> Seventy-eight. 78 years There's old. There's no way that guy's 78. He's the right with it. He's all with it, too. I listen to uh, uh, the uh, 60s on 6 every so often, and you get to Cousin Brucey there spinning spinning yeah. the old hot wax, as they said back in the day. Let's get back to Richie and Long Island. Oh, Richie. 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 Yeah. I got one more. I got one more. You ever, hey. Not that I ever did it because it's not legal, but did you gentlemen ever perhaps enter uh, an ice cream truck at nighttime when nobody was around? Wow. No. Oh, you, yeah, were one, yeah. you were one of those kids. You were the cool kid. Yeah, right? You were the well, cool kid. You did the stuff we were too scared to do. Yes. You ever do a B&E &E on an ice cream truck? No. No, my mother said if I finish my chores, she'd buy me an ice cream. I like tune up a gas station attendant. <laughs> I love this Off guy. the L.I.E. Yeah. Uh, t well, why don't you explain, Richie? Well, not that, like I said, not that I did it, but I used to hear stories <laughs> about people that live close to circus men, like outlets or other things. And back in the day, it wasn't a big deal. You could get into these places, no cameras and no yeah, doors. Right. Pesky nobody security. Else. It was a better life. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> we used to make it into the ice cream truck at night. And we don't talk about forget about it. There's no limitation. Yeah. I, the one thing I was happy about guy. was I didn't have diabetes after all that. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, oh. So let me ask you this. Would you, was that for just the fun of it, for the ice cream, or to resell the ice cream on the street? Yeah, to, yeah. Uh, you know, down the road, like, the you know, street value out of, of, a out of the of... trunk ice cream. I don't yes. know if I would do that. The street hey. value of these ice cream sandwiches. Are... You want a frozen clock bar? <laughs> <laughs> what do you, you need? You know... I didn't have much of an entrepreneurial spirit back then, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I was kind of just in it for, wow, I'm not supposed to be doing this shit. Yeah. That's, hey, Jimmy, what kind of ice cream you got? <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, hey, you complain, know. but who'd listen? This guy's always good for something, a sandwich, yeah. an ice cream sandwich. <laughs> but what Jimmy really loved were ice cream trucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, because any guy who drove an ice cream truck in the 70s and 80s, you knew had yeah. pot, but would never give it to you because you weren't a chick. Like, it was all right, like, right, that right. was like his thing. Like, yes. you know, yeah. hey, oh, your cousin's in the neighbor. You know, like, she, she got all <laughs> yeah. the cool stuff. You hey, you got that. a phone. You got a phone. Two niggers stole my ice cream truck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the uh, the cool thing about uh, that that time was, like you said, the driving. Like once you started driving, now 
The, and, and then the drinking, because they're still <laughs> oh, drinking and driving. Course. Yes. <laughs> hand in hand. And on Long Island, for some reason, that was like really good until one really bad. Yeah. And then it was like, God. <laughs> 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 It was like you were, you were drunk on your car hood. You were eating Taco Bell off of your car hood. There wasn't the cops would let you go. Well, for the most for part, and yeah. unless you were really well, fucked would up. But the, I, I on Long to, Island, they used to take your keys, and then they yeah, would come yeah, back. Yeah, That's yeah, a cool yeah. cop. Yeah. That's I used cool to drive cop. around come back with a few hours beer, later. like with a six-pack of beer, yeah. and it would be right there b between your legs as you drove. You're drinking a beer. Yeah. And that was like completely acceptable. Whoosh! Out the window with the empties. Late at night, though, it wasn't Taco Bell. It was fucking jack in the box yeah the, white that, was castle. that was the only thing that was open was like a jack in the box white castle and you drive through there get that horrible taco with the baby diarrhea filling in there mm. and, and uh you'd eat half and then the other half had to be thrown at the front of the establishment oh, yeah. you know because that's <laughs> and you're mad at what the kids were doing at mcdonald's earlier today oh, whoever's it was car good, clean fun oh, whoever's okay. car was, it was good nature <laughs> could not believe how messy you were going to make it after a night of pot Bad booze stolen, yeah, stolen from your parents, and then course. whatever, Jimmy John's, or, well, that's not Long Island, but like all that kind of stuff. All that horrible yeah. food yeah. that would just end up on the floor in the hey, creases come of the on, seat. dude. My yeah. car seat. Dude, I just cleared this. What the fuck? <laughs> Or There's if somebody had that. a puke and they oh, were driving yeah, well, in your car, one. it never was about the guy that was puking. It was about the car. Get your fucking yeah. head out the Get window. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Don't you fucking puke in my mm. car. Yeah, you're cleaning up. Not cleaning up, you guinea bread. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I know that like uh, you know th this guy uh, Richie was calling in. He probably had way more fun than Richie? I ever did. It's a so nice frisbee oh, with a friend in front of his time. house. Yeah. Anything else, well, Richie? Yeah, yeah. The bun run well, was good back in the day. The bun run. The yes, bun run. That's back, a good one. But I, in the I morning, guess they don't do that anymore, do they? They used to literally leave the baked goods behind, outside. like outside at the door of uh, delis and and restaurants. Restaurants and stuff, and if you drove around at the right time, just about daybreak, you would be able to steal big loaves of bread and donuts Absolutely. and yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. You'd, you'd eat a few I'm on top of that. But eat a few, and then you'd throw the rest out the car window at other parked cars. But here's, on the, side here's of the, the difference: we might have stole a couple. Richie stole the whole fucking. Oh, we took the whole fucking rack. The whole hey, fucking hey, rack. He goes, excuse he me, I want ice cream. The, the the stealing of the buns and the breads, that's a whole different guy. That was Gene. <laughs> yeah, he that was did his operation. You know, we didn't go into his turf. <laughs> <laughs> he was the bread and bun guy. <laughs> we were ice, was ice cream. cream. <laughs> <laughs> we oh, called it shit. Meals on Wheels. <laughs> it was before the Meals on Wheels. Uh, it was such a weird uh, thing. Because you know what? There was no Man. social media. There was none of that. So you really had to make your own fun. And it really was fun. Make you know? your own oh, fun. Yeah. And there was no security, no camera cameras the cops no. uh, apparently had better things to do than worry about some kids slamming in, uh, yeah. shopping carts into into fucking mailboxes there was never even like a therapy it was all like what's your problem we'll tell you what kind of job you need like <laughs> This kid can't concentrate. He's masturbating. <laughs> Get him in the Coast Guard. <laughs> Get him in there. Teach him a skill. It wasn't therapy. This right? guy, he tried to he tried to bang my dog last. All right, well, get him down to the uh, bite week. Yes. He likes dogs. He could work down there. He's he's halfway there. He loves dogs. That's <laughs> fucking great. They would never think of it was, ADHD. Oh, he yeah. needs therapy and maybe some medication. Nothing. It was what job does this sick fuck fit into this now? This kid is crying. You know. It's like, hey, we got the bowling alley. We'll yeah, put him down the in the bowling alley. <laughs> we'll get the bowling alley. <laughs> Deep out of the way. Good. He throws rocks through windows and stuff, but he's got a good arm. He could probably swing a hammer. Get him down there with the carpenters. <laughs> yeah, the carpenter union is hiring yeah. apprentices. Is. <laughs> apprentices is. We'll get your mom to wait online for your card. I always like that. <laughs> Richie, you good? That's uh, it. Yeah, Richie, I'm, I'm all right. What, what do I say, Black? Oh. Anybody ever make their little fireworks? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. You used to. I had a guy that used to work at Struthers. It was some place that made uh, things out of a lot of uh, uh, pipes and uh, end caps and and whatnot. And he would bring home these pipes. We would empty M80s into the pipe nice. mm -hmm. and seal the top. And then again, go down to John Glenn track and shove it in that. You know those broadcast boots on the top of the bleachers at the high schools? Yes. Those green uh, little buildings that they would broadcast. You'd shove it in the door of that. Yeah. And we blow that fucking thing uh, apart right. with pipe bombs. All right. Now terrorism, you'd be arrested. Yeah. Oh, exactly. You'd, you'd, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then it was just like, oh, those kids. There were, 
There was also, uh, you know, now with kids at school, like we, you know, like these kids aren't allowed to, like, you know, they're not allowed to bring anything into school now because no, everything is no. a weapon. Everything's dangerous. You know, they, yeah. They, they used to be like, hey, look, uh, my ninja sword. <laughs> bring it in. You could just you know, bring something shit Something horrible. In. Yeah, I got a fucking nice. You'd have a knife on your belt <laughs> yeah. just walking around. And there were no issues. No one cared. Now then, you went home so with your sad. ninja sword. <laughs> ninja so sad, sword. Right. <laughs> uh, thank you, Richie. We got to move on to Chris. Chris, what do you got? Hey, I know you guys remember this one. You would drive down into the developments that were just being built and hang out in front of the houses that were under construction. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. When we were growing up on Long yeah, Island, all those yeah. new developments were coming in, and I knew I wasn't made for a life of crime because we would run around in them and, and just have innocent <laughs> fun and walk up to the stairs that were half done and into the unfinished basements yeah. and all. And then we went with this kid who decided he needed to break every single <laughs> yes, window. what is that kid? <laughs> and, I, and I just yeah, knew, like, it. I'm done with this. I, my fun is much different than yeah, yours. Yeah, yeah. He had to break right. everything. I mean, everything. That's good. We'll get him down to the Army recruiter. <laughs> yeah. uh, he should, he, this you know, kid is great. We'll get him at salvage. That'll be good. He should, he should maybe go over to the NOM and learn a little discipline. <laughs> we, would just, we would just go in and explore the houses. Yes. He'd have and to this break kid every had to fucking just window. destroy stuff. I'm like, I'm like, there's only ten of us. That oh, can... is that fucking funny, And they knew it was man. someone in the neighborhood. I'm like, ah. Oh, right. Gosh. I remember this like being just hibachiing for no reason around dog shit drying. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yes. Like for some reason, like we're hungry, but there's we didn't care. Right. <laughs> this, was before, yes. this was before you cleaned up after your dog. You know, it was a surprise. Uh, it was actually a way to get back at your neighbors by yeah. keeping keeping you know, the dog shit there. This yeah. is for your loud uh, rap music, which we didn't even know what it was then. The uh, the uh, construction sites are also good for your uh, your tree fort. Oh, no, yeah, that's oh, true. We, and you we, want to make your tree well, we fort. we would do that. We never bought, no kid ever bought but, wood for the tree fort. You were able to make the whole thing with just stolen but, wood and nails. But we would, we would grab the, the scraps. But yeah, not yeah. this one kid. He's oh, like, he'd oh, be like, fuck, I, can I need right. brand new like, what are you doing? eight foot two by fours. <laughs> right. uh, but you got, this, this sounds like some, this Italian sounds like, marble tile in my tree fort. Like, <laughs> this sounds like Suffolk County fun. It was like, Suffolk, this okay, is Suffolk yeah. County. This was well, all Suffolk. Nassau County, we were like uh, thinking of new allergies. That, you know, <laughs> such wimps. Jim on Long Island. Jim. Hey, it's Tim. How you doing? Hey, uh, whatever. That's okay. We uh, we used to do something. Uh, we used to pack the car with a bunch of friends, and we used to do this uh, sidewalk driving. Oh yeah, we did that. That's <laughs> a long time. That was great. <laughs> we we do uh, you know like four houses in a row through right. bushes. You know, it was great. Oh, yeah, stuff. Yeah. But so, remember on uh, Friday night, you'd just be bored. You get a bunch of beer, a few of your guys, and then have to take out mailboxes of the kids. Mailboxes you didn't, of the kids you didn't uh, like at school. Donuts on the front lawn. Oh, that's never. Shit. Yeah, we, we would, would do, do that. that. Uh, why uh, mailboxes, though? Oh, I don't know. They were out there. They were close to the road. I, yeah. You guys were bad seeds. Garbage pails are good. <laughs> the uh, wheeled, yeah, the ones that had the little rack with the handles and the wheels with two garbage pails filled in oh, it yeah. so that the guy could just wheel it down to the curb. We'd grab a handle and just gas the car, get that fucking, get those little plastic wheels up to about 50 miles an hour, <laughs> and, let go. and then let go of it. Oh, right. <laughs> and this <laughs> it was, this was like those little gas uh, go-karts. Right. So that was just, uh, no. it was just no. one time. They were, they were uh, cars. My two buddies. <laughs> my two buddies are sidewalk driving. Who's the best sidewalk driver? Oh. Uh, you know, I'm in the back seat, and I'm like, "Come on, guys, let me do it. Let me do it." So, uh, you know, they're like, "All right." They pull over. They I get in the driver's seat, and I, I shouldn't have been driving. Oh boy! And about. Ten seconds into it, I slammed into a parked car in a driveway. Ouch. Oh, oh no. you that was fucking that. rookie. Rookie. <laughs> Long Island rookie. This is before it insurance. So I had to work it off. Yeah, you had to work <laughs> it off. <laughs> <laughs> I had to work it off. Come back and break, break, paint break the leaves, paint the shed, and we're going to need a sprinkler put in. Oh, God. That's You'd funny. work it I off. I forgot about working it off. Because it never went to the authorities. Right. Your dad yeah. had to talk to his dad, and they negotiated right. a yeah, deal let's keep like this. A, Come on. Let's keep, keep it. Yeah. Yeah, on, let's see. You know, you're, you're raking up their leaves. You know, we neither of us want our kids in any trouble <laughs> right here. Look, he'll he'll work it, <laughs> and it was a fucking like a felony. Yeah, <laughs> give him. He's a bad kid, uh, yeah, but he's yeah. a good kid. Get give him on. a chance. We could work it out. Come on. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, let me let me say uh, hi. Uh, a few <laughs> topics at hand here with David Tell, John in Virginia. Go ahead. Hey guys, like yeah. I said, this was in uh, Long Island, but when I was eight years old, I got a twenty-two long rifle. Okay, here we go. And um, a little can of bullets. 
and I learned real quick they were lead tip and that you could write and draw with them. So I brought a handful of them to school and got to my friends, and we were all writing with them and doing our work. The teachers thought it was great because we were actually doing our work. They didn't give a shit. Fucking bullets in school. <laughs> they didn't care. They See, didn't care. When I was growing up, I was dreaming of that, what that guy just said, like being right. in like a frontier wilderness yeah. world. Because <laughs> right. like you said, like there was like wild places. It would be like those things like, we're on an adventure. We're the donor party. We're going to have to cannibal each other. <laughs> but if you look to the right, there's a Carvel. There's something weird. You know, yeah, look, there's uh, uh, a Nathan's. You know, yeah, like, but this direction is a wilderness little world from your mom's backyard <laughs> to the power pole that we climbed. <laughs> We would but shoot I dreamed off the, uh, of what that guy was talking about, like, yeah, we just can of bullets and hanging out. We'd shoot off the twenty two uh, in our garage. We'd wow. set up phone books and uh, really? and that. My sister would uh, would come into the garage with the laundry basket, and she would she would say, okay, uh, cease fire, cease, <laughs> cease fire. fire. We're like, oh, okay, she go over there, okay. How old was she that she's doing your laundry already? Uh, she, you know, she was in her teens at some point. Oh, right. You know, my mom, she was busy working, so Dawn had to do the laundry. A teen broad had no hope. They already had to do the chores. Especially with, like, a Mom's couple of brothers. Chores. It was just like, why? We ain't gonna fucking do it. <laughs> right. What are we, you faggot? Right. Guys don't do laundry. <laughs> so you had a twenty two, like a, a long gun? Yeah, or yeah, a twenty two cool. rifle. You could just fucking buy them yeah, with no... that's true. Like, if you had a driver's license, um... To this day, you could still pretty much do that, but they do do the background check on you and stuff. Mm -hmm. But years ago, you could just go into a, an outdoor place. They used to have a you know, sporting goods store. <laughs> and you'd go in and just be like, yeah, give me that rifle. And some guy right. would go, all right, son, here yeah. you go. Mm -hmm. I need some bullets. Let, let's say hi to Brian <laughs> in Massachusetts. Great. Brian. Hey, how you doing? Hey, buddy. Hey, when I was a kid, we had a development behind our house. They, they were just building, and we used to steal the drywall and make forts out of them. Mm. Drywall and forts sucked, though. It rained and it was done. Yeah, it rained and they all fell apart. <laughs> they fell apart. <laughs> right. <laughs> you needed I some wood. Like, That's a good I had a wall wood. apartment I built out of one and had, like, ran a string all the way down the street with the pole thing. In case you little fire, rascals. Fucking, <laughs> <Right. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> would you have Petey? Spanky? <laughs> See, that that whole thing would have been set up the fort for the fire, like mm. to make your little fire in there. <laughs> in the <laughs> yes. Because you get... Really cold. Right, right. So set up in the middle of, of July. <laughs> can have, make that fire going. That's a nice uh, sweltering tree fort made of gypsum. Well, I, I was in the scout, so, you know, a lot oh, of what he's saying, I kind of understand. You had some skills. You, you had go. legitimate oh, yeah. activities oh, yeah. then. We you camp at Eisenhower Park. Oh, yeah. You take it out, yeah, yep. mm. into the into the wilds. Go on, uh, go on some right. jamborees, did you? A uh, jamboree. Ah, oh, the jamboree. <laughs> Yeah, what was that about awesome. anyhow? That was the exchanging of scouting ideas? Yeah, that, that was like a bunch of different scouting organizations, troops or whatever, uh, would get together and pitch their tents and kind of hang out, I guess. Would you Would you approach scouts from uh, wilder places, you know, like... Trade friend. stories, I would friend. sure. Yes, friend. You're on this friend. friend. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking treaties are made, wars are waged. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we're all scouts. Uh, uh, yeah, scouts are uh, a little creepy. You always uh, wound up hearing stories years later from the guys like, oh, man, what used to happen at scouts? I didn't like it. I yeah. only made it to Cub Scouts. I was like, you, you were a scout? I was never Cub a scout. scout. And then I was I like, never this, did anything. I kind of remember thinking, this is kind of gay. Yeah? <laughs> what? I swear oh, to God. boy. Uh -oh. Where's that guy? I'm going back to <laughs> Albany. <laughs> I can't yes. take this. I can't take this at all. As a kid, <laughs> that's what I thought, though. He's party to you. And when I met... mouthing an institution. But, <laughs> see, I have to defend myself a little bit. It was, it was, we come from a time where you could say something is kind of gay, not meaning not mean No, it was kind of gay. I was in the scouts. It was really kind of gay. But it was... I just thought it was, I don't know, it wasn't. But it was, you know. no, I'm telling you, there, there's the there's that sweet spot of the scouts when, like, you know, you do get to, like, go out into the woods and do your thing. That, yeah. That's not bad. But then there's all that other stuff, the, uh, I, I call it the paperwork, <laughs> getting the badges. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like you're a detective, you know, you want to go out there and, like, really mix hit it up. Streets. Hit the streets. But then you got to come home and do the paperwork. Ride that your, desk, yeah. you got to make that birdhouse. Uh, you got to make it. Come on. All right, we got uh, Austin on Long Island wants to talk about his dad who grew up on Long Island, so his dad's got to be about the same age as us. Uh -oh. Uh oh, no. How old's your dad, Austin? Uh, 52. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, All right, within it. the wheelhouse. <laughs> anyway, what do you got, Austin? <laughs> yeah, he grew up in Uniondale, and what Ann was just talking about, uh -oh. driving around, tossing beers out the window. He said he just tossed them into his back seat, and he had beers... From the bottom of the floor to the top of the uh, roof. And wow. you could get and pulled uh, over and it wouldn't matter. Hey, what's lot. going on? He's exactly. not lying. I had a few uncles that did exactly where, that. Where are you headed this evening? Right. They didn't care. <laughs> yeah. Clang, like clang. He said, 
He said that a cop pulls up to him one day, next, uh, one day, and he rolls down a window, and the cop rolls down the window, and he goes, hey, you're a pretty cool kid, and he just keeps driving. Jesus. Wow. That's nice, see? What a great cop. That, that that's, is. A, that's a rarity. That's, that's uh, those, those, those were the days. <laughs> the Union Hill, right. I think, is, a, is in the Iron Triangle nice. of, like, karate, taekwondo schools. Uh -huh. right. I believe that was the area where a lot of that nice, was happening. Nice box. <laughs> Jerome Mackey. <laughs> Holy shit. I couldn't see it. <laughs> nice box. I, I know. I'm it's sorry. A, I, a, uh, an attractive woman walking distracted. down the hall with a, with a box. So. Jesus Christ. You Later, can, boy. Thank you. You can get away oh. with saying nice box as long as she's, she Thanks, box. Box. she's walking with nice me. Nice box. Let's go to Dave in uh, Westchester. Dave. Oh, see, it's a whole different Long Island. That's different. different. But the yeah. Long Island stories hey guys, make people on? think about their shit. Yeah. Right? Go ahead, Dave. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. Hey, so, uh, yeah, I was back in high school. This was like 92. I had a buddy of mine, he's a good kid, you know, he's already signed up, getting ready to go to the Marine Corps after graduation, and uh, he had to order, you know, ammo for his AR to take to the range on weekends, but UPS required someone to be 21 or over to sign for it, and his parents worked. So the principal of the school was like, yeah, this guy's no trouble, he's a good kid, <laughs> have your ammo delivered to the high school, I'll sign for it, and you can go wow. home. Wow, could you that. imagine in this day and age how quickly <laughs> he would be not only fired, but yeah. arrested? To be a SWAT yeah. team and, yeah. that was like <laughs> above your school. <laughs> That would be that's like an episode of Homeland. Right? Yes. You just described. Yes. That's amazing. And the principal was signing for ammunition. <laughs> that's why I don't wow. under, I don't understand it because there were less problems back yeah. then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it that's seemed tough. like there were and, were. and you There's got away with a lot more. Too, I think on the as a kid, stress it was you know? yeah. I think too much thought is going into um Will Billy Joel put out, out another album? Yes, it, no. right? <laughs> is Pat Benatar going to tour? <laughs> <laughs> Remember having to uh, also the, well there was Long a, Island Zone when yeah. when, when a big show would come around when, when a band out. would come around that everyone wanted to see you had to like gather up everybody who's yeah. getting tickets how many where are you going and you'd have to go to like the music store and buy your fucking tickets no. there because it was no online. what section what section I, are yeah, you getting your tickets you get? in. Faggot. 300 to Fuck, that sucks. You I fucking... I got birthday money. I'm going floor. <laughs> well, the band what, what, what was it? Yeah. Six or seven bucks for a ticket back yeah, then? Yeah, yeah. Really, I wonder how much... Yeah, I wonder what the difference in tickets were. I think it was less than 10 bucks. I think it was less than 10 bucks. It absolutely, it was less than 10. <laughs> I don't even remember how to buy a ticket. Like, how did you do it? You, you went to the music store. Oh, you go to the music and, store. And, and, like, there was a little section, Ticketmaster section back right. there, and they would fucking... Here, here Put you go. Put up your tickets. This. Here you go. Here, I didn't remember ticket. that at all. It's fucked up. I, well, at Chuck Mangione, there was always plenty well, of seats. Well, that's plenty. <laughs> Kenny G. Yeah, exactly. You know, I like that. Before air supply was out. Yes. But that's funny. It's like, I don't even remember doing that, like buying a ticket right. anywhere. I Like, you, where do you go? Like a cobbler? It would, like, yeah. make you a ticket? <laughs> Jesus. There was always somebody that, uh, like at the school, though, that w went on the ticket runs. Like, if you yeah, wanted to see a tickets. show, because if you wanted to go, the whole fucking school wanted to go. You had to wait, wait up all night. So, yeah, one guy would go and go, all right, you, you give him the money. You me. And then you come, yeah, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> But online, fucking, no stinking yeah. online. Well, how about the first time you went into the city from Long Island? Yes. You knew it was going to be a problem. Oh, You yeah. saw that movie Warriors. You knew you might have to fight your way back. Might have to fight our way back to Suffolk County. Back to Hempstead. I don't know what's going to happen. You got to get through the tunnel. Bring your cousin who knows how to fight. You yes. might need him in the city just yeah. for the fighting. Other than that, he's a total jerk. Where are we going? Are we going to... I don't want to go to 42nd Street, man. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking crazy We're down there. We're going to go get a fake ID. Yes. <laughs> go see Maybe some fucking some hookers. Let's go taunt the hookers down by yeah. the Javits. <laughs> by the Javits. <laughs> <laughs> Very yeah. funny, man. Very I think funny. That, is, that shit is classic, that is uh, classic old school fun. And a guy, uh, we don't have to go to him because it, it really did happen. My old man got pulled over once, and the cop just followed him home to make sure he got there safe. That happened. Do that occasionally. That, that so, absolutely happened a that's lot. Really nice. Going up. That's like yeah. Mayberry. To the people now it's know. it's crazy. If now you go fucking, sleep it off there. You got a Nyquil gel cap in your fucking <laughs> ashtray. You're getting cuffed, tased, and, <laughs> and cavity searched. Goodbye. <laughs> but when I when I think of these kids now, like all the all the all the crazy stuff. Like if we had like an e-cigarette, yeah. like if they had even that kind of thing, that would immediately have been a weapon or like some <laughs> other. We would have thought of some eviler way to do something with that. Yeah, it's like it's cool. It's like it's a better cigarette. Like, it's no, like it's not enough. It's not enough for us. What is the policy in schools with e-cigarettes? I wonder. 
No. No way. Oh, there's no, no way. way. What do you? You had to ask no that. No way. It gotta I don't be know because you cigarettes were always a no, no. But I mean, and now an article came yeah. out saying these I'm vaping. These cigarettes aren't good for you as well. Yeah. Well, it's, it's probably poisonous. people that don't want e-cigarettes. They're it's probably the tobacco industry. Probably. Oh, these cigarettes until are they bad get, for you. Until they get all their e-cigarettes out there. <laughs> right. Who knows? You know what the uh, biggest smoking country is now? China. 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 They're smoking it up. Well, you notice that when you go to uh, any casino. When you, watch when you any sit movie. down and any, <laughs> any, I think it's a, a lot of the Asian nations, Japan yes. and stuff. When you sit down at a table where there's a lot of Asians playing blackjack or something, they you're in a it. cloud. Yeah. Like, hit me. I uh, love that. Well, yeah, you want to hit? I'm not sure yet. I need this to clear. I can bring a little fan. And, and, and it, 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 there's no not smoking section. In China. In in oh. China. In China. <laughs> well, in the casino, you can't. Well, China just started it's smoking. Not, it's just, China's smoking to get fresh air. Yeah, <laughs> is that what it is? Oh, God. It's fresh they air on those cigarettes. <laughs> Their air is a little rough over there. A little, rough, the little rough, I tell you. Oh, yeah. I, lo I love I love the countries where like they eventually have to kind of like implement our wussy smoking rules. Oh, kind of, you know, it's yeah. like, All right, you can't smoke around a pregnant woman. <laughs> All right, we'll give you this Albania. We'll give you that. It wasn't even really that long ago. I I, I was watching episodes of uh, Columbo. Mm. Fucking hilarious. He just walks into people's beautiful houses <laughs> with his cigar. Oh, yeah. Could you imagine walking into someone's house just smoking a giant cigar and it was say, fine? Gonna sign a waiver. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> That's an LA move. You, we had this little patio area. Yeah, of, yeah. Of oh, bad choices smoke. where you could sit. <laughs> bad choices. <laughs> you could drink. You, you sit over there. Eat food with gluten in it over life. there. Whatever you need to do. <laughs> whatever gets you through your miserable day. <laughs> and and uh, people were but uh, constantly smoking in the hospitals, airports. And then the second they were in a house, like, uh, all right, the murderer does the murder, comes home, and they just... <laughs> They'd start drinking. Yeah. There was a bar in everyone's living room. That's amazing. There was, whether it was a rollaway one or a built one, people had bars in their living room and used them. Yeah, entertainment. It wasn't just a, an, an ornament. Mm -hmm. They had those crystal little yes. carafes. With clink, clink. A lot of clinking and clanking going on in the houses back More then. than one set of ice tongs. <laughs> yeah. You never know. <laughs> you just don't know two people are going to be making drinks at the same time. You don't want the other guy to have to wait. <laughs> You never know when the kid is going to use one as a roach clip, and uh, <laughs> you'll be embarrassed to put it back on that bar set. Oh, making but that's why that Mad Men thing of like them drinking and yes. smoking. Although, like people I knew that worked in that business, they're like, "Oh, they're overdoing it and stuff like that." I'm like, even if it's like one tenth as cool as that, it's way cooler it's than it is now. Way cooler than it is way now. Cool. Every room in everyone's house and and the the workplace just had that brown, runny, oh, God, runny yeah. tar from the walls. Yeah. It was literally dripping down the walls with fucking cancer. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great, yeah, it was a great time. Oh, it was a great I really time. I really did like it. <laughs> like it's all right. Like a, a three, three uh, middle-aged gentlemen <laughs> waxing fantastic about the old days. <laughs> well, you got it. David Tell, this was terrific today, sir. Absolutely. Guys, always always an, another Pleasure. amazing appearance from David yep, Tell. David. He's got two great uh, things happening the, at Comedy Central this weekend. It's uh, David Tell Road Work. That's at midnight Saturday. Uh -huh. And then you got the uh, Comedy Underground right after that at 1 a.m. So that's very cool for David Tell. Bitchin'. Check those shows out, please. And uh, can I just say for the charity one more time? Uh, yes. Uh, Operation Purple. Go to my site, davidtell.com. I've already given money. I want to give some more. So let's, like, uh, with Good the downloads show. and everything. Don't do it. Just don't pirate it. Whatever. It's going to be fun. And uh, I'm really excited about the show. So thanks for having me in, guys. Appreciate Anytime, it. Anytime, David Tell. Love it, man. Uh, Sam Roberts, any plugs? <laughs> Yes. Uh, the post show is coming up. Oh, oh, here we go. go. That's here what go. I wanted to hear. Yeah. That's right. Uh, more us. Yay. We're See you guys done. tomorrow. We're done talking about us for a while. Why don't you talk <laughs> about us? <laughs> that permanent record shit. Go on your permanent record. It used to scare us. That's right. This is nothing. This is called pre prison. That's what fucking Can you push play is. on this? Sammy. You know, I don't right. think this is it. Now. Move out of my way. Let me get it myself. This is another teacher and a student. <laughs> yeah, because oh the God. student's calling her mom during class. Yeah. Move out of my way. Move out of my way. Marlena, don't put your hat on me.
Don't put your hand that don't touch me thing. Give me my fucking shit. Could you imagine? No. Give me my stuff right now. There's no sense of consequence. No, Cheswick no asked for his cigarettes better. <laughs> 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 oh, that was great. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's not one ounce of, of what's right or wrong going on here. Like this fucking bitch. Yes, you did. Get your hands off of me. I'm backing up. My hands are not put your hands on me. I'm not putting my hands on you. Can you move? No. Give me my stuff. Can you give me my stuff right now? Because I'm getting real pissed off right now. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, get, I'm sorry. Can you get the fuck out of my way? You're not a fucking Holy shit. The teacher, the teacher, the is that the teacher? She, yeah. She's brawling with the teacher. There's a fist fight. And no one helps. No. no, no. Like, I, I, I wouldn't hear her. I'll go there. All right. One, one girl is helping. This is. The students are all just helping. No, pull, like, pull them apart. Fuck it, get the cops. Arrest that piece of shit. Yeah, the teacher. Through. Yeah, the teacher. Worcester! 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 Someone yelling World Star? Uh, they might as well. Anthony was. Oh. I was. There's no, 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 no. <laughs> there's just no sense of anything <sighs> right there. there there's, there's no consequence. It just happens. And then she'll fucking talk to her friends and be like, yeah, I show her. Hoopers. Hoopers. Here it is, yeah. There it is. Yeah, this is the one. Santa Monica wrestling coach um, has a fight with a student that was dealing Science drugs. teacher at Santa Monica High School. Yeah, he's a wrestling coach. Right, he's on administrative leave after wrestling a student to the ground. There was always for that dealing one. drugs. The, guy, the kid's dealing drugs in his classroom. In the class so the, the teacher wrestles him to the ground, and now he's he's on suspension. Because he punched him, Administrative too. leave. There's always that one teacher that could kick this shit. Like, for us, it was Mr. Takis. Mr. Takis? He was a social studies teacher. Is he a problem? He was a really quiet guy, but I think he was ex-military, and he would yeah. just jog through the neighborhood. And Mr. Takis was a fucking big he would take care of a karate problem. expert. Yeah, really? and everybody knew, don't fuck with that guy, because yeah. he'll kick a hole through you. Yeah, he just had that he reputation. He had muscles. Everyone knew that he was... We grew he was, up in a time, not many people had muscles, because there weren't a lot of gyms right. around. You really Coach had to go Cirillo. out of your way to get muscles. Coach Cirillo and Big Fat Gil Lilienthal yeah. were two guys that would fucking... <laughs> oh, boy. Perfectly coiffed hair, just steadily jogging. jogging. Yeah, and then there were stories of them kicking heavy bags off the uh, things that they were hanging on. Like, oh, really? Like, practicing, yeah. Right. Nice guy, <laughs> but great. a major but problem. He, he has a problem. Yeah, so you kind of knew just... So, yeah, here, let's see this teacher fight. Oh, where's the sound? Oh, there, oh, there. Hey, hold up. Yeah, this is a fight. Yeah. What do they expect? They, uh, uh, we didn't see the beginning of it. He, he's going for the single takedown. He is. Right, he's just trying to... Yeah, he's got to watch ground. out for that big right arm. I'm sorry, I'm just <laughs> doing Rogan. Where's Rogan oh, yeah. when you need him? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, who he's shot this? Taking him down. He's just trying to take him down. Yeah, this boy, what yeah. a terrible wrestling coach. He can't take down one little skinny yeah, popular. Yeah, he's got him. He's got some UFC stuff. An older teacher, too, he's huh? Tying up his legs. Yeah. Yeah, he's this, got this, him on the ground. This teacher is not doing a good job. And the guy's no. holding his head. He's trying to mount, but he can't get into his guard. <laughs> I'm just throwing out words. <laughs> <laughs> but this uh, teacher now got administrative leave because... Uh, well, did they show at the beginning? Like, did the teacher just throw the punch? or? No, everybody in the, in the uh, classroom said that the... Oh, okay. The kid punched him in the face first. Okay. First thing he did was he walked up to the kid, said, "You're dealing drugs, you know, you're not in this class. Right. Go to the office or whatever the fuck he was saying." And then the kid popped him. How do you think that's going to work out as a student drug dealer? I'll punch this guy in the face. Yeah. And then, what do you think is going to happen? There's no think. That's the the, the word. Why is There's he on no administrative thinking. leave? Because uh, it's unacceptable. To take the kid down after do you punch in the face? I guess. I'm guessing because they didn't see the punch. They probably said to make sure that's the, what it was. Hey, babe. Well, the teacher wasn't punching him back. He was doing the... Yeah, he was trying to wrestle him to the ground there. Figuring that would be the Tie least. Him up. 
There is just it's the least funny. thing I could do and and control the situation, right? Uh, uh, let's say know. hi to David in Connecticut. David. Good morning, boys. Good morning. Um, I have a consultant out working for me whose name is Princey Dickshit. D-I-K-S-H-I-T. Come on. There's no way these names are real. Are you guys it, it, all in on this together today? Yeah. No, with the uh, that community, the Indian community, there's a lot of dick shits, a lot of princes. Um, they're all over the place, so it's pretty common. About actually. the shit part. So one of your consultants is uh, named Princey Dick Shit. Yeah, what kind of a company? Yep. What do you? What do you? What kind of a company is it? <laughs> right, hires exactly. them? Fucking baby wipes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, all technical guys, like okay. computer programmers and stuff like uh, that. Who wants to know. ask computer questions to a man named Dick Shit? Yeah. Well, is that his name? Yep, that is that. Well, that would be his name, Mister Dick Shit. D i k s h i d. Is he uh, foreign? Uh, yes. Okay, yes. that might be it if he's from somewhere else. Yeah. Thank you, sir. One more about McDonald's. This guy used to work at McDonald's. Maybe not this particular one that's McDonald's. in the news today. But Alex in Tennessee. Hey, boys. Hey, Alex. Yeah, yeah well, some, well, I had one scenario. I had just started How old was she? There. Was, oh, <laughs> she had a <her> name. <laughs> scenario. <laughs> you know, scenario. Uh, it, yeah. uh, no, it, might, it may well have been. I don't know. But I, I had just started working there. I was 18 years old. And so they asked me to go and deal with this woman who's being loud and obnoxious and tell her to politely leave the premises. Now, I don't know what I'm dealing with because I've been in the back and I've just been sorting different condiments and whatnot. Right. So, so I go out there. Your condiments. And this woman must weigh like about 350 pounds mm -hmm. or 1.5 E-Rocks. Oh. And so... That's point five, by the way. Too many. So One now many. I'm now I'm about five nine and weigh about one hundred fifty. So What's up? The bus right here. Our house just gotta go home. We don't let you off the bus anywhere. We call nine one one now. Oh, oh, oh kicking, him kicking him in the head. Kicking him in the head. Just this. This unsupervised so the, savagery that goes on. Now the fat kid has to fight back. Let go of my sister. Yeah. Her hair. How, yeah, how about you tell your sister to stop? Nah, because there's no fucking rhyme or reason. Who's nah. holding this camera should be killed right now? Now he gets gets her in a chokehold. Here it is. Now he's lifting her off the fucking ground by the neck. You hear her choking. He's got a lock, too. Oh, yep. boy. Now she's choking bad. Good for the fat kid. Yeah, good for the fat kid is right. I don't know his name, or I would call him by his name. That's you just said it. And then he says, you okay? She's fine. She's standing there. Yeah. But he, he turns around and turns it around on her. Good for him. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. Good for her. Good for her. God. For him, whatever. Such <laughs> shit go on. Uh, him, her, fat kid, whatever. Poor fat kids, boy. They sure don't have it easy in school. Yeah. Parents ought to do something. Uh, My kid's bullied. How about you fucking you guys, make it so your kid's not fat? You guys bully the fat kid every day. Of course. He's not fat, though. That's, that's, the, school. that's why it's a good joke. Oh, yeah. It's his responsibility, not the parents. He's not, totally. even, he's not even close to fat. That's uh, why, that's why uh, it's fun. Uh, I don't know if not close is right. It <laughs> <laughs> could be some closeness. Yeah. <laughs> a woman flips out in a diner after being kicked out for having a loud, profane... Cell phone conversation. What's oh, this yeah? one about? Is it reasonable? Well, this was a, a. I guess the woman had been talking loud on her cell phone for a while. Yeah. Ah. And the manager m made the error of asking this enchantress to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Where was this? I don't know. I believe it was in. Uh, ch it was in um, Hell's Kitchen. It was on uh, 23rd. Yeah. Oh wow! Really? Oh, it's on. Um, yeah. What was her name? Hold on. They listed. They listed her name too. Hell's Kitchen. What's her name? It's pretty close to here. 
It's not in this article. Oh, it's not in that article. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I want to say it was Lamita something. I don't Lamita? I believe so. Uh, Do they have the cell phone thing. conversation? Uh, Latima Brown. Oh, Latima. Latima Brown was being a little loud on her phone, was she? Yeah, I guess not wow, behaving in public. And, uh, amazing. I would have a tough time hiring anyone named Latima. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Latima. Yeah, unless you had La Helmus and La Jersey. Latima. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Uh, yeah, I know. I got it. Wow. Latima. <laughs> Yo, Latima. <laughs> I'm all for Is that. It's I'm tough. all for an unusual name. but An odd yeah. name. Wow. Okay. So Latima was being boisterous. Maybe it's Latima. Latima? Latima? Yeah, maybe the, she has another sister, La Harvia. Her parents were big Calvinist Oh, God. It took a turn for the worse. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't say La Steve Lawrence. Uh, yeah. right. oh, I, I, I just don't understand why you would name your kid after acid reflux medicine. <laughs> Latima. <laughs> Latima might take two right. days to work. I don't understand. Or, or it sounds like mouthwashes or Prescription something. Prescription strength Latima. <laughs> right. <laughs> we'll get rid of that bad breath. So she's being uh, loud on the phone. And then what happens? I guess somebody tries to yeah. uh, tell her maybe... Yeah, because keep it down. Because it's a it's a business. So she said, "Oh, I'm sorry," and started talking more quietly. Right? No, oh. I, I was surprised. Oh, I thought that was where the story went. No, I was shocked. Oh. No, she, she walked in and she just sat down at a booth and just talked for thirty minutes. She didn't order anything. Or... Is that what Latima was doing? That's what Latima. Was so doing. she walked in into this diner, it's like five in the morning, sits at a booth and starts loudly talking on the fucking phone and cussing. Pig, what you? Big woman, <laughs> and and cursing of course, and uh, being loud. So so the manager says, uh, "Excuse me, yeah. could you not do that?" Yeah. I don't know. And she left <laughs> the premises peacefully, after right? After thirty minutes, that's a long. You know, he shushed her or something. But after thirty, that's a long time to be on the phone. Well, she asked. He asked her to go exactly, and so she did the logical thing of spitting in his face. Oh, there you go. What a pig. There you go. They'll do that. I've seen it in certain v venues. Who's they? Well, they spit. Who's they? Uh... Animals. Oh. Animals do that. <clears throat> That's what animals do. That's what a llama does. Are, <laughs> they're hilarious videos. You ever see people that walk up to a llama and the friend's going, look out, look out, <laughs> right in the fucking face. And then you go, ah, it's funny because it's a stupid animal that doesn't know what it's doing. <laughs> I never said that, but I understand the sentiment. <laughs> I never laughed about a llama doing that. He said those Llamas words. are hilarious. <laughs> they really are. <laughs> Big dumb. How many L's do you need in that word? Right? Stop it. <laughs> llama. <laughs> it annoys me. Uh, oh, so there's video. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is there audio? Not really. Damn it. They ought to have no audio. audio. These surveillance cameras. This is going to be useless. Mm, not to we us. do radio. Oh, is that her? Oh, there's yeah, Latima. There oh, she is. boy. Misbehaving. Yes. Who's the she, fat lady oh. throwing things, smacking at the manager? I bet she's saying, "Don't touch me! You don't touch throwing me!" Throwing ketchup bottles at the mirrors. They right. think they're golden. You're not supposed to touch them. Well, I love when the cops are trying to rouse them. Is that, is that, is that her friend? I don't yeah, know. That's trying to get her out of there. Friend, yeah. Okay, her friends get her out of there. Oh, now the team is just pushing things over. Who's the pig? Holy shit! You fucking slob pig. Oh, it's this fucking infuriating. That's where, like, as a, as a business uh, owner, why can't you just grab her by the hair and throw her through the just window? throw her through the window. <laughs> I would love to see but that. Anybody behaving that way in yes. public deserves to be thrown through a thrown window. Thrown through the fucking window. Anybody. He's fighting with this pig, trying to get her out of his establishment. And she's going down the, the counter, flipping... Uh, the the various things on the counter over into the work area. Right. Holy shit! Who acts like that? So now what happens to Latima? Nothing. I'm sure she just walks through life. Well, they talks know her about name. what an asshole he was. Don't touch me. That's my favorite. When the cops just like step out of the vehicle. No, you don't. To what I do? Step out of the vehicle. Don't touch me. And then it just turns into resisting, well, and it gets uh, the taser out. I love yeah, it. Yeah, what was the famous tasering where she was really cocky? Oh, she's on the phone. I, yeah, and within a split second, wow. He's pointing a gun at me. <laughs> and then instant compliance. Can we find that real fast? I, that's an amazing video. Once you hear that, <laughs> you just see you know. her fucking, 
<laughs> instant compliance. You know you're in trouble. Yes, sir. My oh, hands boy. are behind my back, sir, <laughs> oh, awaiting boy. your handcuffing of me. <laughs> yes, sir. My shit has left my body and is in my trousers. I ordered, sir. <laughs> Oh, it's hilarious. Someone has to find that link for us, too, please. <laughs> Let me say hi to Jane, uh, Staten Island. Jake. Hey, um, go on the road. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Hi, everybody. What's the deal? Yeah. What's the deal? Oh, I like that. Look at that. What? Nice even uh, increase of the faders with a piece of paper. Oh, thank you, sir. On four of faders at a time. I learned this in broadcasting school. Is that it? it cost me like twenty thousand dollars to. Did they really teach you that? No. Oh, <laughs> I'm so dumb. But they, they didn't teach me much of anything, uh, obviously. <laughs> oh, oh, thank God he admitted it finally. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Oh my god, that's funny. Enough with the plane. Seriously, enough with the plane. Enough of it. Until they find enough it, shut up. With the fucking plane. About and it's plane. only CNN. Yeah. Because they got a little jump in ratings about two weeks ago. And they're desperate for any So, so they will not get off the plane story. No. Enough. They love it. Just move on. They love it. Move on for a little while. Oh, yeah. I don't need to know about silt. Is there silt down there? Is it, is it called silt? silt yes. Sure. There's a, there's a few feet of silt, so it could that, it could be buried in the silt. Oh, look out. That's the latest? Yeah, they got some more beeps. That's what I heard this morning. More, oh, more. beeps. If you get a beep, narrowing how down. hard is it in this day and age? You go, that's, all right, there's yeah. a beep right there. Let's GPS that shit. I guess when it's coming from 15,000 feet of water. Is it moving around it in the silt? Silt. In the silt? They get a little beep, and then I guess the ship goes out of range if they keep going in one. So they got to keep crisscrossing. How about they don't go out of triangulate. range? Triangulate. How about you you right. sit right Drop the anchor. fuck there? I mean, you <laughs> see that weird boat. Yeah. I'm sure that boat could stay in one place for a while. Sure. That giant front end boat. Wacky looking with, ship. With a tiny back end. <laughs> yeah. It looks like a helicopter or something. Pretty zany looking craft. Oh, CNN, just move, the, move, the, move, move on, move please. On, please, nothing to see here. Stop standing on the big fucking map. Move along. But they did realize they can't step on countries anymore. Yeah. Because I'm sure someone complains, someone. Said, you're stepping on our country. <laughs> <laughs> so now they just uh, stand in the middle of the Indian Ocean. Yeah. The fake Indian Ocean, of course. What about uh, the guy in the simulator? There's really nothing he can do anymore either. I, I only know about the silt. Because I, I watched for just a oh. few minutes yesterday, and they were on the plane thing again. And I'm like, oh, I was like oh, come on. But I saw them talking about silt. Yeah. And then I, I moved on. So I don't know if they're doing the simulator still. I have no idea. Mm. No no clue. So. Yeah. But they're they're sort of talking about the stabbing in uh, Pittsburgh. Yeah, sort of. What you do is you take that kid, right? Uh-huh. In front of everybody. In front of everyone that's uh, completely shocked and frustrated and sad. And you stab him to death in front of everybody. Oh. So then the next psycho fucking lunatic will think twice. They go, um, hmm. We need to get mental health care in here to yeah. try to figure out why. The dialogue sure is different when it's a knife and not a gun. Yeah. When it's a knife, it's all about the kid. It's right. like, what did we do? How did we know? Sure. How do we find out uh, who the next kid is that might do this? Mm. What drove him to do this? But when it's a shooting, it's all about, we need to get guns away from everybody. Everyone. Everyone. Wow. Yeah. So. There's, a, there's a kid like this kid in every school in America. Yeah, the weirdo. So stop saying, well, the signs were all there. I can't understand why this happened. Because every school has that kid where, think, where the signs yeah. are all there. Think back. Was there a kid in school that you went to school with that you looked at and went, oh, he's going to snap at some point? Yeah. Yes, but, exactly. But we didn't think guns back then. No, but you thought he was going to snap. But you, you um, yeah, just saying that. Yeah. You, You'd think of the kid from your school yeah, yeah, that could yeah. have very easily done this, yep. and for whatever reason he didn't. He made it. Yeah. He made it through without he, doing he it. He pulled through, right? They said he was very bullied. He was one of those kids that probably got beat up a lot. He looks like an asshole. Yeah, <laughs> he was constantly bullied. They're saying. But what about the? There's no bullying going on anymore. That's been oh, that's wow. been in schools for a while now. It's not allowed. You can't bully. He combined mentally ill 
crazy people with being bullied right. and someone is going to get fucked up. Yeah. My point is that bullying is worse than ever. So those bullying campaigns are not working no. whatsoever. See that great clip whatsoever. Now it's a lot easier because they just go on each other's Facebook yeah. pages and stuff and bully. They bully. You yeah, had yeah. to do it in front of someone's face, which was a bit of a risk. Yeah, <laughs> you had to make sure you could take that person if you were going to bully them. See the clip of that kid on the bus, that fat kid on the bus with the black chick punching him in the face and head. I just saw... punch and punch, and then he fucking had had it. Yeah, he, he puts her in a chokehold and just starts. Almost killing her. <laughs> He's choking the shit out of her. Right. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. Where's that video? <laughs> Dumb chubby kid. Uh, I don't know. Uh, 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 Sam Roberts? Sam Roberts? Good morning, Sam Roberts. Fine fat kid bullied on bus or something. Yeah. Or bully revenge or something like that. I saw it tweeted last night. Quit looking at Hulk Hogan videos. Uh, I think he's... Uh, yeah, right? What? what? <laughs> fat kid. When bullies get owned? Volume one. Nice. He's I like love a good bully owner. Bully revenge. Uh, Is it bully revenge? Might be bully revenge. Might be bully revenge. Might be bully revenge. No, that's not it, right? No. I would go a little higher for bully revenge. No. Bully Second revenge. video in? No, oh, that wasn't my it. My God, Sam Roberts. Is that bully revenge? It's not a bus. No, it's got to be on a bus. All right. Bully revenge bus. Oh, you already have that in the search. School. 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 Bus. Bully revenge. Uh, fat <laughs> kid bus bus bully. bus oh, is that is that the kid in the red bus is he on a bus no no, no that's bus. all right that that one's called fat kid fights fat an emo kid. kid at bus stop oh shit come on you assholes you're on fucking you're watching uh, the show here and and you're not even helping someone's got to know what it's called uh well way to bring it up aunt i know right i I school bus bully gets taste of her own medicine. I think that was uh, I, I remember that headline. That's the title. If that's it. Taste then. meta medis, medicine. medicine. Watch Watch school bus. School. Okay, here we go. All right, here it is. All right, here I we go. Thank you. Why? Go get it. Thank you. Why? Why? Why is the some world what, star? What did the fat kid do? Seriously, he's just. Well, a he's fat been here kid. since five thirty. Oh. No, and he's uh, what, the, what? And he's white. What did the fat kid do that he had to do this on the school bus? He's the poor dumb white kid that his parents don't know to get him out of that fucking town, so he doesn't have to go to school with a bunch of fucking maniacs. It's on World Star Hip Hop. Of course. Let's World play Star. this. World Star. All right. Please stop. I want to go home. I can't see it. Please turn Please stop. And they keep pulling his hair. Ow. And 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 the the fat kid saying, "Please stop. I want to go home." Yeah. The little fat kid. My wife is a school teacher in the New York City school district. Yep. And if you see a sign with a cigarette with a slash through it, what, what words do they usually say underneath it? Um, smoking permitted. <laughs> <laughs> no, there, there are kids in our school named Nosmaking. No smoking, but it's called Nosmaking. That's the kid's Come name. Come on, there's no I'm way. Believing that. No, no joke. And if you take the word American and put it backwards, they got kids that are named Nasarima. Uh, it, it just, it, it, it's a nightmare when she comes home and she sees all those all those work sheets and huh. I'm like, I don't know where the hell they get these words from. Where do they get these names from? I think it's detrimental to a, a kid's future to give them a, an odd name that racist I, I people might stereotype. Was, <laughs> the worst was Padme. <laughs> What's that? Pajama. The worst was Padme. Wow. Padme. Come on. This is not this a kid is one named of these, This is one of these orange, jello, lemon, jello right, like come on. things. This is what we used I mean, to joke I, about. Right. I am, I am not joking. Lavoratine. Didn't we go with that joke once? Lavaris. Lavaris or Lavar Bactine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, Bactine. Accutane. Accutane. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Thanks, that, guys. Watch out. I know yeah, some right. of the names get weird, but I don't know. Yeah. The pajama one, I don't know. Come on. Pajame. Pajame. That's very cute. Prove, me, prove to me there's a Pajame out there. Pajame. Yeah, right. Prove Pajame. It. I don't I don't believe it. I don't believe it. No. Yeah. I guess there's a, a big blowout in a McDonald's in um, Brooklyn every day too. What that do you mean? On oh, 10, yeah. 10 wins. I heard that story. There uh I I guess uh, a school lets out 
and these unsupervised, what they were calling unruly teens. Oh, did they really use those words? Yes, <laughs> which which we have joked about over the years as being a code word. Unruly teens. Uh, they come into this McDonald's and just start having fights and uh, yelling at customers and the workers, slashing the uh, seats um, and uh, being uh, generally assholes. Mm. And not a mention of of why this is happening because they're like well, they don't know why it's happening yeah, yeah you do there's unsupervised people that act like fucking animals and uh, completely get away with it it's amazing it's in brooklyn out of control yeah so why PS did, 375 motherfucker so why don't they step in and take care of the situation over there um i don't know because it's just oh it's just unruly teens it's gonna be a nightmare to work at that mcdonald's why you fucking running Wait a minute. Shout out a girl. The trouble, uh, uh, out of control. Wait, why don't you start with the first line, which is terrific. No happy meals for these little terrors. <laughs> no for these little, what <laughs> little childlike terrors. language. Right? It's like, oh, it's just kids having fun. Wait, they're middle schoolers? Yeah. yeah. For these oh. little terrors. What are, they what's are middle school? About uh, well, t uh, 17 <laughs> to 21? In certain areas, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. He goes to school after shaving. Uh, what is middle school for? I want to say 7th like, and 8th. It's supposed grade. to be 7th, 8th. Yeah, 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 something six, like that. 6th yeah. six through 8th, somewhere around. Yeah, I think 6th is still elementary. 6th is still school. elementary. All right. Elementary, elementary my dear. Well, not in all places. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. They get weird with how they they change that around. Yeah. Hordes. Hordes of wild teens torment an Empire Boulevard McDonald's on a daily basis. Workers at the fast food restaurant said, It's out of control, said employee Tempest Whitman. Or Whiteman. That's Whiteman. Uh, yeah. Hours before rambunctious public school 375 students flooded the Mac War Zone oh, <laughs> Wednesday, um, oblivious uh, to an afternoon lunch rush. Mm. The trouble began around 2.30 p.m. as students arrived at the Prospect Lefferts Gardens Burger Joint in twos and threes until a few dozen students took over a back room. Why you fucking running, nigga? shouted a girl in a purple shirt. <laughs> Crashing into an employee before tumbling into a window and punching a kid in the back who had just filled his hands with pink packets of sweet and low. <laughs> Jesus. It's just it's exhausting. It's just crazy. Uh, all right, sweet and low. Uh, friends perched on top of tables, threatening each other with fist fights, which never actually happened on that Wednesday. I'm surprised they didn't say fisticuffs yes, with fisticuffs. the language they're using in this. Meanwhile, a softball-sized wad of paper and foil whizzes from one end of the room to the other as customers hunker down and uh, head out. Um, and another group of boys cut lines of sweet and low. Cut lines of sweet and low with their Metro cards, pretending it's cocaine. <laughs> yeah, we've all done that. Yeah, of course. That's the, the kind of hack. The tiny boy sweeps a pile into his hand and tiptoes around the crowd. He waits until he's two feet behind a girl in a black jacket and then blasts her in the back of the head with a cloud of fake sugar. More yelling. <laughs> all this is pretty mild. Uh, could you uh, scroll? Uh, pretty mild compared... To the more frightening episodes, which uh, happen daily, employees and customers said. One of the students brought a knife in two months ago and slashed the seat covers on a dozen or so stools. Customers report a recent beating in the children's playpen. <laughs> <laughs> the girl was getting jumped, said Tal Taliqua Thompson, 17, who isn't part of the group. She came out crying. Workers avoid confrontations, if possible, and uh, keep the number... Uh, for the 71st Precinct handy, they said. When uh, when you say stop cussing, they curse at you and say, I'm going to throw something at your face. <laughs> A few incidents have occurred in this area. School officials concede, but the students are typically uh, disciplined, are they? The problem has the attention of the city council, Matthew Eugene, Democrat of Flatbush, I mean, who probably blames other entities, who chairs the council's youth service committee and called the behavior senseless. 
Yeah. We have too many young people throughout the city who engage in the wrong activities as a result of not having access, access to resources and positive influence designed to instill respect for themselves and others. That's pretty much it. Now, you know. It, Why does this uh, hire a cop to stand there? You know. How much does that cost you? Who wants to hire fucking cops at McDonald's? You don't want to, but I mean, how much would it cost? It looks yeah. like a nice McDonald's, too. McDonald's. I don't even know what they do down there at McDonald's. They're not <laughs> drinking milkshakes, I assure you. <laughs> uh, people are, are want in on these names. Do they? Uh, Matt, Nova Scotia. Yeah. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey. So i got a fucked up name for you guys. Yeah. So uh, one of the girls I know, she's a nurse, and probably about 20 years ago, she uh, was on maternity ward. She went in to see this family. And she was like, oh, it's a beautiful baby. What's her name? They said, Femel. Oh, yeah. She goes, oh, that's different. How'd you, how'd you guys come up with that name? She's, the family was like, we didn't. That's the name they gave her when they brought her in. Oh, because come on. Name- it was female and male on the... On the- <laughs> yeah, it was Femel and the last name. And I'm a, I'm a police officer, so about two years ago, I had the honor of running in with this Femel. So I found out it was a true story. Mm-hmm. They named her Femel. And she still goes by Femel. And f- spell female. That's great. Uh, All right. All right. <clears throat> it happens. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Let's go to Madison in Westchester. Madison. Good morning. Hey. Oh. So I am a school teacher, and uh, about 15 years ago, I used to work in early intervention. And we would always have, oh you know, these great names Asia, Africa. However, my best names were two little girls and when i got the list i saw their names were syphilis and chlamydia syphilis and chlamydia syphilis and chlamydia this is not true where are these coming from look at the phones though syphilis (laughs) i swear to god and as I'm looking at this, I'm like, okay, you know, is this really how you spell syphilis and chlamydia? Right. Um, wow. They did get the spelling right, but they just put the accent in a different place. Yeah. All right. So, enjoy. We love you guys. Thank you. We uh, love you, Madison. Let's say hi to Jay in Jersey. Jay. Hey. Good morning, boys. Hey. Hey. I'm a American in the city. Um, my my best ghetto name that I've ever had was about 15 years ago. The kid's name was Shea Stadium Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I asked the dad, I said, why? He goes, apparently dad was uh, on the grounds crew at Shea Stadium. Oh. He goes, well, I wanted to name the baby where it was conceived. Oh, jeez. Because he knocked mom up in the bullpen. All right. That's wonderful. Right, I have to drive safely here. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Right. Let's go to Pete in Jersey. Pete. And then we got a cop that wants to talk about this uh, McDonald's. Cop you, idiot. Uh, but first, Pete, go ahead. Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning. How are you? All right, buddy. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a physician in a hospital, and these are firsthand. I've seen them myself. So woman names her baby, Jesus Loves Me, spelled backwards, so that his first name is E M. You know, S E C O L F U S E J. Oh, wow! Wonderful. How do you how do you pronounce uh, uh, pronounce that? I don't, I don't even know. I saw it on it. M Saval. M Saval, maybe M Saval. Susay. Oh my. And then another woman had twins. Right. Twins. She named them Duan and another one. Another one. D U J U A N and A N A D U J U A N. Another one. I think, it, another I think one. it just makes it harder to get a job. Another I know. <laughs> All right. It's good for a story. I'll tell you that. You'll enjoy that. Absol- absolutely. I think this crazy absolutely. name thing is real because look at these phones. Jim in North Carolina, and it's all over the country. Jim. Yes, I'm a pediatrician in North Carolina. I have uh. a patient in my practice whose name is pronounced Shahid, spelled S-H-I-T-H-E-A-D. <laughs> His name spelled shithead, but they, they pronounce it what? No, no, no. They pronounce it Shahid. <laughs> <laughs> swear to God, he's in my practice. 
<laughs> oh my god. Thank you, sir. Ah, that's hilarious. Uh someone called it on the uh, Pal Talk. They they already said that when he goes, watch this one's gonna come up. Should be Yeah, there's a bunch of there's ones that I just think are jokes. Yeah. Are you joking, Jim? Come, come on. on. Oh, no, I'm swearing yes. But it's like urban legend where it's like, No, I knew the guy right, like, right. Yeah, he should hit the floor. Right, right, right. right. But we were we would have only got a couple phone calls if this was bullshit though. Yeah. I don't know. All right. Thank you, sir. Let's go to Mike in Brooklyn, NYPD, checking in. What's up, Mike? What's up, gentlemen? How are you today? All right. Pretty good. What happened to the great names like Shanene and Shaquika and Lexus? Uh, Those were the good names when I grew up. Well, not anymore. You get a little more creative now. Right. Yep. So I wanted to talk about Flatbush in that area. It is ridiculous. you, um, You talked about they need access to respectability and all that. Well, guess what? That's called parents. Yeah. Right? Isn't that called parents? So there are no parents in this area. There's kids living with their grandmamas or their grandpas. They don't even know who their parents are. Yep. So, how we, so why don't we spend more money on them to try and introduce them to parents? Why don't we spend our money to put them into these places where they'll go and we'll set them up in a, in a sports gym, and next thing you know they're having uh, uh, blade fights in the locker room as they try to get changed to do free clinics. We try everything. Yeah, you can't just throw money at this problem. That's what it is. Everyone wants funding for programs. Yeah. You can't throw money at a problem that is is a lot deeper than just, you know, they're bored. There's no structure. There's no parenting. There's no discipline. They get away with anything. Could you imagine looking at your teacher back when you were in middle school and saying, go fuck yourself. Oh, God. What would happen to you if that got back to your parents, if that uh, principal called your, your parents and said, I, your son used the F word at a teacher? You what? would be fucking crucified. You're dead. I, 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 broke, I broke a girl's arm when I was a kid in elementary school. We were, I didn't mean it, but the, the, the principal choked me out. Pounds of pressure per second, per second. He got choked out. Choked out. He choked me out. He's like, dude, you can't do this. See, I go, you're choking me, man. You can't choke me. He goes, you don't break the girl's arm. I go, all right, valid point, valid point. And I learned my lesson. There's a valid dude, point. Dude, right. These fucking punks don't know it. They're just a bunch of punks. And I blame the, you know, I can't say, the Moulinans. What can I say? Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. One other NYPD. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, thank you, sir. <laughs> right near the neighborhood, right near the neighborhood, there's these little people that live that go to that McDonald's. They're small and they get picked on all the time. Yeah. So I would. I would Why would they the keep going there? And the little guy was holding up a plasma TV, and I asked him, "I said, hey, buddy, you need help taking the plasma out?" He goes, "Fuck you! It's my iPad." Have a good day, boys. Oh, Punch it out. Joking. All right, thank He's you. He's joking. Mikey, NYPD, oh, check it out. Jesus. The little people go there. See, see, it's my iPad. I understand. Plasma TV. Funny thing is, I remember that joke when I was a kid. Nobody yeah. got it. No. <laughs> <laughs> there's also another video, speaking of teachers, mm -hmm. uh, where, where there's a teacher fighting a kid. Oh, yeah, I saw that one, too. And uh, people are saying, way to go teach. This guy was a wrestling coach. Right. And um, I guess there was a kid selling weed in his classroom, right there in the classroom. Really? Yeah. So the guy uh, walked up to him to tell him to knock it off, or he was going to tell him tell him to go to the office, whatever disciplinary thing he was trying to do. And the uh, kid uh, popped him in the face. So the teacher then grabbed him and wrestled him to the ground, and now he's on administrative leave. Like, as a teacher, I guess you're just supposed to stand there and, and take get it. pummeled. As a teacher, as a bus driver, administrator, whatever it is, you're not supposed to do anything to even protect yourself against what amounts to criminals uh, that are assaulting you. I can't imagine this in school. Like, like if, if a guy said shit at the teacher, it was shit. like, would have been, not even cursing. If you would have said, oh, yeah, make me, or something like oh, that, God, yeah. it would have just been like, we're, All right, get out of the room, and and you are now in a, a cavalcade of of discipline. And we were threatened with 